designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or, if you pre-order your kit, you will receive £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along brand shop that month. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. everyone I hope we find you safe and well Adam and myself are here with the sunrise specials the deal of the day and the one day special yes I got them all in and I got them correct stay with us for the whole hour Good morning, everyone. I've got morning. the rickety chair. Oh. Just to get it out there from the start, it's the chair, if it makes a noise. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yes, uh, I'm well. I hope you're well at home. I hope you're going to stay with us today yep. as well, because, of course, Hochanda is a place where we've got lots of demonstrations and lots of shows and lots of interaction from you. It is indeed. Can I, can I mention? Oh, go on. Am I allowed? Oh, I don't know. It's Janice's birthday today. Oh, do you know what? I've forgotten. I've forgotten yeah. about that. Uh, it's Jacey's birthday, so <laughs> My happy birthday. birthday. Oh, thank you very much. I've bought cake for everyone. Unfortunately, I can't give you guys any. No. I would love to. I would love to, um, but I can't. Uh, so, I have a, fe I have a feature. Oh. If you'd like to wish I'd Jacey's but this could go one way or the other. <laughs> <laughs> if we get no emails now. Um, obviously, uh, our Meg's watching social media. So our Meg's on the Facebook, because um, we haven't got the tablet in the studio, we're not going to, you know why. I'm not going to go into it again. Uh, so if you want to wish our, uh, our Janice, Janice. Birthday. <laughs> Janice's birthday, <laughs> happy birthday, you can do that at studio at achanda.com. Oh, thank you. That'd be really nice. And it is great to have your company. Um, we are on Facebook Live, so if you've got access to the internet, a computer or a tablet, uh, and it's safe and easy to do so, then why don't you let us know what you're up to today as well? You could. If you want any messages, we can give them out as well. Because this is repeated on social media as well. So we could be like a platform Ooh. for your social messages. So if you if you couldn't get to your mother yesterday, which not many of us could yesterday, we could put that towards and you could just show them through a window. Yeah, could do. Um, yeah, and we can also uh, just say hello to people as well. Oh, good morning to Dawn. Uh, good Diamond morning, Diamond Spare. Crystal in LA. Good morning, Dave. Da did you see Dave's new uh, video? Sarah John. No, I've not watched it yet. Oh. I will be watching it today, though, Dave. So that we'll have hair. a look. That our Briggs got. Now, I don't know if that's if that's Briggs, if that Briggs hair. I don't know. It's like I need a little to, bob. I need to look. I need to look. Oh, Ooh, how interesting. No, I've I've not seen that one, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I didn't realise it was that theme. Theme. So. <laughs> Jeez, it's thanks. Good. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I'm only kidding. It's I'm only kidding. It's always a surprise, though, isn't it? Oh. Um, right, something that is a surprise is this fabulous deal that we've got here. We never know what the deal of the day is until we come in in the morning, and this really is uh, a deal of the day. Saving £25, it's fourteen ninety nine. You get to choose any four, but there are 28, almost 30 colours. Oh, there are 30 colours uh, available for you, so oh, the ones at the back. you get to choose four of your overlocking thread cones. Oh, we're going to name check all the colours. Lemon. Oh, this Ooh, is, is going to be fun. Red. 
light arms are this long. You stop there and then I'll take over. Stone. Yes. <laughs> right, you nudge that way, I'll come here. Then we've got Rust. Oh, trust me to pick that one up. Oh, no, that one's Rust. <laughs> oh, sorry, that one's Rust. That's it. Yep. Then you've got Light Orange, Dark Rust, Camel. Oh, Dark Rust Camel. <laughs> Cream. <laughs> All Wine, my favourite. Uh, dark Brown. Uh, then at the front, the Pink. Royal Blue. Kingfisher, King that's Fisher. a nice colour. I like that colour. Yeah. Cerise, I need a stick. And then you've got Yellow. Uh, light Olive. Light Grey. <laughs> Just for <laughs> just for clarity, that close up was not my finger. <laughs> that was a broom. Uh, then we've got brown. Uh, then we've got beige, copper, Adam, purple, purple. Wow, <laughs> desperate times. Dark, Dark navy, navy. mid grey, hot pink, navy blue, light, light blue. blue, dark green. Please, I'll have it. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> No, you can you can oh. point. Don't give up on us. Uh, Burgundy, Burgundy black, black and white. And white. If you forgot the first colour, you have to watch <laughs> this back on rewind. I'm not going through it again. Um, right, so you get to choose any four. Four, that. five, eight, four, one, one is your item number. Well, so um, now know. there's five thousand yards on each one. What colour? Well, I'm not going to ask you what colour you choose because <laughs> I have to get the broom out again. Um, but I'd, I'd probably, with the time of year, go for spring colours. I would go for those first three: the kingfisher, yep. the pink, and the yellow. It's a good idea to go for maybe a staple. And I'd go for like a cream or a white or yeah. a black. Yeah, depends on what your projects are really, what you've got. Um, you can use this for embroider, I guess. It's uh, overlocking thread, but if you wanted to use it for other projects, you can do. I'm just trying to hide the broom. It's still there. But <laughs> if, I sit up, if I sit up straight and don't slide. Well, from a distance, if you move your head, it looks like a spoon. Doesn't it? it does, Just yeah. if you kind of like squint your eyes like that oh, at the TV. Yeah, with a bit at the top. yeah, yeah. But any who's that is your one day special. We've launched it today. Uh, sorry, the deal of the day. Deal of the day. Dum dum dum. Deal of the day. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we've just launched this. It is supposed to last 12 hours. You can head to the website at any time. And this is how you choose your colours. It's a plus or a minus, which means if you want to add it to your basket, you simply select the plus sign and that will go into your basket. Now, choose any four colours, but if you wanted the same colour four times, you're more than welcome to do so. So if you're out of white and you think, look, I need to stock up with white, it's a staple, it's what I use all the time, then put four white in there. It's entirely up to you. And if you do want to go for more than one set of four, you can also do that. Right, that is your deal of the day. Now let's take a look at your Sunrise Specials. Yarn balls. Uh, right, how about a bit of knitting or crochet? Uh, you've got the opportunity to do that when you get these home. Uh, nice colour in this, actually. It would work very well if you had a bright colour. Uh, to go with it, or maybe a cream. Uh, 975895 is your item number. £19.70 pence means you're saving £28 on this deal. Now, they are 75% wool and 25% acrylic. Uh, with these, now let's have a look at the dye. If you want to know what the dye colour is, it's 473 and it's colour 04. This gives you a chance, if you already have this particular yarn, to match it up. It's 100 grams and you get six balls, you lucky people, uh, in this particular deal. Let's have a look at the washing instructions. Oh, it's still hand wash at 30 degrees. Um, and, yeah, you can iron that. You can also park it. Pardon? Well, can't, 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 park isn't that what that means? A P in a circle? Park it? Isn't it tumble dryer? Yes, of course it is. Oh. <laughs> as, if, as if you'd go and park wool. Well, you yarn. Don't know. yarn, 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 park your, park your yarn here, and get out your needles. <laughs> um, it is, it is. There he is. He's still here. Uh, Nineteen pounds and seventy pence, saving twenty-eight pounds on that particular deal. Right, we've got mixed media panels for you. Um, oh, these are nice, aren't they? Now you've got assorted colours and sizes. Uh, we'll get these sent out to you if you're a Freedom member. There's no P&P &P to pay. So let's have a look what we've got here. Uh, we have got some grey board. Uh, 
Uh, now this is good for all your different mediums. You could, if you wanted to, which would be really nice, put uh, three of these side by side, and then you could make a, a nice little wall hanging or something like that. Um, but you've got, now do, does it vary in the numbers? I think it does. Uh, you've got 129 pieces in total. So you've got your grey board. Uh, you get 10 of the grey board panels. It's white on one side and grey on the other. Uh, you've got some lovely pearlescent textured card there. That is beautiful. Um, you've also got... That is slightly embossed as well. Uh, you've got some more grey board as well, which is grey each side. Which is a bit about like myself, really. Uh, and then you've got your... <laughs> <laughs> well, it is my birthday. Well. Realism kicks in. Um, and then you've got the red card, you've got purple, you've got black, but you've got it in different sizes. You've got it in different sizes for all your different projects. This is nice, a little gold card, make a nice little topper. Uh, if you do want to get hold of this, you're saving £10. It's a half price deal. I don't know why I went all high. It's a half price deal, everybody. Um, it's £10. 974 981 is your item number if you want to go for those. Now, we've got, oh my goodness, we've got a heartfelt mould and it's limited stock already, 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 uh, already. Um, the designs will vary. I'm going to have a quick go with this because I do like these. It gives you the opportunity, oh, that happens so quick. We have sold out. I'll put that there and then I'll just leave it. Sold out. That's what happens. Uh, if you want to go and have a look at your sunrise specials that are coming up, then head to the website to get ahead to yourself. Uh, right, that has sold out. Apologies, everyone. Let's move on to the next. Uh, oh, proggies. Look at the owl. Now, uh, will the... Oh, it is the owl kit. Uh, so, with your proggy, you get everything you need, including the tools to make and create your proggy. And if you've never seen a proggy before, oh, they are so super, super sweet. Uh, you do have the eyes in there as well. If you are giving this to a younger member of the family, if you wanted to maybe stitch your eyes, you can do because you've got the felt to do that. So you've got the yellow there and you've got the white. That will create the eyes. And then you can pop the eyes on there if you want to. However, if you want to stitch the eyes on there, you can do that as well. So you've got your <coughs> hessian, uh, you've got your beautiful fleece in there as well, and look at that. Very nice, very nice. Full instructions as well. Something new, something different for you to create. Maybe you've not seen a proggy before. Very nearly said that wrong. Uh, and there you go. Those are your full instructions. Pictorials as well. £11.97, pence. you're saving £14. A great deal, isn't it? 463796. And remember, if you are a Freedom member, there's no PMP to pay on anything. It's a good idea to become a Freedom member. And you can find the details on the website. But that's the whole kit for you. The whole entirety. 463796, including your tools as well. It's very easy. Once you've got the hang of it, it's very easy to pick up. And it might give you the opportunity to think of some other designs as well or go for the other proggies available for you. Saving £14, that is your Craft Yourself Silly Proggy Owl. Adam. Oh, I love a bit of proggy. If you've never tried it, oh, I was engrossed the other week. Engrossed. Right, my turn now. Now, oh, what's, we've, so we've already had one sellout this hour of the moulds. Now we're going to talk about sewing machine bags. Uh, sewing's very big at the moment. You're all loving your sewing now. One of the biggest things in the world of craft is where do you keep your stuff that you've already got? You want to keep it safe, you want to keep everything together. A little bag. You have got a beautiful little sewing bag here. Uh, it's big as well. Uh, you've got a hook and eye on the top which hold the straps together. You've got the uh, strap here as well. Now this might look like a decorative feature but it's reinforced. So you know them handles aren't going to go anywhere. It's reinforced on both sides is what we're looking. Uh, not only have we got that, now I've um, popped a machine in as just so you can see. Uh, the machine's not included, obviously, people. Uh, but I just want to show you, if I move that all the way up, how much room you've still got in your bag. You have still got a good hand and a, bit, a hand and two fingers, as it were, in the bag. 
So you could put one of your larger sewing machines in there. Maybe you don't use it for your sewing machines. Maybe you use it for your cutting machines. If you've got your cutting machines at home. Uh, your um, winding machines. Your embossing machines as well. Winding machines, that technical term. Uh, winding machines that we've also got here. Uh, I'm laughing because in the corner of my eye, uh, our, our, our old Janice. Janice. I was going to do a Janice. Janice. I didn't say Janice. Janice. I was saying our dear old. And I thought, I can't say old, can I? No, you day. can't say old. It may be my birthday. <laughs> She's doing. What? what um, tai Chi. Tai Chi. Right in the corner. Here she is, look. Where I'll am show I? You. Oh, hi. Right down there. <laughs> You see, that's what I'm looking at. Why I'm telling you about this gorgeous bag. You see? Oh. <laughs> see, long as we keep the old people busy, that's all right, isn't it, Dan? We hey, no. She's we may be apart by two metres, but my <laughs> word, young boy. You can still throw things at him. Her. To look her up and down in a mind's eye, I wouldn't put her past 76. 76 in my mind's eye. I know some people say younger. I would go 76 at the best of it. Oh, it's like a, it's like a Dalek. <laughs> Look at the dirt on the bottom of that broom. I think that I think that is about <laughs> the distance. <laughs> So, uh, 715022 is your... Uh, well, if you can't have a laugh in these day and age, when can you have a laugh, eh? Eh? If you can't turn on your telly at quarter past seven of a morning, of a Monday morning, what else would you want to watch? It's better than watching... Oh, well, I'm not even going to say it, is it? Not even going to do it. Uh, your bag, 11 99 you're loving it. Saving 13 quid. Saving 13 pound on your bag. It's good. It's good. Uh, we're moving on to, we're moving on. You can see, a little cheeky look in the corner. Spellbinders dies is what we're looking at now as well. And sort of medieval-esque that we're looking here. I can see Knights of the Round Table. I can see Sir Lancelot, as it were, and Sir Do Not A Lot. Uh, so then you've got, uh, so you've also got like wings in here. They could be shields if you want them to. Uh, you've also got the heart and also the, the sword. Look at that though. Just look at what you're getting. It reminds me of uh, when I was cabin crew getting my wings. These little things here for a certain brand, I know. Uh, then we've also got sort of your signposts that we've got. So, you know, like your, your oldie signs that you might want to send. You dangle your little cards off them. Uh, you could also use them for flourishes or arrows on your cards as well. Especially this one, it's a little bit like Cupid's, like a little Cupid arrow. And then last but no means least, we also have your uh, medieval, like your shields and your daggers on there as well. Nine pounds and 96 pence. Uh, five, 55 pounds and 30 pence is what you're actually saving on this. Uh, the actual price is £65.26 today. This hour only. Good morning, a channel. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I think just over a month. Over a month since I've done the Good Morning Achanda. And didn't I know it when I woke up at four o'clock this morning? Uh, £9.96. and Once you get on the road, it's fine. I had a bit of the radio on. I had a little sing-song to Shania Twain. Oh, I was away. Oh, yeah, it was Baker, actually. Man, I feel like a woman. There I was. Do, do, de, do, 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 do. I don't drive a big H3V lorry. It's just a small, it's just a, it's just a small little wheel. I don't even drive it down there. It's a normal car. Just saying. Uh, Spellbinders, £9.96. and pence. The details were on the screen. Uh, last but no means least, MDF coasters. Now, I like these. I like these a lot. There's a lot you can do with a coaster that no one ever knew about. For a start, they're MDF. MDF, which means you haven't got to use them as a coaster if you don't want to. You can use them just as a little medium. Use them to just to dabble your stuff on. Dabble this, dabble that. Use them as little cords if you wanted to as well. You are getting 15 of each. 15 circles and 15 squares. You can now start playing games with these as well if you wanted to. Uh, that's a new thing in my house now. Playing games, trying to make up games on the spot. Oh, a little. Yesterday we had. Uh, what did we have yesterday? How many rubber ducks? Because we had a little fishing rubber duck game. How, how many rubber ducks can we sit on the sofa and throw into the sink? Because we we live in an open plan uh, bungalow. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not round. It's not round the door. It's not. 
Like a boomerang. So here we are, sat on the sofa, how many could we get in the sink? Um, I enjoyed that game more than Molly, I'm not going to lie. She got bored after a bit and went to play with a Lego. Other bricks are available, Duplo and Stickle Brick. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but it's a good little game, because you could put numbers on them. Look, make your own bean bags if you're going for your sewing machine and throw your bean bags on them as well. Good for kids' parties, stuff like that. Uh, magnets, you could pop on the back as well. Uh, 12 pounds and 90... Learn, good, le good to learn your colours. 86 pence coaster is what we're talking about. I know, good value. Uh, 197365 is your item number for your coasters. Another item that you found on the website that, you, uh, that you're loving, living in loveliness is what we're talking about now. This is a, uh, well, a fabric half wreath kit with, with pattern and tool. Or is that a pen, do we think? You get the polystyrene heart. You get the tool, the image is coming soon, stand by your beds. Uh, but it, it's all very nice and it's £14. Uh, there's ribbons in there and your pre-cut fabric. All the colours may vary. What you, what you can choose from, there's a lot of colours to choose from, is what we're looking at. Uh, right then, I'm going to hand back over to the very lovely Don't Look A Day Over 21 with a little bit of VAT. Well... I say, £14.99 for the details on the screen. It is... Good morning, Achanda. So with a little bit of VAT. That's where you give a lot and you don't get a lot back. Uh, right. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Good, good. Keeping well? Yes. Good. Yes, I'm good. Good. And keeping busy, more importantly, which is important for everyone at <laughs> home as well. Busy. <laughs> yeah. And what's lovely about crafts um, is that you can keep yourself busy, and you do spend a lot of time crafting. But it doesn't feel like a lot of time, does but it? But if you're making some, you're yeah. producing something at the end of it, then yes. even better. Yeah, it certainly is. Right, Hayley, you've got two shows today. I have. One with Adam at 8 o'clock. Yes. And you've got the one day special, which of course yes, our shows throughout the day. So you're very busy. We do appreciate it. We really do. Stand um, by Smith. Yes. That's what I am. <laughs> no, it's always good to have your company. It really is. So the 8 o'clock show, shall we mention yes. that first? So you've got two different types of kit on the 8 o'clock show. You've got a latch hook kit, which are the fluffy ones down at the front. I mean, they're both quite fluffy, but that's latch hook. Oh, and then that. the one that you've got behind is either, people call them needle punch and some people call them punch needle. You can go either way yes. on that. Um, and there's two completely different looks. Now, these kits are all pre-printed for you. It comes with the right amount of, of wool in there. It comes with the tools. It comes with everything oh, that you need. Best put the rocket going up, not going down. <laughs> A bit pessimistic. Isn't it? Oh no! Yeah, sorry. Why they're just coming home? <laughs> maybe they've been around the moon and they're just coming yeah, maybe, home. Maybe, maybe that is fantastic. So they are all pre-done kits. They come in a box, ready to go. So um, you can either do them yourself. I've also developed a couple of ways that you can actually join them together. So if you wanted uh, a bigger piece, maybe yeah. you want to make a larger cushion, or you yeah. wanted to make a, a rug, oh, that's or something nice. like that, you can actually join them together. So, so let me show me you get how to this do that right. Later. You've hooked all of the different pieces. I personally didn't. No, not that you. One. And the sample. Uh, that although I you could did, have said you did. The sample that yes. I did bring, um, or I was supposed to bring, that was halfway through. Um, yeah, I forgot that. So we're going to start from scratch with Adam. We're going to give him some tasks to keep him quiet. And uh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> uh, that is lovely. Payback that for is... being mean to Janice. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. That's lovely. I really like that. It's so so super soft. It is. Um, it's really really then, soft. And then at nine o'clock. Uh, now these are these are eight o'clock as well. These are the punch needle these ones. These are eight o'clock. Yes. Yes. These are eight o'clock as well. So that's a slightly different technique. That one you've got the, a long piece of wool and it's threaded through a special needle and you actually kind of just punch it in and out of the fabric. Okay. You don't have to kind of, you know, pull things through, tie them off, create loops. It does it all for you. I think I've seen you use that before. Possibly. I think I have. And it is marvellous. But look at this. The back is as good as the front. That I is quite really like cool. it from the back, actually, because it's almost like it's framed within a frame, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's a good idea. Very nice. 
Very nice. Well, we're looking forward to that. That's at 8 o'clock. You can shop ahead on the website. You can get ahead of yourself and you can buy the kits if you want to before the show starts. That means you can then just sit back and watch the show. Uh, so that's coming up at 8 o'clock. There's plenty of designs for you. I lo love that sunflower and the butterfly as well. Um, and of course, the flamingo. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, right, so we're going to take a look at the one day special. So this, this is beautiful. Is the one day special. I'll tell, tell you something. Let with me pop that down your, and pop that down um, so you guys can see that at with home. With your, your one day special, you've got three different colour options. Um, this is the silver option, which comes with this really nice mustard fabric. Mm. Now, we've done the centre of the quilt, um, and this is a fraction of the size of the one you can actually make because this is kind of three blocks wide. Yes. Yours would be five. So another two again, and another two down at the bottom. Is this the, the block pattern? That you're yes. introducing. So the block pattern yes. is this one here. Yep. So you make ones that are kind of uh, mirrored. So you make this uh, block and then you mirror it yeah. to create the other one. And that's what gives you those kind of, kind of square this. triangles. I'm just, middle. I'm just looking at the pattern because sometimes when you look at it from a yes, distance, I'm looking a lot at the monitor to there. Um, that really is fabulous. I really but like that. This is one of the blocks that we can I give you that? Bit? Yes, you can. Thank you very so much. That's one of the blocks that we made initially, which is exactly what you get in the kit. But we then took it a step further. Let me just hold that and grab this one, where we mixed up the colours, because there's a load uh, of plain colours yeah. on there as well. And I think that one is just stunning. Amazing. Really, really kind of, it looks like a really intricate block, but we demonstrated it last night. It is actually pretty straightforward to, to make, so um, we'll take you through that a little bit later. And you've got uh, different colours to choose from. There, well, Mint, rust, and grey. Um, again, it's almost like I'm describing myself this morning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a steampunk collection. Oh dear. Not grey, not yet. Not yet. Uh, right. Um, <laughs> I might be a bit rusty, but it's only because I've not been on TV for a while. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look at the colours that we've got coming up at uh, 9 o'clock today. This is the mint. I like the mint. I like the dark elements in that because of the steampunk style. Um, you can see there we've got the lovely uh, clocks and the cogs. Now, actually, no, this is the rust. Yes, that that's is the, very steampunk. That's is it not? the rust option. Now, I I prefer the mint one. I think that's the one that is okay. the, the kind of the strongest colourway for me. But it's in, it's personal preference. Yeah. The, yeah. the rust one is very steampunk because that's kind of all what it's yes. about. Yeah. So, uh, the final colour there is the grey. You'll be able to see these in uh, the entirety because we've yes. got some samples made up of each of the colourways. So if you need that extra persuasion to see it before you buy it, then join us at nine o'clock today with Haley. But Haley will also be up at uh, will be up. We'll be up <laughs> at eight o'clock today. Uh, listen, young lady, you I'm go and get. get ready. I can say that to everyone today. Listen, young lady, uh, you go and get rest why, before why you eight o'clock. Because I'm older today, so oh, everyone's is it your young. birthday? Yes. Oh. Oh, did you just think I was taking the? Yeah. Trip? I just. Oh, thought... did you not realise? No. Oh, sorry. I just thought I you was being was... mean. I mean, I take it. I take it from Adam all the time. I do not mind. Aye, aye. So yes, today he's taking it further, and I'm. Taking it all. So, we'll see you at 8 o'clock today. You be careful, young lady. You're going to get us taken off. <laughs> Less of the young. Uh, right, thank you, Hayley. Uh, thank thanks take you. a look at the craft along. I'm just justifying myself. <laughs> I wasn't being nasty. I'd never be that nasty. Never. I'm not like that, Hayley. Oh, Yes, you see, I'm about to tell you. Oh, okay. I'm going to go then. Okay, you go. Okay. Love you, bye. See you soon. See you at eight. Okay, bye. From a distance. <laughs> uh, so, uh, four nines, I'm going to give you the boring bits first. Details are just down here. This is Craft Along. If you've never done a Craft Along before, where have you been? Uh, started now over a year ago with our very own Barbara Gray. Uh, Janice did the last... First one. You did the first one, then you did the last one with Barbara Gray, and then our Alex, Paula and Hayley, three, lucky you, uh, did the last one as well, which was a sewing one. Now we're going back to sort of the mixed media, as it were. Now it is on the 19th of April, but if you buy before the 17th of April, you've got guaranteed delivery, and you're also getting your £5 voucher to spend in the store as well. Store, I hear you cry. Well, our Leslie's ever so good. 
Now, she'll, she won't mind me saying this. We're good friends, me and our Leslie. I know. You wouldn't think it, but we are. She gives you everything, more or less, that you need in your kit. Okay? Everything you need. I'll tell you why for now. £28, two flexible payments. £28.95 is what you're looking at here. Um, and then you get everything that you currently see on this table. So, you can make three projects. So let's start with the frame, okay? So you're getting the frame with the glass in as well. Now, not only are you getting the frame, you also get the book pages which are down here, which will then create these, is what you're looking at. So you can then create these as well because you're getting all the stamps in here that you need as well, everything's included, to make this beautiful finished product. Or, you can have a little mushroom. It's entirely up to you. So you can go like this, or you can have a little mushroom as well. So that's your first project that you're creating. From there, we got down to MDF letters. Now we've got home, so we've got H O uh, M and E, just in case. It's like Sesame Street now, isn't it? Uh, L and O and V and an E. So you can then create. Uh, along with the wooden block that you're getting as well, you can then create this. I love this. So you could have it going this way. You could also go and have it this way as well. Once again, you get everything in the kit that you need. You get home or love. So I'm guessing you could do home or love written down there. If you're only doing one, you get the other letters as well to use. Not only are you getting that though, you also get ceramic like a ceramic tile. Now, uh, with the ceramic tile as well, uh, you also get the backgrounds in here, but you are then creating this. Look at that. There is so much that you can create. You're getting the stamps included as well, including in here. You're getting um, PVA glue. You're getting uh, embossing powder. You're getting Versamark. These on its own. So if you've never tried before, you get a little one of these, and this isn't going to last you a while. This is not just going to last you uh, for your craft along. You've got crystals on there, book pages. Um, of course, we can see the stamps in more detail, Meg, if that's what you want. I don't mind. Uh, so then you get... Now, these are all unmounted stamps, because we know they bring us mounted and unmounted. So this is your textures. I like these, like, peacock feathers along the top. Uh, little, well, little lines. You know, like MI, MI6, MI, um, what was his name? Lasers. J um, uh, no, not James Bond, the Jamie other one. And the Magic Torch? No, not Jamie and the Magic Torch. It's, I've never seen that one. Is that... No. Oh, I don't know. It will come to me. Oh, Mission Impossible. Oh, Mission Impossible. That one. Oh, yes. <laughs> when he goes down. Yeah, Tom Cruise. Ah, oh, see, we're all there. I've met him. But you've met Tom Cruise. How did you meet Tom Cruise? You threw that one in casually at seven for. I think you're on. Uh, how have you met Tom Cruise? I'll tell you when you okay, you should tell me when I finished. Uh, and then you get more stamps as well. Um, yeah, Mother Earth is in there. She's been busy. Uh, then you get your stamps and also you get your... Now, is this a succulent? Or is it the top of a pine cone? We're going pine cone. We could go a little succulent if you wanted it to be a little succulent. If you're making a little, a little terrarium. I love the word terrarium. I don't know what it is. Uh, but uh, basically, you get everything. Everything you need for £28, and it could be an artichoke. £28 and 95 pence across two flexible payments. You're saving £25 on this. Remember, if you order now, this is guaranteed to be yours for the craft along. And you also get your £5 voucher as well to spend in the store. Store, it's all on the website. Do not worry. Uh, this is what you're getting when it all went for a little photo shoot. Uh, 490819 is your item number. £28.95 pence or a little... Oh, you've also got um, gilding stuff in there. Uh, or a one-off payment of... 40... £57.90 pence. Plus your postage back. If you're a Freedom member, it's free PMP as well. 490891. Now, if you've never seen a craft along before, you're thinking, what is that boy waffling on about at 7.30 on a Monday morning? Uh, I'm a waffling about this. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, 
will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or if you pre-order your kit, you will receive £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along brand shop that month. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. with a little sting then I didn't know what I didn't know what to do and with I my was legs. like hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, that craft along looks amazing it is it love the look of those stamps There's something about Leslie's craft along which are it's special it is they're all special all of oh, craft alongs are. are amazing I'm just wondering if previous craft alongs are available online I think they are oh. I think they are have a look on our website um, not 100% sure but I think they might be um, just so you can have a look at, at how they go um, but they are very very special and it's just lovely at the moment especially you know if you can't get out for whatever reason being able to craft along with Leslie with everyone here at her chamber it's 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 fabulous and I've been doing a bit of crafting as well we saw you did Lou yes. with us uh, yes well I watched Lou with us she had um, a Facebook live but I kind of did my own things so I didn't have the items that Lou okay. was crafting with so I had a canvas so I painted a picture, started off one way, ended up another, but that's fine, that's the way it goes. Um, and then I had a jam jar, I'm calling it my jam jar. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> but it's my birthday. <laughs> I put some texture paste on there and painted it. I've put that in a box, I'm not really happy with that. I might repaint it when I get home. Uh, and I've got white gesso is what yeah, you need. Yeah, let's white gesso jam's jar. <laughs> or I might do it a bit grey. There's that word again. Uh, right, we've got deal of the day our deal of the day it's a pick and mix you choose any four and you choose the color you like gray is in there um okay, but we've got with. a variant of colors for you adam with his broom he's gonna nudge each one as we tell you the colors a little bit of wood oh yeah. Yeah. meg lemon oh. um, and then you've got red be careful and then you've got your stone then you've got your rust then you've got your light oh now this is where it's going to go a bit wrong that's your light orange <laughs> then you've got your dark rust and then you've got your camel then you've got your cream then you've got your wine and then you've got your dark brown which actually those two colors go really well uh, then on the second tier pink, pink. Uh, that is your um Cerise, that's Cerise, your Cerise. Royal, Royal blue, blue Pe Kingfisher, Kingfisher, yellow, light, light olive. olive. Oh, nice. Light grey, brown, yes. beige, copper. Perfect. Purple, dark navy. I like this staple. Mid grey, hot pink. Also, Hatch Hander pink. Navy blue. Light blue, dark green, burgundy, black, white. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, you get to choose any four. If you want four of the same colour, you're more than welcome to do so. If you want two of the same colour, you're broom. more than welcome to do so. Uh, it's entirely up to you. Now, what, if I was yeah, going to go for four, 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 right? Four for fourteen. I, do you know what? I would go for the pink. Definitely, really like that. I'd go for the hot pink, um, overlocking. Well, I'd go for the staple of black. Oh, which is a very good staple for overlocking. So I would go with the pink, the black. Uh, I'd possibly go for this colour here, Kingfisher. which is the Kingfisher. Nice. And then I would go for... The yellow's nice. I don't know the what yellow's nice. For. Yeah, I'm going to go for the yellow because oh. I would use the yellow for embroidery and not overlocking. I can't say it. Overlocking. 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 Uh, what about you, Adam? Uh, well, your staples, I'd go for a black. Yes. Because you get a lot. How many do you need spools? 5,000 yards. 5,000 yards. Yeah. I don't know how far that is. Uh, so you got, I'd go for black. Yes. I would also go for... So I've said the pop of colours, so I would go for like the kingfisher, because that's an yes. unusual colour. Yeah. Um, we'd also go for the yellow as well. Yes. I'd go for these two. And yep. I'd also go for a rust. Yeah. 
Mm. Now, these threads would go with the one day special if you yes. make it a quilt. So, if we've got that in mind, um, okay, with the one day special, uh, I'd go for a mid grey because one. we've got the grey. So, I'd go for the mid grey. Do you know what? I might go for the yellow because there is that mustard mm, colour in there as well. And there is that beautiful mint. Now, we don't have mint in here, so I'd probably. Olive. I would probably go for the white or maybe this colour. Maybe that colour would be good for mint because it's a light blue. Um, it'd also look good on the grey, that one as well. But you choose, you decide. Um, because it's such a great price, you're saving £25. Yes, you can use these for embroidery. Uh, you can use these for other projects as well. It doesn't have to be for an overlocker. They're just stored on the overlocker, um, not spindle, overlocker cones. Bobbin, bobbin, that's it. Uh, but 5,000 yards on each one. That's a lot. Yeah, that certainly is. Uh, let's show you how to pick a mix on the website, and then I might tell you my Tom Cruise story. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, this is how you pick a mix. There's a plus and a minus. If you want that particular colour, you click on the plus. If you want it more than once, you click it a couple of times. Remember, you choose four. However, if you want eight, you can. If you want 12, you can. It's entirely up to you. Um, and that gives you a chance to get as many as you like at that saving. Freedom members, Freedom members, there is no PMP to pay on your delivery. Might be worth thinking about becoming a Freedom member too in order to get things delivered to your home. It's a good idea. Um, go and check that out anyway. That's entirely up to you. Right, that is your one day special. We're going to take a look at your sunrise specials. Uh, right, here are your sunrise specials. These are only available for this hour and this hour only at the price you're seeing on the screen. That's why you've got the savings up until 8 o'clock today. Uh, right, yarn, and I'll tell you a yarn in a moment. Uh, these are your yarn balls. Uh, 975895 is your item number. Uh, really nice colour, actually. It's a very subtle colour, but I think this colour will go with many other colours in your stash. Bright colours, but also nice autumnal colours as well. Uh, from Debbie Bliss, £19.70, saving £28. That's a lot of money to save, uh, especially if you're thinking about projects to put together something to do. They are 75% wool and 25% acrylic. Uh, you've got your tension on there. If I just turn this to me, I've not got my glasses on, but I'll hold it at a far. Your tension is 10 centimetres by 4 metres squared. And uh, your knitting needles... And you get 11 stitches by 15 rows. Yeah, it just, it's just there on the little chart. Uh, so it's a little chart there, but it gives you tension and also your stitches as well. And there is your needle. In the US, it's 15, 10 millimetres if you're here in the UK. Uh, so if you do want to get hold of those, uh, saving £28, pop them into your basket. Right, I'll tell you my yarn now. So Tom Cruise, yeah, I did meet him. Oh, yeah. Tom Cruise. Um, actually, you remind me of Tom Cruise a little bit. Oh, bless you. You're probably yeah. a little bit taller than Tom Cruise. Uh, but I met him in Rome and he was oh. filming Mission Impossible, which one took place in Rome? Is it three or two? No, it must have been two. Anyway, uh, so we, we met we met Tom Cruise and uh, he was there at his trailer and he came out and he had a chat with us all. It was a very bizarre situation. Um, but yeah, he was there and we chatted and he said, where are you from? And I said, I'm from Leicestershire. And he went, it's a beautiful place, isn't it? I thought, you've never been there, Tom. <laughs> You'd, and I knew he'd never been there, but I went, yeah, it is, isn't it? And he went, yeah. Um, and then he continued to sign some things. But what was funny Ooh. is that because they were filming in Rome, they were asking for extras. So, yeah, <gasps> I was like, yes, please. And Jane was like, no. And I'm like, yes, we are. We don't come here very often, and we're doing it. So we had to walk in front of a restaurant because something was going on in the restaurant. So the cameras were there, and it says, well, right, whatever you do, when you walk past the restaurant, don't look in. OK, because you are the scene outside. <laughs> we're filming on the inside, we're filming on there. You are the scene outside. Walk past, just regular. So I'm like, OK, have you got that? Jane's like, yeah, that's fine. So here we go. And they're like, and action. So off we go, walking <laughs> like this. I'm like this. Jane goes, cut, cut, cut. Jane, don't do that. I won't, I promise I won't. Right, we'll do it again. <laughs> Can we take two? OK, right. Walk forward. Don't look to the side. OK, so <clears throat> are you ready? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm walking like this, you know, I know I'm in a movie, <laughs> and then it's like this. <laughs> Stop doing it! 
Right, final time, last time. Right, action. OK, here's me. <laughs> here's Jane. <laughs> Consequen consequently, we didn't end up in the movie and they got uh, someone else to do it. But when someone tells you not to do something, what do you do? Yeah, you go and do it. Do. You go and do it. Um, anyway, that's my uh, Tom Cruise story. There's probably a little bit more to it, but I'll tell Adam that later. Oh. Mm. Uh, right, so we've got some hellos. Oh, Douglas has emailed uh, in, um, and he wants to say thank you for bringing uh, Good Morning Ho Chanda to you this morning. You're more than welcome. I hope you're going to have a good day. Stay with us as well because there's plenty more programmes and ideas for you. Um, Alison says, have a fabulous birthday. Oh, thank you, Alison. That was lovely. Have a fabulous birthday. Oh. Uh, she says, thank goodness for Ho Chanda. It's something great to watch. Uh, by the way, if you are watching at the moment, that's not subliminal advertising. That is no, Adam. I am. I am genuinely here. <laughs> Adam is here. Uh, it's not like a subliminal message every now and again. We <laughs> flick Adam in, and then we flick him off. You know, just relaxing, watching Janet, watching the master at work, as it were. Got <laughs> <laughs> your feet up and everything. I like this. Well, you know, I'll wipe it down afterwards. Well. I always do. You always do. You know, I do Let's always face wipe it, it down. He always does. Um, but yes, it's nice to see you, and it's nice to see your soul <laughs> of oh. your feet. Of your feet. Uh, right, let's move on to the panels. Um, Adam's coming up in a moment's time because we've got more sunrise specials that you can go and have a look on the website. We've also had some sellouts. Uh, right, a mixture of card for you, 129 pieces in total. Mixed media, what would you do with these? Well, I've been crafting this week, so I get my paints out from a grey board. Um, and I've also got some moulds for some clay. That's my next project. I've got clay. some clay. Yes. So I might put that into the moulds and I might stick some items on here and I might paint over it. Yeah, which would be quite nice. I could do that. Oh. I could do that. Oh, or says no. Adam. I was going to say, before I forget. <laughs> yes. And, uh, oh no, it's too late. I should have really done this at the top of the hour. But don't let me leave today yes. without giving you Molly's birth birthday card that she sent you. Oh, is Molly watching? I don't know. She's. I think she's Ooh. gone to school. Molly, if you are watching, have a lovely day today and have a safe day if you're going uh, to and school. And she's also got you a present. Yeah. Has she? She has. She I found it out Molly. herself. Oh, Actually I might quite nice. show. It was mine. Do you know what? I might show you guys uh, Molly's pictures that she drew for me last week. They are amazing. They really are. They really are. She drew a picture of me and Jane. Uh, right. So uh, those are your grey board. Oh, I can't wait for that. Uh, you've got your textured card here. It's lovely. It's like a pearlescent finish. Uh, you've got more grey board that's got Time. white on one side as well. So you don't need to paint that if you don't want to, which is good. Uh, you've got some card in red, the purple, and the black. So that's a nice selection. You've also got your gold card here. That would make some nice toppers, maybe. You could use these with your die cutting as well, if you've got a little die cutting card, but even something like that, and then build up the layers. Um, so you've got a whole array of different me, um, different papers for you and cards and grey boards. 129 pieces in total. Amazing. Great deal, that is. Only £10. Remember, Freedom members, you don't pay any P&P. And if you want to become a Freedom member, I'm saying this because we are getting lots of things delivered to our home at the moment, and I'm aware of that. Things are changing all the time. And if you want to have lots of items delivered and you want to save some money, let's face it, um, it's a good opportunity to do so, I might suggest you look at the Freedom membership. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh no way. It that, was hers. That as well? Yeah, it was hers. No. Oh, really? Yeah. It was. Oh, we bought it for Mom. But she oh, said God. you can have. She said give this to Janice. Oh, but it's good paper. Molly, that is fantastic. Do you know what? I love mini books. I was only thinking about this on the way to work this morning that I'd like to get something like this, and I've got a card to open it. You can do. It's okay. from all of us. Um, excuse me why I indulge myself, everybody. It's great, but do you know what's lovely? It's lovely to have your company. Now, yeah. Molly is um, Adam's daughter, and she Molly is, is... She's three going on 93. Three going on 93. And I'm 93 going on three. <laughs> so that's why we match so perfectly well. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? Oh, I'll just open it up. To Janice, happy birthday. Love, Adam. Sammy and Molly. 
and there's a picture. That's you. That's, That's you, by me. the way. That's me. Oh, my goodness. And then she didn't like it, so she coloured over the top of oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know something, Molly? If I looked as beautiful as that, I'd be happy. So thank you very much. That is absolutely wonderful. Mm, 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 and a mm, big kiss to you. Oh, that, I can't believe you've given me your little journal. Oh. Do you know what? Maybe, if it's safe to do so, I'll get Daddy to bring some cake home. <gasps> She'll love that. Let's do it. Uh, right. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to come back to that. It's nice and safe. Uh, we've got some proggies for you, everybody. Uh, very busy for these, actually. Uh, I do love a good proggy. And when you finish this as a project, you will love it too. I know you will. Or it might be a gift for somebody. Maybe someone's birthday is coming up. Um, it's a good opportunity to get this delivered to your home, and then you can make and create it. You get the full instructions with your proggy. Um, full instructions, pictorials as well. You've got the pattern to follow, so it's going to be nice and easy. I know that looks like a toilet seat, but it's not. Let's open that up. <laughs> and then let's open it up a little further. Uh, so you can see you've got oh. your owl there. <laughs> There you go. And you've got your fabrics. You can make oh, you can make and create the eyes if you want to. You do have the eyes. But if you feel it's better to stitch them on, then you've got your white felt to do so to create the eyes. You've also got your proggy tool right there. And again, with all the details that you receive, you will be able to get on with this. It is a breeze once you've read the instructions and you pick it up. And it's absolutely fantastic once it's made. Uh, 463 796 is your item number if you want to treat yourself to that. £11 and <clears throat> 97 pence, saving 14 pounds. Uh, perhaps it's a new craft that you want to get into, and this is going to be the perfect way for you to do so because you're saving 14 pounds. And if you're saving 14 pounds, it might be worth heading to the website, Craft Yourself Silly, uh, on our website, Shopping by Brand, see if there are any other proggies available for you. I don't know why I went all high then. Uh, right. We're heading back to Adam because he's got some more sunrise specials. <laughs> Thank you very much. We have indeed got some more sunrise specials for you. Your sewing machine bag is what we've got now as well. Uh, Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. You've got two zips. You've got a large pocket on the front uh, to put all your bobbins in, maybe to put your reels, to put your spools, to put your bits and bobs, your couturement if you wanted to, or maybe even the plug uh, can go in the front there. And then on the main section, a double zip. Love a double zip. Which means that you can then open it all the way up, all the way down the side. So now you haven't got to struggle. There's not like a little gap, just a little gap to pop your uh, machine into. You can open all this out. So you can open it out, pop your machine out, and pop your machine back in again. You can see how much room you've still got spare at the back. If I hold that, you can see how much room you've still got in there as well. So you can get your large machines in here. Maybe you don't use it for your machines. Maybe you use it as well, just a little, a little shopper bag, if you wanted to. You could use because it's quite. Um, it's not. It's not stylized. I'm not stylized. You know what I mean. It's not sewing stylized. It hasn't got. This is my sewing bag sprawled all over it. So you could use this for anything if you want to. A little grass green bowling bag if you've got a lot of bowling balls. You never know. Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Seven one five zero two two is your item number for your bag. Moving on down, we've got a bit of spellbinders dies. Is what we've got next as well. Sort of now in my eyes, it's medieval theme, but obviously you can split them individually if you wanted to as well. It's entirely up to you. You are getting all three for nine pounds and ninety-six pence. Uh, if I show you the back, so you can see how many dies you're actually getting. Look at all of those. 13 dies in total is what you're getting here for £9.96. 827903 is your item number. So you're getting sort of the wings in there, you're getting the heart and that sort of the larger sword, a scalibur sword if you wanted it to be, or King Arthur's. Uh, 77 pence a die is what it works out to be. These are my favourites. We're not allowed favourites, but if I had one, this would be it. Because you could do our little, you know, like your old pub signs that you used to get the hangout side. So you could make those as well, which would be absolutely beautiful uh, to do out your papers and stick on the edge of your cards. And then, well, if you use the dragon and one of these, you can have the dragon down, so it's like the king's head or the, the lion, whatever. But I, you know, I don't go out that much. Uh, nine pounds and ninety-six pence. Eight two seven nine zero three is your item number. Uh, last but no means least, MDF. MDF coasters. You are getting. Uh, you're getting. 
15 of each is what you're getting. So you're getting 15 circles and 15 squares. It's entirely up to you what you want to do with them. Maybe you do use them as coasters. Maybe if you're going for some of your felt, you could put some of your felt on the background and use them outside for your coasters. Throw some of your mediums on them. If you're going for your uh, craft along, what a way uh, to learn, to do your craft along. You've got all the stamps and the, 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 the inks in there as well that you could then make coasters to go along with your other accoutrement. Because remember, you've got that home and your love. They would fit perfectly on here. So you could have coasters that spell love or coasters that spell home if you wanted them to. £12.97, pence. is your item number for your coasters. Uh, something else that we've got is living in loveliness. Uh, Man, Kerry, this is your, oh, well, living in Loveland's Fabulous Half Wreath Kit and Pattern is what you're getting as well. £14.99. Now, there's different colour options you can have here. Uh, you can have your reds, which is the colours that you're seeing at the moment. And then you can also have your pastels. Uh, so you sort of, your white split, so it sort of looks like that, your finished product, not like that one. Um, and there, it looks like the one before is what it looks like. Uh, absolutely beautiful and very, very easy to do as well. You get full instructions on there. £14.99, 211921 is your item number. The pastel is now limited stock, so if you do want the pastel option, uh, that's the one for the finished heart that we've got. Uh, that one is now limited stock. That's the one that you can currently see in the picture on the full instructions. Um, get them where you can. 211921 is your item number. You get red pastels, there's white, there's blue, there's lemon, and there's also the pink option as well. Um, you are watching the one and only Good Morning Achanda. Right, we've got a chance now to tell you about our deal of the day. This was launched this morning at 7 a.m. And what a great day for this to be launched. And what a great day for this deal of the day because of the one day special being those fantastic yes, steampunk quilts. So you could really fill your baskets with everything you need to get it delivered to your door. Uh, we have got a variant of colours here. You can see all the beautiful colours that we've got here for you. Uh, 5,000 yards on each one uh, which is a great amount of thread not just for overlocking for embroidery and for all your stitching needs 5,000 yards it's gonna go a long way uh, one of oh, the most on. popular colors is the cream well, it's a very staple color uh, which is this That's one you, just here uh, yes, yeah, so you've got your cream. Now the deal of the one day special, we have got some greys in there, some blacks, we've got some mints and we've got some yellow, so yeah, yellows. yellow like a must and, and rusty colours. I think these three would be a, a good idea. Match up your colours, go and have a look at the, uh, the one day special. Um, but maybe spring colours or a staple colour. The thing is, you can go for four of one colour if you want to. It's worth it as well. Mm. It is worth it. Now remember when the one day when the one oh yeah that's right when the one day specials on. Uh, this is your deal of the day, so it will last for 24 hours. It's a time limited offer. We will change it tomorrow morning at seven o'clock when myself and Janice are back. But really do have a look. Remember the colours that you've got now. Go and have a look at your one day special and come back and see what colours will go best for you. No doubt Janice will be talking about these again in your one day special. But it's worth jumping on them now Why we've got them. We have just launched them as well. Uh, pick and mix of any four for £14.99. This is the website that it looks like. All your numbers are on there as well. So if you know one you're actually after and you know the number of it, uh, jump away, you've got navy blue, A20 in there, you've got black, a, 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 B, uh, your burgundy, A86. So if you do know the numbers, what you're after, uh, you remember you're getting an awful lot and it's pick a mix of any four. Four for £14.99. Is it a good strong cotton? Have you got one in your hand? It is a very strong cotton. Um, yeah, it's 100% polyester actually, 100%. not cotton. So, oh. um, but polyester for making quilts is perfect because of the washing capabilities. Yes. Sometimes when you're using cotton with your uh, fabrics, you've got to make sure that it's washed 
So, you know, because you've got that shrinkage, for example. With polyester, there's no uh, shrinkage in there. And it's a very tough, durable as well. Uh, 5,000 like. yards. That's going to set you up and see you right for quite a while. Unless you are making lots and lots and lots of quilts, doing lots and lots of embroidery, therefore you might need to get some more. 458-411. Head to the website to see all the colours and variants. We've not even said, we've only got 30 seconds left. Uh, we're here for the week, as you know. It's Good Morning Kachanda. Uh, myself and Janice want to see what you've been up to. Yes. So if you want to send in your pictures, you can send them in throughout the day and just address them in the subject to Good Morning Kachanda, Adam and Janice, or Janice and Adam, and then we will show them on tomorrow's show. Get them in while you can, and we'll show as many as we can. Uh, while you're out there busy crafting, we want to see what you've been up to. And that in might inspire times. others as well. So Good. thanks, Adam. We'll see you in the next I'll hour. I'll see you in the next hour. Yep, and I'll see you at 9 o'clock today. Stay where you are. Go and get a cup of tea. It's your time. Yes, coming up next, creative needlework kits with Hayley and Adam. Fabric Freedom Steampunk One Day Special. That really is a special at 9 o'clock. And then Colombo. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work. And at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or, if you pre-order your kit, you will receive £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along brand shop that month. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Yes, indeed. Good morning. How are you? If you're checking your watches, it's eight o'clock, but don't bother checking. You don't need to. You're in for a treat for the next hour, is what you've got. You're in for a treat. Do not fear. We are here. We are live. Um, but slightly different way of working today. Yes. Uh, I'm also with our Hayley as well. Our Hayley is here and she's going to go through all the kits for you. There she is. I'm all the way over here. All the way down there. <laughs> Uh, but we're gonna, still going to do, it's still going to be exactly the same. If you've got any questions or queries, do not hesitate. Email in studio to channel.com and we'll put them to you. We're not going anywhere for the day. Uh, right then, something that I've not seen before on her channel. Uh, this is your latch hook kits and also your punch needle kits as well. We're going to start with your punch needle kits. Now the details are down the side of the screen. Uh, I have to look over there for the screens off. Uh, 360421 is your item number. Now everyone that Hayley's about to talk about has a different item number. 
Oh, okay, you so can, the, you oh, can do the numbers. I'll and do I'll numbers. Just do the explaining. How's Brad, that? I don't want you to get confused. You can just be like the voice from I'll the ball. I'll be the ball. Oh, I like the voice of the balls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, do that. Right, here Ready? we go. Let's kick off with our <laughs> first one. This is Unicorn. Okay, so all of these punch needle kits work in exactly the same way. You're getting everything you need in the box. So you're getting the frame. It already comes framed. So if I just was twizzle this one round, you'll be able to see. It actually already comes framed. It's ready to go. And your design is printed on the back for you just to follow. Maybe get the sticker off, shall we? There we go. <laughs> so it's already printed on the back, ready for you to follow. And it's a really, really simple technique. And it's the same technique for all of them. So this is your unicorn. Yes, your unicorn. This is your punch needle kit. 360421 is your item number. £14.99 and 99 pence for the unicorn as well. Uh, beautiful for a, little, for a little bedroom if you wanted to as well. Absolutely stunning. Um, I'm going to throw the question out there when you talk about the next one. Are they easy to do? Is it yes, for a beginner? Yes, they're, they're really, really straightforward. I mean, it's so, it's so easy, Adam. Even you're having a go. And oh, that's how we do it. If Adam can do it, Right, and let's move so on to the leaf is up next. This is the cheese plant leaf. Oh. So if you're looking for something, maybe if you, you thought that maybe that was a, um, a little bit juvenile, you're looking for something a little bit more grown up, the next two, quite good for that. So you've got your cheese plant here. Oh, so you get your, is that my own game? Uh, so that was your cheese yes, plant your as turn, well yeah. that we're looking at. Uh, once again, very, very easy to do and very simple to do. I'm going to have to go in this hour. I've not had a go before, uh, so we're going to do it, try it live on the telly box. £14.99, 842529 for your needle kit cheese plant is the one we're looking at. Uh, up next, this we've got the, the cactus. This is the cactus one that we've got next. And again, exactly the same technique in all of them. Really, you're just choosing the design. The only difference with this one is there's a tiny bit of sewing to add those pom-poms. So this is your cactus kit. Oh, we don't mind a little pom-pom on Monday morning. Uh, £14.99, <laughs> 179965 is your like item this. number. Oh, this, is, this, is quite, like this is quite, this is quite nice. Uh, up next, rainbows, so rainbow this, with tassels. Yes, this is your rainbow one. And it's taken it into kind of an extra dimension because when you hang it up, you've got your rainbow tassels hanging off the end. So exactly the same technique for for the majority of it and exactly the same technique for these it's just you'll have slightly longer bits of, of yarn to attach it's nice to do though nice for a nursery i'm feeling 14 pounds and 99 pence 620720 is your item number for your rainbow <laughs> uh, let's go let's go landscape this okay, time another one that's a little bit kind of more grown up in its subject matter okay. so the landscape one all work exactly the same. If I flip that round again, tip the stick off. There you go. You'll be able to see it's a really simple technique. And when you get the fabric back, you see it's got like a grid work. It's like a uh, like an Ada or a, a Binka type fabric, and that means you can follow the lines as you go. So it makes it a really, really easy project. To I don't know if I like the back or the front the more. Well, you can have either because it comes already framed. You could have it like that so it was more like a box frame. Well, yeah, this is what I'm to. thinking. You could put other things in there then if you wanted to. If you've got little flowers well, that you wanted to put in there, little little tiny woolly sheep. Why not? Oh, high on a hill lived a lonely goat herd. Well, think about getting a goat. Are oh, you thinking about getting a pygmy one? Yeah. A little pygmy goat on oh. the ranch that you live on? Well, no, it's because there's quite a lot of bushes and things behind the shed. Well, you can't be bothered to cut them. You're going to get the goat to eat them. A little bit. There we go. <laughs> I was thinking about getting chickens the other day, but I didn't know how to look oh, after them. Oh, we've got some spare quails. Might have some spare quails if you want to hatch some. <laughs> that's, that's what we're doing at the minute, hatching <laughs> quails in an incubator. Are they easy to look after? <laughs> oh, I've just broke something. No, it's something um, underneath. They are, well, we don't know yet because they've just hatched. Yesterday, oh. three. I'll fight, look at some pictures. Put them three little quail, three little quails. Uh, Fourteen pounds ninety-nine pence. What we on now? Uh, some of the landscape. Uh, <laughs> landscape is what we're on. Uh, what are we doing? Where flamingo. Are we? <laughs> this Love the flamingo. This is the one that we're going to demonstrate with actually the flamingo one. All the same technique. So it's really just up to you to pick the design that you like the best. I love this one. I think this one's quite fun. Uh, Fourteen pounds, ninety-nine pence. Three. Uh, no, it's not. Four, three, nine, eight, eight, one is your item number for your flamingo. Right then. Oh, now we're way. moving on oh, to the probably. latch no, hook. Is what off. we're moving on to now. Uh, she's just got a little box that she has to move down. Bless her. Uh, latch hook. What is okay, latch hook? So latch hook is a slightly different technique. It it kind of works in a similar way. 
um, in that the, fa the fabric that you get is all printed for you and you are literally just following the pattern and latch hook creates almost like a, a carpet. If I put it on the side there, you'll be able to see. It's almost like a carpet. It's like a pile effect yeah. that you're getting. Really, really uh, easy to do and really, really straightforward. I think you'll like this one. I think I'm going to give you um, the latch hook first because I think you're going to enjoy that one. Oh, I, quite, I like the look of it. And the texture. So that's your feel rocket now. option. The texture's lovely. They are beautiful. It feels really, really soft. The easiest really way to describe it is like a bath mat. A little bit, yes, a little bit. And what you can do, we've got some techniques whereby you can join them together oh, as well. So, so if you wanted to take, one. you know, a few and join them together, you absolutely could. It's worth having a little go. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. What's the age range on these? Can anyone uh, do well, them? I would say five or six because you're going to um, uh, use a quite, not quite a sharp tool, but you are going to use a, a tool, and you're going to need a little bit of dexterity to do that. So I would say. Uh, five and up. So five, because you've got to poke it through the old packing, in, you know, yeah. as it were. Uh, well, then all the technical terms when we go down to demo area. <laughs> Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Is not far off the mark. Oh, well, there you go. Look, <laughs> we can all do that. Uh, Rocket is what we're looking at now. Fourteen ninety-nine four two 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 zero seven is your item number. Uh, unicorn as well, unicorn, which also matches beautifully for the first one that we looked at. Got a unicorn in the punch needle as well. So this is the uh, latch hook version, and again, exactly the same. Thing that you're getting you're getting that really deep kind of piled effect so why not join three or four of these together and make a little work I like these like four four of the same maybe would be would be yeah. beautiful if you wanted them to be uh, up next now your emojis we all got like we all have a good emoji <laughs> Uh, we found the emoji movie the other day. Is it any good? Oh, well, no, it's not. <laughs> but uh, my little one loved Honest. it. Honest. Oh, I, like it was, it wasn't, it no. wasn't for me. No. I'm not going to lie. It was okay. no Marley and me. Oh, that's but a good one. If you like, if you like your emojis or you know someone that does like your emojis, could you sew these onto the front of a cushion if you wanted to? Uh, uh, absolutely. You could put them onto the front of a cushion. I'm going to show you another way, actually. We had some uh, fleece on a happy hour last night. Might see if we can find a bit of that and show you a way where you don't even need to sew to oh. get it into a cushion. Uh, sunflower is what we're looking at now. Uh, this is your sunflower option. Absolutely beautiful is what we're looking this at. This is the one I had half done as a sample, but then I forgot to bring it. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed. The details are on the screen as well. 087490 is your item number. £14.99. And, and then, God bless you, Wendy. Uh, you're doing up so well. And then... <laughs> We've got the butterfly as well. Uh, yes. 613213 is your item number, £14 and 99 pence. Right then, it is all... I know I've changed size. Uh, Mr Ben, uh, it's all well and good seeing them and well, seeing the finished tall, products, <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> Ooh, you're on one today, you are. <laughs> uh, but let's go see how easy they actually are. Uh, jump to the website, it's the quickest and the easiest place to go. Uh, everything is on there as well. Everything that you need, you will find on the website. All £14.99. Right, bear with. Because we're not supposed to be touching and we're supposed to be social distancing, I'm going to go and get you a second tool. Okay. So that you have not touched the tool that I have touched. Or, uh, in fact, lovely Kirsty may go and get you another tool out of another kit because it's all like that at the minute. It's the best way to pay them. Yeah. No, we're doing, it, we're doing it sensibly. So, first of all, latch hook. Now, this one I think you're really going to enjoy. The kit comes with loads and loads of pre cut pieces of yarn. You've got them all stacked by your elbows there. <laughs> So that's what comes out the box. You get all of those pre-cut pieces of yarn. You get your tool. That's a lot. That is a lot, isn't it? You get your tool. Um, and you also get your pre-printed piece of fabric. So you've got everything I'm on that you... <laughs> I'm just getting my... I'm just getting you're my having some kind of <laughs> I'm just getting my tool handed. <laughs> Go on, just launch it. There you go. So you just want that bit. Okay. You don't need the other bit, you just need that bit. Okay, so to latch hook, what you're effectively doing is you are taking your tool and you're pushing it in and out. So either side of that first strand that you've got there. Oh, I forgot to put my wool on first. Hang on, I'll just pop that down. Do I need to watch this bit? A uh, little bit, a little bit. Okay, so you would I'm coming out, we'll start again. So you create a, a U shape yeah. with your wool. And then once you've got your U shape, you thread 
your uh, tool through it so it's kind of held onto there. You go in and out and then that little arm, as soon as you pull it back, you can see it closes. It wants to kind of lock on. It wants to latch. And that's why it's called latch up. There's your latch, there's your hook. You slide this up and over that first arm and then under the hook. Oh, hands out of the way. There you go. Over, under. And then you pull it back through the hole. And that's what creates those tufts. It's the same thing over and over again. All you need to do is follow the pattern. So I'll have to watch you again. In and out. Watch so in and out. That then, you know, you can see your little your little latch, latch yeah. there, hook at the top. So we're going to pull that little arm down. Oh, I didn't do it. I did it again. Got to put you. I was too excited about telling you about the tool. I didn't put my wool on first. So, got to put your wool on first. So put your wool on. Yeah. In, in and, and out. out. So it'll naturally pull that lever down, and then as soon as you start to come back, it'll straighten it out. Yeah. So then we're going to slide up the wool. Slide up the wool. Oh, I'm trying to do this so I can get my hands out of the way for oh. you. Right. So we slide up the wool, and it goes over that little arm. So over the little arm, and then under. Oh, they the both hook. go under the and gate. And then it locks in for you, and you slide it back through. Basically, put the pigs create. in the pen. Yes, more or less. Put the little pigs in the pen, close the gate, pull That's them back. That's it. So you've got another option, because I was kind of weaving in and out there. Your other option is actually just to fold it okay. along the row that you're working with. Yeah. So let me just uh, put that back around there before we start. So I'm just going to loop that round, hold that in place. And instead of having to go in and out, you can just go through. Oh. That will make it, if, you, if you're getting up some speed, that will really help. So you latch them into there and then just pull it back through. And then could you use like little clips, like mm -hmm. maybe bulldog clips or the, uh, sewing yeah. clips just to hold that, oh, that come on. bit down? There we go. You, can, you absolutely can. You can use something to hold those down if you want to. Your bits are all pre-cut. What I do advise is you don't just pull that sleeve completely off. Just slide it down a little bit so you can get access to them. Because if you uh, pull it completely off, you have bits everywhere. <laughs> okay. Fold it along that line. In. Just pull it back to straighten the arm. And then we're going to go over the top of the arm and under the top of the hook. And then pull it through. Just jiggle it. There you go. And then you've got, at that point, a chance to kind of straighten out and tighten off your individual tuft. And that's all there is to it. You just build it up and up and up from there. So can I give this one to you? Yeah. There you go. And you can have a go at that one. <laughs> OK. Now, with that, I do advise, kind of, if you're um, right-handed, working left to right and working your way along, if you're left-handed, go the other way because it's going to be a lot easier for you because the build-up of uh, work is out of the way of your kind of dominant hand. You got it? Oh! Has. Look, straight in there. Straight in there. So didn't even know I was doing. Didn't <laughs> even know I was doing this. Didn't even bring my glasses. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot to tell it's you to bring right. my glasses. I like being put on the spot. Oh, sorry. It's fine. Okay. What, are you, what are you going to do then while well, I'm, I'm doing this? I'm going to do um, the needle punch or punch needle one while you're doing that. So I've got a, f a few bits that we've put in there just earlier. And you're essentially kind of, I'll turn it around so you've got the right way up. There we go. You're essentially following the lines. So I've just put those black bits in first because then that will give me the, the eyelashes and things. So this one is your dark purple. Now there are instructions that come with both of these kits. So this one is yours for your ah. latch hook one and it's exactly what we said you fold it place it around the tool put the tool in and out latch it in place and pull it through and then just give it a little little a little tighten and a little straighten the Pardon. only um other things that you need to know is how to kind of how to judge which colors are which in terms of when your design's printed on, you'll find that some overlap. Yeah. So that's a, a bit of kind of you know common sense and mm -hmm. a bit of kind of judging. Ooh, would this one look right in the pink, or would it look right right in the grey outline? So you have to just a little bit of judgment call 
on some of those. And if you've made a mistake, so if you put one in and you put maybe a pink where there should be a grey, dead easy. So if you want to, you know, just put a grey one in for me, just random, in the wrong place. And then you can literally just unfurl that knot and, and pull it out. Once you get the actual canvas full, then there's a lot more pressure. Oh, it's gone punchy, it's gone right in the middle. Wow. Da, da, da. Just thinking. So there's my. Oh, yeah. now he's oh got no, a, he's it's got in a, the wrong place. He's got a little grey hair. Okay, it's like a mole, a beauty spot. So then. So you just unpick it. Out. Ah. So it's really easy to fix mistakes. It's very, very forgiving, that one. Uh, once you're finished with the latch hook, you can just cut those edges off because it's like a rubberized canvas. So you don't have to worry about the edges. You can just cut them off. But if you do want to join them together to make larger pieces, don't cut the edges off because when you're joining your next one on, you kind of just overlap them and work through those two layers. Okay. I'll explain that one a little bit later. No, that makes sense. That makes sense because you've got you've got a little overrun Adam, on all really of the corners. Do your job. Uh, so <laughs> you've got that little white area that so you can see around there. If I was going to put another unicorn next to it, I would trim off this piece here and then put my other unicorn next to it. My other unicorn will have that white bit on the other side, which I'll put behind my pink bit, whoops, and just work through both of those layers using the pattern that's on the top one, and that will join them together. So Makes if you want to make sense. a larger piece, you absolutely can. I'm with you, Brenda. I'm with you. <laughs> How about Brenda now? Do you know? <laughs> Is that just the one you use? I was listening to something on um, one of the, uh, I think it was one of the BBC ones. You know, like podcasting. Yeah. Uh, and they had old radio plays on. And there was one from the, the kind of, I think it was from the 50s or something. And everything was, bye, Timothy. Uh, <laughs> bye. Bye, Timothy. Gumdrops. <laughs> exactly. I've done it wrong again. I'm I glad. I quite like it. I quite like it. We should bring that back. <laughs> bye, Timothy. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a very long one. You can right. Oh, I've gone in the wrong So, oh. we are going to go needle punch now, or punch needle. So, we go uh, right from the very beginning with this. So, the first step in all of this is the tool and threading the tool. So the tool is a wooden handle with a metal tube running all the way through it and there's a little hole you just see in the top of that tube there. So to thread it you actually get two of these in Okay. just because uh, it, it is easy to break them because they are very thin wire. Now it is tempting to go through that hole and all the way down oh, and try and thread it in one go don't do that, it's going to end in tears and a snap threader. So um, you are better off, if I just turn that round so you can see. And no one that wants a snap threader. All the way down, and it will pop out the other end. You thread your uh, yarn through it, and then pull it all the way back through till it pops out the top. So once you've got it through the main body of the tool, then you then need to get it through the eye of the needle, and you do the same again. Needle threader through, and pop that in, and then through. So now I've got a huge long tail on here, so I just want to adjust that back till it's about two inches, five centimetres. That's a big two inches. There we go. That's better. <laughs> so we are now word. ready to go. And with the, the punch needle, what I would advise doing is doing the outlines first and then filling them in because it's a lot easier. There is a little key. Obviously, you'll have a picture on the front of the box, like a jigsaw to follow, but there is a little key on there as well, and it tells you what colours need to go where. So the only... This, I would say, is a step up in technique from latch hook because there's a few more uh, little tips that you need to bear in mind when you're doing this one. I love this and one. You're having a nice time. This is so, this is so I, I keep oh. finding lovely Adam crafts, don't From I? From Proggy the other week. Then what did you make me do? Uh, then we had diamond, diamond, diamond dots. Diamond dots. Yeah. I, I enjoyed that. And now, it's a bit like crocheting. Yes. Yes. It's the easiest way to describe it. It's a bit like crocheting, but with a snazzier it's, tool. It's like painting, almost like painting by numbers. The colours are already there. You don't have to think about that. You, you. Bits are already cut for you, so you don't have to think about that. It is literally just kind of put the tool through, pull it back out. Are you finding that folding technique easier? Yeah. Yeah. But you just have to remember what hold you one. go through. <laughs> you to, if you, and you have to, if you don't get the fold right, 
you go through the wrong yes. hole, don't so you? So you do have to fold it exactly on the line for that one. So I'm going to start off with this one. So for uh, punch needle, what you're, I'm going to try and get this so you can see what the, the tool is doing. You want, if I'm working uh, left to right, I want the tool to be facing, the hole to be facing to the left where my, my tail is because I'm going to work in this direction. So I pop it in. I'm going to try and get it so you can see both sides. It pops in and then as you pull that tool back out, that yarn stays and as long as you don't um, kind of remove your tip of your needle away from the end of the fabric, then that loop will stay. And every time you push it through, it drags more through, it stays as you come back and then you step it along and you put it through again. I'm trying to get it so you can see both sides. I'm trying my best, Andy. And it's a really, really simple technique. Once you get the hang of it, you can kind of speed up. Just obviously make sure your fingers are out the way of the needle. I tend to try and put them either side. Okay. Just so there's a bit more tension on the fabric for me to be able to work. But obviously I can, I can feel where it's coming out as I'm sliding it back out and just make sure that I kind of, you know, don't stab through without looking and just make sure that that either side to be able to put it through. If you don't want to do that, you can have your fingers completely out of the way and you can just go for it. But there's a, lot, a little bit less tension on the fabric. And that is what you, I'm going to turn it around this way. So try and get my hair out as well. There we go. How's that? <laughs> so that's punch needle. You need to make sure that you don't put too much any tension on this piece that's coming through, because if you do, it will kind of pull your stitches back out. And it is just a case of follow that line along. And then when we come back to fill it in, we're going to work and just fill those in. So you can either work concentrically, so coming around, then in layer and in layer and in layer, or you can work left and right with the um, holes that are in the canvas. Because if I turn this round and I work with the holes that are already in the canvas, I can run along here pretty quickly because the holes are already kind of there to give me a guide. It's up to you how you do it. Obviously, it's a little bit tougher if you're going through the holes that aren't there. And if I wanted to um, come back the other way here, all I need to do is just turn that tool before I come back because you always want that yarn working in the opposite, yarn coming from the opposite direction in which you're moving. <laughs> You've gone again, haven't you, Adam? The, I am having, <laughs> once you found your so, own knack so tool. to this, now remember, I'm doing the uh, latch, latch hooking. hooking. Once you've found your own knack to that, <laughs> no, I found my own knack. Um, I know what I, I, I stick it through first, it were, then wrap the cotton round so I know it's through, and then pull it back through. That's fine. But once you've found that and you know what you're doing, uh, it's, it's quite therapeutic for me All personally. All I can do is give you the, the tips that I historically have found to, to make it easier. <laughs> I love this. Like the folding and, and things like that. Oh, you, you go through first, then wrap. I go through first, then wrap. Okay. Then I put the pigs in the in the pen, uh -huh. as it were. Then you lock the gate. There, oh, come on, piggy. Uh, so if you hear me huffing and puffing, this is what I'm doing. Uh, I'm like, Oof. Uh, <laughs> then I put the knee close together, then you pull it through. Um, but what I've also found though is, don't be scared to be a little bit rough. No, you can give it a good yank, and uh, to pull those bits through. It's um, it's there's no reason why you can't. The worst that's going to happen is you're going to maybe split a piece of yarn. You've got loads of extras. They come, the kits come with. Oh, does it come with so many plenty. extras? Yeah, there's loads of extras. So there's plenty, all plenty these there. that you see here. And this one that I've got. Oh, and the one that you've got. So you've got <laughs> you've got quite a few. And as you say, to fill an image like this, you can see a look at that for an image of what you can create. Um, it's a bit like how long is a piece of string? See what I did there? Okay. Uh, how long? If I spend all day on it, could I do it in a day? Right, so um, we had one that was half done that was supposed to bring in as a uh, kind of demonstration one. And that one took Molly uh, 
I didn't do it. I, I showed her how to do it, and then she was away. It literally is, is that easy. Once you've got the hang of it, you're away. So you're and she of did most of that you? in, uh, I would say, three hours did half of it. Oh, OK, so, got, so it's a good day's work. Yes, if, it's if a good day's work. If you sat at it. If you just kind of sat at it. But it, it's the beauty of latch hook and needle punch, but more so latch hook, is it's one you can literally, you know, phone goes, something more exciting is happening, you can just put it down. No, that is and true. And come back to it later. It's not like knitting where you've got to get to the end of a row. I would say with the uh, needle punch one, that's one where you do kind of need to to get to a stopping point. With and it, it, because and you it, don't really want to leave the, the tool, because this one's quite sharp, you don't want to leave this kind of lying around. So I would probably say this is one where you need to get to more of a stopping point. No, it's true. But this, there's a part, unless you leave the gate open... Uh, there's no sharp, once that gate's closed, as it were, there's no sharp points on this because it's a rounded end. So, if little fingers did, and I would say always take it with you because you always pop in a pocket, pop in your back pocket, you're fine to go. Um, but it's worth, worth doing it. If you like knitting, I would say if you can hold a pen yeah. and write your name, you would be able to do this as well. It's one of those sorts of things. If you can do a pen, because you just need a little bit of tension yes. just to give it a little tug. Nothing yank. big, nothing. You're not putting it between your feet and pulling it. <laughs> just a little, just a little, just a little, a little pull. See, I've even done a wispy grey. I got bored of the pink, so I went for a little, I went for a little change. I mean, the way you're doing it is the best way to do it is to run along in rows and work your way up. Now, you don't necessarily have to do. You you could do them in strips. So, because obviously doing one colour can get quite monotonous, you can do them in strips. So you maybe took the first kind of third of the panel and you worked all the way top to bottom and then you came along and did the next third top to bottom but it is always better rather than dot about with random ones it is always better to work it in rows do it in rows you see that is part of my row so i'm nearly there for this row um i have a question yes so uh, it's all in the instructions but just in case i get there in the hour safe chipping i'm going to ask it now uh, so i've got three more pinks to do yes then what's this row because that one's white. I would say, I would say do it as a grey. So do or two yeah. rows of grey. Just thought I'd ask, you know, because the colours on there, so if you get home and you think, well, that, now he's got no bottom, you could do it as a pink. Remember, you're getting extras in here as well, so you really can go to town with your unicorn. Uh, remember, though, and maybe, maybe you're buying one of these for all the family. Who knows? The time that we're in at the moment, 1499. Ooh, you'd have a heck of a rug if everybody did well, one, Can you imagine if everyone did one? I know we can't shy away from what's going on in the news at the moment, we know that, but <laughs> we're here to help, we're here to support, we're here to pass you through the day. And things like this will help you through the day. If you've got, the kids are now off school, and you want them to, to get into a world of craft, this would be the perfect way to get them crafting. Um, I mean, because it's a nice thing to do. This froggy latch hook, it's all from the same kind of era, so if you need to tie it into a history lesson, yeah. you absolutely can. This is the perfect thing as well. It's worth worth having a think about. And if you're spending over £60, maybe you're going for a few of these and a couple more things on the website, as it were, uh, and you spend over that £60, you can pop that into your flexible basket. Just down here. Uh, flexible basket over £60 is what we're looking at. You might not be. Don't let me poke or prod you in ways you don't want to be poked and prod, so I'm not here for that. I'm here to get you the best possible deals. And at the moment, there are some good deals out there. Maybe your craft along. Your craft along's on there. That's also on true flexible payments. Maybe pop that in your basket. Anything else you pop in your basket? You know what? Save me explaining, because I could be here all day. We could go round the houses. I know, like a dustman's cart. Uh, let Ali own it. Have a little go. Flexi order has arrived at her chanda. What is flexi order? When you place an item on flexi buy in your basket, you qualify for flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. FlexiOrder, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. 
Yes, indeed, that is Flexi Auto. Right then, we're going to have a little look at the designs again, because they've all got their own different item numbers. Now, this is the one I'm current. No, I'm not. This is the punch needle. This is the one Hayley's doing. Uh, Hayley's doing this one at the moment. This is the unicorn. Uh, so this is called the punch needle kit. Now, you get everything you need in the boxes as well. All the kits are here. Everything that's in there. Beautifully packaged as well. Uh, nice wrap. You fold that down, you can wrap it perfectly as well. Maybe it's a gift for someone. It's entirely up to you what you do with them, but you get everything you need. I'm going to go for it. Everything that you need is in the box. Okay, I won't get it out of the box, but you can see everything he says as he opens and takes it all out. Uh, everything that you need is there. So these are crafting on the go. Crafting, maybe you, do, maybe you haven't got little odds and ends as it were. You, don't, you haven't got the, the glues here and the sticky map. This comes all in a box for you so you haven't got to worry. All your tools are in there and every kit you buy comes with the same tool. So if you're buying more than one for maybe a relative, maybe you're buying someone that's currently, that, well, that's self-isolating as it were. Perfect way. Everything is in the box and you haven't got to worry. You can send it to their address if you wanted to as well. So the unicorn, the item numbers are down the side. 360421 is your item number. 14 pounds and 99 is. Then we've got the cheese plant. Now, once again, um, if you wanted to, I'm going to throw this open to Hayley. I know she's not with me at the counter. Hayley, if you wanted to and you've got spare wool at home and you've got a lot of wool at home, Mm -hmm. Could you change the background if you measured the strip? Uh, yes. I mean, for further down absolutely. or... Absolutely. If you wanted to change the colour on any of the kits, then as long as the strips are the same length as the other ones, but not necessarily. You can maybe cut them shorter so that the unicorn or the, the design on the front stands out further than the other. Maybe if you're looking at the landscape one, I've probably turned myself the wrong way around. No, it's all right. We had a shot of you. We've got it's a beautiful <laughs> shot. <laughs> Just turn it the wrong you are, way around. Look. Hi. Um, but you can, if you wanted yes, to, you absolutely. can change and adapt them. Absolutely. It's worth having to think about. So don't just think what you're getting in the box is what you have to use. You can change and adapt. It's entirely up to you. Uh, so this is our cheese plant. Up next, we've got our cactus. If you do want the little pom-poms on, you haven't got to put them on if you don't want it to. It's entirely up to you uh, which way you look at these. And remember, because they're in a frame, obviously this is the bit of sewing. Uh, this is where the balls have been sewn on. But you can take that off if you wanted to. Obviously yours won't come with a number either. That's just for me. Uh, but you can also have it backwards. It's entirely up to you which way you want to go for this. It comes with the frame, so you haven't got to worry about framing them. So they are perfectly pieces of art straight away. £14.99, this is the Cactus. One seven nine nine six five is your item number. Up next, we've got Rainbow. I can see a rainbow out above the trees and high and waiting to be free. Do you remember Rainbow? With George and Zippy and Bungle and Jeff. I wonder where they are now. Our bungle. I know where one of the Janes is. One of the Janes? Mm -hmm. Who's Jane? Oh, uh, no, she wasn't Jane. Uh, Debbie Shaw used to be on the... Uh... Oh, see, I was, only, I was only a wee one. Oh. I remember of it because Zippy used to scare me. <laughs> he did. He was quite scary. He was a bit mm. in your face, maybe. Well, so, uh, <laughs> Rainbow is what we're looking at. Some people wish I thought I was a zippy. Uh, $14.99. You also get your tassels as well, which are beautiful. Cause they're, just the, they're just the excess of the last bit of thread that you're using. Uh, £14.99.620.720 is your item number. Uh, up next, scenery. Now, everything we've seen so far would look amazing in a little one's bedroom, in a conservatory, if you were doing it sort of retro in your office. Um, you could gift these if you wanted to as well. But how wonderful does this look? How beautiful does this look? And then once again, from the back, you have another complete scenery. If you wanted to, you could pop a little boat on the water. You could pop a little sheep in the field. The rolling hills, the clouds, you could turn these green and if you wanted to and use them as the trees. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. You could mix and match some of the colours to so take one of the greens from the bottom and put them in the valleys up here and then take these down the bottom as well to look like flowers. It's entirely up to you, but for £14.99, 988651 is your item number. You can pick and choose. It's entirely up to you what you want to do them. Uh, last but no means least, we're looking at the flamingo or a mingo as my little one calls them <laughs> daddy can we see the mingos uh 439881 is your item number i don't know why she can't say flamingo uh 14 pounds and 99 pence again uh, uh, once again a stunning little image 
other beautiful flamingo that we've already got here as well. Now, latch hook kits. This is the one I've been demoing while I've been sitting down at the table. It looks harder than it actually is. It's all these things at the moment. I, I'm, I am loving a bit of soft craft. I absolutely, this is right up my street at the moment. Because it's one of these you can dip in and out of. You haven't got to be a hardcore and finish the card there and then, or a paper craft. I'm getting there slowly, uh, which I do with my little one. But this sort of thing you can sort of do of an afternoon, or you can sort of do little bits here. I'll do a little bit there. Oh, I've got five minutes. I'll have a, I'll have a little go of my, uh, my latch hook. Uh, but with this one, you can create beautiful rockets. It's basically like a little rug. And you pull them all the way through is what you're doing. Very easy to do. All the tools come in the box as well, as well as all of the, uh, the accoutrement. Everything's pre-cut for you. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So everything, all the colours, so this is the dark blue that you see here, uh, everything's pre-cut. Now as Hayley said, they just pop out, don't take them all out because you'll never get them all back in again. And then they all stay safe and obviously as that gets smaller just put um, a little elastic band round to keep them all together. It all comes with a full tool as well and everything's colour coordinated. So this is how it starts life which you can't see absolutely anything on there at the moment, but there is a... Oh! So if you see... Well, I can't see anything on there. It's because it's the back. Um, and then... Well done, Kirsten. I was just thinking, that's clever. It's just cameras can't pick it up. I can see it because that's what's facing me. Uh, but there's your rocket. So that's how it starts off. So all your colours are already on there. All you have to do is take your threads and pop them all the way through. Um, I love this. I do like this. This is... This, is, this could be my new favourite. This and Proggy. Oh, I'm going to be very busy over the next few weeks. Very, very busy, as well as getting the house ready. We're nearly there, people. Oh, that house is nearly coming on. I moved two bits of furniture in yesterday. We're not stressing ourselves. Just the two bits. Um, just two bits, and I thought, this is enough for me. Enough for me. I went for a lot. I did actually have a cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit. Uh, then we've got a unicorn. The unicorn is what we're looking at next as well. 14 pence and 99 pence. Did you move the box that was here? Oh, thank you ever so much. I was worrying about tripping on it and then I came over here, I thought, oh, that box has gone. <laughs> or is I'm just imagining it. Uh, the unicorn is what we've got. 14 pounds, 99 pence, 232703 is your item number. I like the unicorn. Now, happy face. Happy face is here again. Uh, the sort of the, the emojis is what we're calling these. Is it, this is like your emoji happy face. Uh, him with the sunglasses on. Little cool dude that he is. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, £14.99. The feel of these is like a bath mat. The easiest way to describe it. That little bit of cushioning when you're sitting there on the toilet, as it were, just under your feet. Oh, you, cut a, you snip a little hole, snip them together, got a little bath mat or a toilet mat. It's entirely up to you. Um, sunflowers are up next. You can see them there as well. I'm loving the sunflowers. They're beautiful. Very Van Gogh-esque. Was it Van Gogh that did sunflowers? Yes. It was Van Gogh. Look at me and my knowledge. Um, I'm sure I got that wrong. Uh, Van Gogh. Very Van Gogh. -esque. Van Gogh style. It looks just like it's painted which is beautiful. Uh, and last but no means least, we also have your butterfly as well. Uh, we're loving all of these is what we are. Uh, very, very easy to do. Um, you can do these, I can do these, anyone can do these in fairness. 14 pounds, 99 pence, 613213 is your item number. The quickest and the simple thing to do is have a look on the website. Everything is on the website for you. Uh, you haven't got to worry. Uh, we are going to go through all the techniques again. So if you're thinking, oh, I don't know the techniques, I don't know what I'm up to. Do not worry, we can go through the techniques for you now. If you've missed anything or you have any questions, please do email studio at achanda.com. It will also be good to know as well. If you're thinking, I'd love to know if I could, uh, do let us know and we'll, um, we'll pop your question to Hayley. She's here all day, she's going nowhere. Uh, so we can put your questions through because you've got this, then you go straight to your one day special. I do, yes. Very good. Cheryl's emailed in. Thank you, Cheryl. She, uh, she, uh, she made a latched hook rug for a O-level needlework. Excellent. Cheryl, do yeah. you have a photo of this? <laughs> I would like to see these O-level rugs yeah, that you have created. Uh, Studiochannel.com, you know the address. Um, 
Yeah, if you've, if you've done latch hooking in the past, uh, let us know. I'd love to. I'd love to see what people do with their um, latch hook. There are two kind of really simple techniques that can produce, uh, you know, really effective results. And the uh, punch needle one, you can see, I've just, I've just been going while you've been um, having a little natter. Oh yeah. Over there, and this is coming on really, really quickly now. What I've done as well is I've done an, a piece down here which I've followed the lines on the fabric and this piece here I've done a bit more random just so you can see there is on from the front absolutely no difference so if you are not one of these people who can be uh, nice and neat and tidy and work in nice neat rows like we've done down the bottom you can just smash them in anywhere oh and smash them fine. in they're very very forgiving craft these ones so you you know you can get away with with quite a lot and um, one more thing I need to show you with the uh, needle punch is what to do with these ends where you start and where you finish so I'm going to take this to the end of this row and then we're going to actually cut this piece off so I'm just working with the holes uh, one more and if your um, loops are pulling out I'll actually just do show you on this one if your loops are pulling out it's because you are lifting your you're lifting your needle too far off the canvas. Can you see that one just pop out there? Is it more That's of a glide across the canvas? It is. Like so a scratch? If that happens, tighten that back up. We can pop those both back in. And it is literally, you can bring it up so that needle's just out, and then you move it across to the next one. You don't want to be kind of lifting your needle up too high. But if I wanted to cut that off, I would actually take my needle all the way through. While the needle's through there, I'm going to just snip that off, take the needle back out, because your first and your last, the same way as we did with that technique in Proggy, first and your last, you always want to be on the front, because this will stop them pulling out. So I'm just going to snip that down so it's the same height as all the other loops. Yeah. And that one there, if it's quite nice and tight, you're fine to cut that off on the back. If not, then just use the tool to push that through to the front so you can see it and then snip that off as well. Is that mine? Yeah, that's my long one mm -hmm. there, just pulling through. And I'll pull that through to the front. And then again, I can just snip that off so it's the same height. So that's kind of how to start, how to finish. Uh, we've seen thread, threading the needle. So if I wanted to change colour, I'll just quickly do that again. So we go from the front, from the pointy bit. And again, don't try and get through there and all the way up because you will just kind of damage your, your threader. You want to do one piece first, which is the, the long one. And let's put the black one in because that one's to hand. There you go. That goes through. Pull that all the way down. And then we're going to turn it over and then go for this hole here. And again, we're going to pull that through. So feed the threader through through with the yarn and then just pop that through and you're going to need to leave about a five centimeter it's a little bit bigger than it needs to be but about a five centimeter tail on there as well you're right there adam yeah i'm having a <laughs> have i lost you again I was having, i'm having a lovely time <laughs> here i want to get to the end of this row before the end of the hour uh, but you can see how quick that's one of the things with this though you think oh well i'll, I'll just get up to there or I'll, I'll just finish this kind of pile of of threads or i'll just and it goes on forever <laughs> it really does like you'd only done the first few and I've really cracked on, and I'm going to do a, a pink border to the end, and then oh, we're yeah? going to start with the grey. And okay. Well, it does grow very quickly, though, because of the, the vol it's quite That's what it's quite a nice one for, for kids or people who haven't got maybe the attention span presenters. Um, <laughs> because it does grow quite quickly, and you can see your progress. No, you can indeed. You can indeed. I'm, <laughs> I'm loving it, though. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I'm three across for the three board. now. I you are. You're you doing some, well. Some good Adam crafts. Good little craft. Well, it is. It's those. <laughs> it's, it's those crafts that you can jump in and out of at any time. It's not one that. Yes. Say you did it. Say you started it today. Say the name. This is your toe in the water. You started this craft today. You get it home and you start it. Then all of a sudden, home life takes over, like it all does for all of us. We all have those months, weeks, you know, that can go for two, three, four, five, six months that you think <laughs> you just don't, you, and you just forget about it. Yeah. But then. You, you tie this about and you forget, oh, it's, I forgot that was there. Oh, I forgot I put it there when, when I went to 
when I went to see or when I went to do this or I went to put the dinner on and you put it down and someone else moves it. But you can always jump back in at any time you want. It's one of these sorts of craft that it really doesn't matter. You can dip your toe in and out. You can do five minutes here, five minutes there, sitting as a passenger in a car. And at the end of it, you have a beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. little rug. Yeah, absolutely. So you can, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and see if I can find that fleece and see if I can show you how to make that into a cushion without having to um, do anything in terms of sewing. Okay. That's, have I got time? Minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. And the other thing I wanted to show you very quickly was if you have um, things like this one on the needle punch where you are kind of trying to do lots of little just kind of lines that will accentuate the, the wing on the flamingo but you don't want them to kind of all join up. What you can do is just run little spans in. So I'll just tighten that up. So I've just got that little span there and then I can kind of avoid those as I'm coming back through and putting, filling it in with my pink. So, and the other thing with needle punch is just make sure you aren't doing it flat it's on a table because you've got to have space for that punch to, to be able to travel through. And obviously it's, it's quite a, a longish needle on there, so you don't want to be doing it flat on a table. Makes sense. Okay, so that one, I'm going to let that come out. I'm just, I've got a hold of that last loop just with my fingernail. So I can pull that extra little bit of thread out to span it across to then move back up this side here. So mm -hmm. you don't necessarily have to keep cutting it off uh, and on every time you do these little pieces. You can just run Hold it, it and move it on. Yep, absolutely. I like it indeed. Right then, right, gonna are you going to go and find felt? Yeah, do some numbers. Uh, we're going to look at the website and then I'm going to quickly, I'm going to I'm going to try and show the technique that okay, I use for this as well. I'll take you through how I'm doing it. Uh, there are all the designs that are on there. That's the ones currently Hayley's currently using them. From the rocket onwards, uh, the unicorn's in the lead. I can see why it's my demonstration, I wonder. Uh, you've got the um, happy faces on there, sunflowers, butterflies, and also the flamingo as well. Uh, absolutely beautiful across the board. You've also got the universal scissors on there and also a little book of dogs. Oh, I like that book of dogs. Uh, little knitted projects, 100 knitted projects, that was quick. Uh, and then you've also got your pick of the day and your one, um, not your pick of the day, yeah, no, um, no your one day special. Uh, your, and your ODS on there as well. Uh, your deal of the day is the words I was looking for. You've got your <laughs> deal of the day and your one day special as well. Seven day savers and also become a freedom member while you're on there. Okay, so if I was going to back this as a cushion, um, I picked a lovely pink to match. I like. I picked a lovely pink to match. Um, so, because you're working to this point here, now you've got a couple of options with these edges. If you uh, want a nice clean edge without the cut, then I would fold them yep. as you, you do them. Um, and that, to be honest, is a better way to do the cushions because you're going to get a double strength edge there. But what we'll do is we'll quickly show you how to do this. So, let me just turn it around a little bit. What we're going to do is, uh, without cutting that, is oh, we are going to Cheryl replied, she's not got her latch hook rug anymore. She left it in the 80s. <laughs> like it's a location. <laughs> the she 80s. left it back in the 80s. We've, left all, we've all left a lot of stuff back there. Okay, so I've cut little fingers in the fleece the same width as the grid on here. Yeah. So I'm going to then... Oh, it through. Weave it through. Weave it through, alternate holes, and then just tie them off in little knots. And that will give you, obviously, the, the bits that you tie off will be hidden because you've got that kind of fluffy oh. edge. But you can pop these through and tie them off into little pairs. Oh, I need to cut another two now. Hold on. Pop them through. And you can use your tool to help you get them through if you want. And so one through each, and then tie those in a little knot. And then you can trim off that excess piece. Now, obviously, you don't want to trim too far because if, if I trimmed it to, I'm trying to get these flats, you can see, let's just tilt it up a bit. There we go. Oh, if you trim it so too if much, I trimmed the knot it would come there, out. they would just slide off. So you need to leave at least kind of one roll of squares and you can trim it off here, it'd be absolutely no problem and then those extra kind of fluffy bits will help to hide it. 
Well, it would. You could use. You could also use them as like a like little, like little, little, little extra, added extra, yes, if you wanted to not? as well. And if you've got extra bits left over, why not add a, an extra row of fringe on? A little border to do your border, then pop why them not? through. Very easy to do as well. At very, very easy. But you can't go wrong with that these. That would then allow you to put a, as a, a cushion in there, and then you could have a fluffy pillow. How nice would that be? Because <laughs> they do feel beautiful when you get them. I give this back to them. you? Well, so I know you want to do the demo, don't you? I didn't, no, you can. Now you're back. I didn't know how long you were going to take. Oh, that's it. I'm done. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, if we've got Haley here, she might as well show us well, how you do it. But you well, know, I've taught you, you, you in this hour. Okay, I'll so show you. I think that proves. I, I think I've tied this too tight, Adam, and I don't think I can get it back off. Snip them off. I think I might have to. Luckily, I've got the monthly mega deals. This the is monthly mega deal is in there. Uh, we're <laughs> loving the rocket at the moment as well. Um, we're go. loving the rocket. So I've learnt, only learnt this this hour. Okay, this is, I've never done this before. Nope. And this is not a TV one where we're like, oh, he's done that before. I didn't. I didn't even know we were doing. Well, I didn't know I was doing. You didn't this bring his glasses. That's how I didn't bring my didn't glasses. Um, second of all, we had a, we had a meeting this morning. We talk about how it all works. To be honest, I didn't really understand how it worked myself until I got to the actual live show. <laughs> It's just one of these things that we do. But we have the guru that's here. Well, you are like a, you're like a sewing oracle. <laughs> okay. Can we call you that? Uh, the sewing oracle. With a, with a step. <laughs> a little kind sewing like, oracle. Yeah. Okay, a little one. A wee one. So t I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up here yeah, so it's go, easy. Go Is that all right? That's so fine. we're going to go. So you get your hook. Yep. You go, so you can either fold or you can go this way. I find this way is you go up and up. This is the way now, this is the way I prefer to do it. Just say, you know, me, the expert. There are instructions in the pack, though, so oh, if that's you ever get good stuck, to know. They, they are there. So you go up and under. Yep. Open your gate. Yep. <laughs> take your thread under. Which you like to call pigs. Which take your little pigs, because it's pink. Obviously, change the colour, change the animal. Then wrap them through the gate. See that's so the gate's still open, but as you pull it back, you close the gate. Be a little bit. And the, the tool does that for you. The kind of tool as you pull it back, that little hinged piece automatically, that hinged latch automatically closes, so it grabs onto the uh, yarn that you've got and will kind of hold it in place as you pull it back through. And you're essentially creating lots of small knots. Well, it is that's like it's, what you're doing. I, I there is a name for this knot as well. So to put your pigs in the pen and then pull them through. See? Don't need me anymore. Do no, all we do. <laughs> oh. Do you want to do the next hour? No, we, but we need you. <laughs> I've got trousers that need turning on. <laughs> you know, you, you'd laugh at that, but you do get an awful lot of that once you're known as a sewing person. I had fixed three pairs of chainsaw trousers at Christmas. What are chain trousers? Going off trousers on a that you use for chainsawing. You've got like oh. Kevlar bits in, so you can't chop through your legs. I thought that was like a fashion, like drain pipes, <laughs> or I thought that, you can see how how like far. Like flares, chainsaw yeah. trousers. Like oh, my other half he wears and he wears chainsaw trousers. Oh, mine wears skinny fit. I thought they were like a. <laughs> no, they're actually. For uh, ding. Yeah, safety wear. Safety wear. So we're not behind the times. <laughs> we're not behind the fashion. Uh, we've got three minutes left. Okay. Take, what else um, do I need to tell you? So, well, tell me, just tell me why when you get this up for those people that are currently sitting at home, you know, you know what I'm like. Uh, for those people that are sitting at home, going, I like the idea. I think I'd be good at it, but I'll just wait. I mean, the thing is, once you've done one of the little kits, then you've got everything you need to take it forward. So, if you've done the kit and you've just maybe got some yarn at home, you've got the tool. It's just Sorry. a case of finding the right fabric and to be honest um, a polyester based one a synthetic based one is generally uh, better for this type of thing because the threads are stronger and if you've got a, a cotton one what you can do is wedge, as you punch that um, tool through it can sometimes cut the threads so a, a synthetic one is much much better for okay. that but you've got the tool you can take that on and then do a different project you've kind of you've, you've learned and you've cut your teeth on something that is kind of set out for you and ready prepared for you but then you can take it further and you can do whatever you, you want with it. Same with the, the latch hook. You can cut your nice. teeth on a project. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe it's going to be a gift for somebody else. But you've learned the technique. Once you've got that technique, again, 
you can take it onto somewhere else because the snip strips that we have for uh, Proggy, yeah, that will allow you to cut all of those same. Oh, is length. that the same as a uh, yep. Proggy? It's the same length. Bombshell. Oh, you've, you've left this to the last 30 seconds Sorry. to tell me this snippet of information. <laughs> uh, so if you went for the proggy this morning, the owl that was on Good Morning Achanda. Yeah, the tool that comes with it. So that long bit with that yep. the bit of MDF, so it's a long, thin yep, like a letterbox. It's, it's like a letterbox, and what you do is you wrap the, uh, you would do it with fleece for proggy, but for, for this you would wrap them round and round and round like that, snip through the middle, and that will give you the right length pieces. So now you can start using your own so you threads can, at home yeah, as well. Once you've got the kit, you've got everything you need. You've got the instructions, you've got the tool. So as long as you can find uh, you know, grid-based fabric to, to get you set away again. And to be honest, a, a wide weave hessian will do that. And then you're good to go. You can start creating Absolutely. your own designs. Start printing designs off and then tracing so through. you're really looking at it as a kind of a, a lesson in a box where you're going to get a you know, project at the end of it. The project maybe you can gift to somebody. That's right. And you're buying into the then tools. Once you've got the you've right got tools, the tools for the job, you're yep. good to go. And you are getting the right tools for the jobs in both cases as well. Thank you ever so much. Thank you, Adam. I've loved this hour. Um, you're on the next hour as I'm well with our Janice. There, yes. Tootling, tootling away. Is she tootling in? Um, oh, yeah, she is. Look. I'm going to go and go and turn up some chainsaw trousers. Go and see if I can I find them for the next off. hour. Fixed a hole. Oh, you fixed a hole. Yeah. Oh, you wouldn't want a hole in your chainsaw <laughs> trousers, wouldn't you? Who knows what you'd be cutting off? Oh. <laughs> Run, little one. Don't trip. Um, next up, fabric freedom. Fabric freedom. Steampunk one day special. You wait till you see these fabrics. They are beautiful. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. The John Next Door brand is designed to bring high quality, innovative products to the crafting market. The range includes stamps, dyes and new products such as the media plates. I'm also looking to expand the brand and bring you lots of new techniques, new ideas and new products into the next few years. So don't forget to tune in and watch the John Next Door shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda.
A very good morning to you. I hope you're safe and well. Uh, welcome to Ho Chan. If you have just joined us today, we've got a whole day lined up for you, full of crafts and hobbies and art, and I hope you're going to stay with us and enjoy your day. This is your one-day special. A one-day special is launched at 6 o'clock every day here at Ho Chan. We have sales throughout the night, and then we have live shows again the next day. This is your first live show of today. We've got another at 1 and another at 5 o'clock today. We are with, of course, Hayley Smith, and Hayley Smith is going to take you through through your one day special the details will remain on your screen for the one day special and it is available on flexi buy as well so you can divide the cost freedom members of course no pmp to pay now the item number is 404 171. Hayley, can you talk us through the one-day special? This looks Not marvellous. Not far away, Janice. <laughs> so uh, what we've got in the one-day special is you've got six and a half metres worth of fabric. So there are three different colour options. We've got the mint, which is the one I'm going to take you through first because I just like to explain how Fabric Freedom make their collections. So Fabric Freedom are a UK company and they make some amazing quilt collections. Rather than the American companies who will maybe make you know, 20 or 40 um, fabrics in one collection, they're much more concise. There are six fabrics, all designed to work together, and they will have always a feature fabric. So feature fabric is the one that's got all of those designs on. It's usually the largest print and the one you'll find that it kind of echoes all of those elements through the other ones. So for example, in this one, we've got the, the glasses and you'll see those kind of steampunk style glasses reflected in this one. Coming the other way, you've got the keys, keys there, and then you've got all of those keys in that next fabric. You've got the cogs just down the side there and then you've got a full cog print. You've got things like the um, watches and the alarm clocks. I'm gonna come down a bit, alarm clocks and watches, and they're in that next one. If I can just pull that across, you can see all of your watches and alarm clocks in there. And then your final one, it's kind of a little combination of a few. So you've got your hourglass in there. You've got your um, uh, pocket watches, you've got some cogs, you've got a real nice mixture and Fabric Freedom listen to their customers. Their customers are asking them for smaller prints, prints that go in multiple directions so that you're not going to kind of notice if you've got them the wrong way up and they do exactly what you ask them for. Along with this kit you are getting the correct amount of fabric that you need for each of them to do your, um, your front and your binding and you are also getting two and a half meters of your contrast fabric so in the mint option that is a white there are two other color options it obviously comes with a pattern as well so you know exactly what to do but we're going to go through the block in the demonstration so your next color option you've got is rust and this will keep us far enough away because you are getting two and a half meters oh then that's a very um I'll flip it at you. Flip it at there, there you, you go. go. <laughs> there you go. Um, I do love these colours. I really do. They're quite unusual. Yes, They're yes, really, a good really point. Unusual. Yeah, very good. And um, again, Fabric Freedom listen to their customers, and yes. the customers are saying, "We want something different. We don't just want floral all the time. We don't just want pretty butterflies yeah. all the time. We want." you know, things that are a little bit more unusual and that's exactly what they've given you. Do you know what I'm thinking about these as well? Because of the images you've got with that steampunk style, uh, imagine a quilt for a gentleman. Yes. For example, uh, and of course, teenager. ladies as well. Teenagers but, who are notoriously yes. difficult. Yeah, very much so. Uh, it's Perfect. a wonderful design, and maybe you're a paper crafter. I have folded this terribly. <laughs> maybe you're a paper crafter <laughs> and you have bought a sewing machine because you're crossing over to a different craft. This is a really nice way of doing it because well, it's very similar to a lot of rice papers around. We are kind of stuck at the minute mm. in this kind of limbo, and it's a brilliant time to actually learn something new. Yes, good point. Good so point. if you are a paper crafter and you're thinking about crossing across, this is a really nice one to start with because it's kind of simple enough yep. because it's a, a single block and just a mirror version of exactly the same thing. And it lends itself really well to random placements of fabric, which means that um, you don't have to concentrate as much at getting everything in exactly the right place and the right way up. It's a much nicer way to work as a, as a starter project. It's a great starter project, If isn't you're it? more experienced, mm -hmm. brilliant. You know, take 
take the block that we've got and concentrate on where you're placing those fabrics to get yeah. the most out of it. But we'll show you a couple of different techniques with the, the block that's there. Yeah, we certainly will. And also, if you've got any questions as well, please email in or leave them on Facebook. That is your one-day special. Thirty-four seventy-one is your first payment on FlexiBuy. FlexiBuy is a way of buying here at Hochanda where we divide the cost over two, three months. Now, this is going to be divided for you over two months. It's interest-free payments, and it's very, very easy to set up. Freedom members, again, no PMP to pay. 404171, that's your item number. It's brand new today, and uh, you just need to make the choice. If you can't choose, you can have more than one the, if you want to. This is the topper that we're working on from the um, grey option. Now, at the minute, it looks awfully yellow, but once you get the border on there and you get the backing yeah. on there, that's going to calm it all down. And this also is a kind of two, a three fifths of the size. Wow. So there are three blocks running here. You're going to add another two on. I like the pattern on here, Hayley. It's, uh, I've not seen anything like this before. Normally when I've seen patterns, um, they're quite regular. uniform and yes. regular. This Whereas one is a little, it I looks like, like it's a little bit more erratic, but I that like suits it. the kind of steampunk theme yeah. and the steampunk vibe. So, um, like it very much, very, very much. Uh, and it looks Hazel, very impressive. Designed as this one yeah. has kind of thought about the fabrics and the, the way that it will work together. So yeah. the block that you're making initially is this one here. Okay, and we've made a couple of different variations of this using the same grey option mm -hmm. but with different colours added okay. in and it changes it completely. Yeah, it certainly does. Uh, what a great Thank way you. to make something for your home uh, or as a gift for someone else. Those are your details for your one day special. Uh, the grey is in the lead at the moment. The ah. Grey ah. seems to be the colour of the day, you know, and I don't is know it? why. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Grey uh, seems to be, I don't know why I went, ee, don't know what that was all about. Uh, Grey seems to be in the lead at the moment. Uh, your choice, you decide. We do <laughs> have some more oh, fantastic fabrics, all following in the theme of steampunk. Yes. In that vintage style uh, so for you. So these are slightly different. These are a canvas rather than a quilting weight. So much better if you're thinking about doing bags, if you think about doing soft furnishings, just any project that's going to take, I mean, even jackets would be lovely out of this because uh, yes. it's that little bit heavier weight, so you're not going to need stabilizers and things. So you've got the hot air balloon option. Fantastic for fussy cutting these like as that. well. You could just pick the odd one out or use it as a whole. I would say if you are going to be doing, um, if you, I mean, this one is a little, it's a, it's a medium weight canvas, this one. So you uh, ultimately you could quilt with it, but you'd need to stabilize the other fabrics to the, the kind of same level. This one is a much, much heavier one. And this one I can see with using your paints or your colouring pencils just to add the odd kind of little splash of colour here and there on it. I think that would really look marvellous. Well. What a great idea. Or fussy cut these as patches. Yeah. And put them onto bags and jackets and things. Another great idea. Pockets. On yeah. How about a pair of jeans? An old pair of jeans. Change the, um, pocket change the pockets in the back. That would be a good idea. The pockets on the back of jeans are just top stitched on. So you could easily unpick them. Would you? Um, use them as a template to make another pocket yep. and stitch them back on. Or if you've got an old pair of jeans that you can't wear anymore for any particular reason, cut them up, make, make them into, into bag, bag or something like that so. uh, with uh, that particular fabric. <laughs> I do like these. £13.99, they're all 100% cotton. They're one metre by 48 inches. We've had a look at the balloons. The option for that, we'll bring the details on so the screen right now. This one is actually a 44 inch wide fabric okay. and that's why they're on uh, different numbers because they're all slightly different widths. So that's your one metre by 44 inch wide one. 1199013164. That's the balloon canvas fabric. Yep. And your next one is your print, your kind of text based fabric. And there's some fantastic things on here. You can pick out, you know, watches, you can pick out bikes, you can pick out hot air balloons. Really, really interesting fabric, this one. Why do I think about fish and chips when I look at that? Reminds me of a newspaper. newspaper. Yeah. yeah, it looks newspaper. Oh, I'm hungry now. £13.99, yeah. half the stock has gone of that. It's 48 inches wide, right. this one, so it's slightly wider okay. and slightly heavier weight. Yes. Oh, I just want chips. <laughs> chips, chips, chips. Uh, and then we've got the stripes. Very traditional, this one. Uh, so we'll this bring is a, the details a ticking up. stripe. So a ticking stripe, um, I was speaking to Derek last night and just telling him that ticking stripe is a specific type of stripe. It's that wider stripe in the middle with a smaller stripe either side. That's what classes as ticking. A ticker? That's interesting. Didn't know that. 
didn't yeah. know that. Also, 100% cotton. Come in. Well, they, they did say you. that. I did say, why is Haley in? And they said, well, it's the education. I said, oh, fair enough. Uh, but you do. You're so knowledgeable. Take advantage of this woman. Uh, an email People in. Be an oracle. <laughs> you a are. One. You are. You are an oracle. You are an oracle. <laughs> um, Thirteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. If you want to go for the ticket stripe, hundred percent cotton, beige. Note how I say that. Thank you. Beige and brown. I'm going to grab my glasses. I'm going to step over whilst you take okay. us through. So the next set. What we've brought here are two plain options, and the plain options are kind of here for a reason because they match perfectly with the one day special. Can, Janice, could yes. you just pop and get me the, uh, yes, that block that's on the top? Because this will kind of illustrate it a bit better for you. Thanks. If I bring that one in and turn it the right way up, maybe. There you go. You can see that uses most of the colors that are on this counter. And that's the gray option from the one day special. And every single color in there works beautifully. The only one I would say was the exception is the spice color, which is down the bottom here. But that one is perfect to go with the rust color option from the one day special. Okay, eleven pounds and four pence. If you are a freedom member, your PMP is included in that. Six seven three one seven two is your item number. They are a meter in length by. Um, they are for uh, forty four inches. Forty four inches. That's a good size. Twelve ninety nine if you're not a freedom member. Those are your choices on the screen right there. Six seven three one seven two is your item number right next up hey okay, next one is the mottled effect fabric so these look very very subtle rachel said that uh, her daughter had done some fake tan and she looked a bit like that <laughs> <laughs> very good but that's probably but how i would look just trying to find the edge actually because um you think it's just two colors in there but it's actually it's actually five colors that make up that mottled effect that's on there initially when you look at it you think it's just light and dark it isn't there's a lot more that goes into it to create that kind of mottled effect and it works really really well this one here the one i've got on the top that again for your rust option <coughs> it's all right just a i haven't got it air, con <laughs> air conditioning air it conditioning, air conditioning. Yeah. yeah um you've got the silver gray option the yellow, which will go really, really well with the option that I've got here. The one I'm trying to lift them all up for you. There you go. Uh, the option that we have for the silver one day special. This one, which is aqua, will go really well with your mint. And then you've got your black down at the bottom. So again, it gives that vintage feel, gives yeah. that kind of steampunk vibe to it. So I like that very really much. Really nice so. collections that go with because. Yeah. As well as the one day special, you have the option, if perhaps you don't want to make that quilt, but you've got an, another project in mind, you can just get five half meters yeah, you could. of the, the fabric. So more options. Perfect. £12.99, Pete. You're saving £2. It's a great deal. Uh, fabric Freedom, 100% cotton. Mottled effect. Again, probably describing oh. myself today. I'm a little bit mottled. Uh, mustard dark grey. There's that grey again. Yellow, aqua and black. 963189 is your item number. Do you want to do the happy hour? Um, I'll tell you what, yeah, can I? Yeah, happy no hour. Problems. I'll go and get ready. All right then. See you later. Uh, see you later. We're going to see Hayley in a moment's time. This is your happy hour deal. Happy hour deal for this hour and this this hour only which means the price of all this will be going back up at well 10 o'clock today if you want to take advantage of this 17 pounds and 99 pence saving 12 pounds your item number there 808 500 so you've got your uh, paste fabric your paste print fabric 100% cotton three by one meter uh, 17 pounds and 99 pence you get to choose you get to choose from your beige your pink your sky blue your blue your peach and your green uh, let me lift some of these up so you can see those without them all falling forward let's see if i can do this uh, so you've got those different colors in there you can have more than one if you want to it's a happy hour deal so you are saving you can see those beautiful beautiful patterns in there with the florals in white in the background you can accentuate those maybe with a bit of embroidery that uh, would be nice. I think these would make great linings for uh, bags, uh, possibly backing to a small quilt 
or a large quilt, depending on how much you buy. But they've got this really nice pattern detail in there. It's really pretty. Uh, Seventeen pounds and ninety-nine pence, saving twelve pounds, but for only this hour. Eight oh eight five hundred is your item number. You can go to the website and see all the colours there. You can make your choice, and you can have a look at everything else we've got on the show for you. Uh, have a look at the four-star reviews on there, which are brilliant. So people have been using them, they like them, and they look lovely and delicious. Um, that's your choice uh, of the colours. If I was to go for a colour, I would probably choose the cream, or I might go, I might go for like the goldy colour that's in there. I really like those two mm -hmm. colours, and they would possibly go with um, your one day special. Possibly, possibly. I like um, the Right, so we're back here at the demo area. We've got the lovely Hayley with us. Hi. How are you, Hayley? Uh, I'm all right, thanks. How's your morning been so uh, far? Busy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what time did you get up? Uh, what time did I get up? This is a good question. Uh, about half past five. Ooh, early yeah. starts. These would make great napkins for dinner party <laughs> if you've got some fabric left over. Why not? Why, Why not? not? Why not? not? You could have, you could have, um, yeah, you could. You anyway. <laughs> okay, so um, last night we put the block together and we put it together um, a slightly different way to what is in the instructions and that is just because for me personally you can get a bit more for your money yep. by constructing it a different way to uh, how Hazel has constructed it in the instructions. But I will do it the way she's got it in the instructions so that nobody is confused when they get their instructions. Okay. Okay. So um, I just need to trim these down because I made these a little bigger than I needed them. So I shall quickly fix that. Um, I'm just using your bog standard normal everyday pen. It's more so you guys can see what I'm doing rather than um, some of the pens that are a little bit lighter in the chalks and things. So. There we go. I'm just going to trim that one down. And I'm using scissors, not a rotary cutter, just personal preference. Yeah. Uh, you can absolutely do all of this with a rotary cutter. It's just, I'm not very safe with a rotary cutter. Well, yeah, it's something to take into consideration. Too you, yeah. many rotary cutter accidents. Wow. <laughs> always lock your rotary cutter as well. You know when you've cut it, always away yes, from you. Yes, most of them do have a, you've said that, a lock you, before. on. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just in case there's any... Mm other people or little fingers around you don't yes. don't want any accidents yes. so uh, to create this block the first step you are going to take is you're going to create a disappearing nine patch so a disappearing nine patch is just taking all of your fabrics um, hang on I'm missing one there it is uh, and the glasses there we go Ugh. perfect right taking this one. a disappearing block a disappearing nine patch Ooh. Okay, so what you would do is you would sew all of these together. Yeah. Uh, so sew them into rows first, and then sew them together. Sew the rows together into your full block. Now, the way that um, Hazel's done her instructions is she's constructed the whole block first, then taken the extra fabric and pop that on there, drawn corner to corner, and then created your block that way right now the way that I've done it um, which is slightly different because if you do it this way then you are cutting everything absolutely everything at four and a half inches and the only thing that you need to do differently is whatever you want to be uh, on those outer corner bits that's the one you need to cut at four and seven eighths so that is the way that she's done it, a perfectly valid way. But what you're getting when you do that is you're getting waste. Right. You're getting these little triangles off the corner as waste. So I don't want to do that. I want mine to be as, as a whole um, and less waste. So the way that I've done it is uh, I've made four and seven eighths inch squares. Two of them face to face, lined down the center, stitched a quarter inch either side. And when those quarter inch ones are turned out, you are going to get a one that's exactly the, the right size. size. Very good. So that's the way I prefer to do it, just yep. because it's a little bit less waste. The way that's in the instructions, entirely valid, get you to the same place. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is, um, <clears throat> this is our first step. I've already made some half square triangles. Yep. So I'm going to skip that step and add those in 
right from the beginning just to save a tiny bit of time. Can I ask you a question, mm -hmm. Hayley? Yes, it's probably you can. a question I ask you a lot uh, with the different quilts that we get and projects. Can we put a time on this? Just um, to let people home know okay. how long it could so, take. For me to cut out all of the pieces yeah. and get uh, nine blocks fully sewn together took about six hours. Okay. So um, you're looking over a, a good long weekend. Oh, that's good. So maybe you know, three days would get you most of it together. Yeah. So that's going to give you something to do for a couple of days. And then you're looking maybe just binding and, yeah. and edging and things. Perfect. Uh, you might be um, oh, might someone that likes mind. to just get down and do the whole project and carry on all day. You might be somebody that wants to do three hours here, two hours there. Um, so it's going to give you that opportunity to do so. But when it's made, it's going to look absolutely marvellous. I was thinking about changing my mind on the corners, but do you know what? I've got everything made, so I'm not going to. Um, I just I want to put that orange one in the middle, I think. Yeah. Okay. But then I wanted a grey one there, but I haven't cut a big enough grey bit, so I'm just going to leave it and not worry about it. I guess it's um, up to you where you put your well, squares. And you you as long as you follow the pattern, <coughs> as long the as you roughly vary. follow the pattern, yeah. you'll be absolutely fine. I am looking. I had a load of bits prepped. Ah, here you got are. them. Yeah, they're yeah, under your them. machine. Under the machine. Look. So, they're my two bits that I'm going to have ready prepared yep. that I'm going to add in. And then from here, I'm just going to sew them together into their rows. So, when I, I prep stuff for uh, patchwork, I always take left across onto right because. Okay. That's the way it's going to run through my sewing machine with the body of the fabric on this side. So I always turn them that way. Excellent. By the way, the show will be available for 60 days on the website. So when you get your kit home, 60? yeah, if wow. you want to revisit and have a look at the demonstrations that we're putting together here, then you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, and whilst we're here as well, if anyone's got any uh, soft crafts that they're doing today, if you want to send a picture to let us know, to let Hayley know what you're up to as well. Uh, oh, I love, being I love a good look at work yeah, in, works in progress. It'd be lovely to see. Um, just grab a picture, send it Facebook, or email it into the studio. I do appreciate you want as many demos as we possibly can, and we will do, but it's just nice to share what you're doing because it will also inspire people at home to do projects that you're doing, perhaps, or you'll inspire them, which is what it's all about at the moment. So right? you might see that the foot that I've got on here looks slightly different to a normal foot. This yep. is just a quilting foot, and um, it's got a little guide on the side and that little guide just kind of butts up against the fabric that's coming into it. So that just keeps my quarter inch just far more consistent and kind of using the guide that you end up getting that's under here, where you, you can kind of wiggle a little back and forth a little bit. Okay, so. Just while you're doing that, I just yes, need to I've tell got three people. To run together, so you've got plenty okay. of numbers that you can do. Uh, we were talking about the happy hour deal, Hayley. We've sold out of what? the beige option so that's now gone and oh, sold that's out the best one. as long as this is safe uh, to do there you go thank you very much well, that was quite the cream lot. has also oh, sold have to out make some phone calls here we so need to make some phone better. calls so <laughs> i'll throw them nicely we'll catch them nicely uh, and we'll try and make some phone calls are you ready for this kirsty thank you very much oh lovely catch there do you realize right. she's going to throw them back at you uh, if you manage to get any more <laughs> yeah and i can't catch them as well as kirsty can right okay what we've got for you are options in colors this is beautiful fabric hayley you've got your floral it is, and it's a paste paisley. print so a paste mm. print is a white white print yep. on a uh, coloured background and that's a completely different technique to how you usually print fabric because usually you can't get a white ink because you start on a white substrate and you print colours on the top of it. Oh yeah, I would have thought. This These goes the other lovely. way around so it's more of a screen printing type technique to get this Look to work. That. Isn't that pink lovely? Isn't that pink lovely? I went all Leicester then. £17.99, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you get three uh, one metres. So that's your, your I, pink. I kind of like the aqua one. The green's a really good catch-all because yeah. well, if you're ever unsure as to what to put in the quilt, uh, your tertiary colours tertiary colors what's a tertiary yes. color so, um a second uh, a primary color is things like your, your red your yep. blue and your yellow yeah secondary color green yes and then between green and blue yeah that kind of almost like tealy minty color yes that's your tertiary colors tertiary and they colors. work quite well because they've got elements of 
every day is a school day. I love this <laughs> tertiary colour. Um, this, your blue. It's the only reason you bring me in, isn't it? Well, Just a chat. Yeah, you know, you're eventually finding that out, but don't worry. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful colour as well. It's the patterns, the florals, the paisleys, and the larger flower print. Very busy for these. It's a happy hour deal, saving £12, £17.99. The price will go up at the top of the hour. You do need to check out your baskets, I mean, not just put in your baskets. They're a stash builder because you've got three that are all the same colour but just have different prints on. You could literally just put a white with any of these. Oh, hang on. Did I say that was pink? Have we got two styles There's of pink? There's two different pinks. There's, There's two one different that's like pinks. like a rose pink. Pink and peach. And one that's a bit more I think that's uh, peach. peachy. I think that's peachy. That'll, that'll, that'll be peach. We've had conf confirmation and that's your pink just there. So just to put them together, you can see the difference between the peach and the pink. The blue is limited stock. The blue is limited stock. Uh, which blue? The that, that blue? Okay, that blue is that blue is limited stock. Wow, we're getting through these. <laughs> they are lovely. Though. Well, they're a really good stash builder and a yeah. really good catch-all. And you're getting three meters there. Remember, so yeah. that six pound meter for a, a quilting cotton is very very good. You'd usually be playing, playing that for almost a, a poly cotton. Oh, very nice, very nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Right. Great for lining. Well, kind of too good for lining, but at that price, yeah. absolutely you can yeah. line things with it. Mm, okay. Uh, we're I just going to have a quick look at the website, if you don't mind, Hayley, um, because we just need to sort a few things out. So here's the website. Uh, these are the products in the show that you can choose from. Um, beautiful fabrics. Love these. If you're into your steampunk, if you're into vintage, and lots of people are at the moment, I'm thinking Father's Day. So quilts for Father's Day, uh, which make a great gift. You've also got uh, the fabrics that you can buy separately, so you can put together your own projects, but still in that lovely vintage style. I do love the um, fabrics that we've got that look like rust. I think they are fabulous. Uh, we've got accessories on there as well. We've got your scissors. Uh, we've got your rotary cutter. Remember, stay safe with that. Uh, but you've got the possibility to do that. You've got the lock on there. It's a great one. Your self-healing mat. If you don't have one of those and you're thinking you're going to get into a lot of crafting, might be an idea to have a look at that. 19.99. So you can do your cutting on there and it's self-healing. Uh, we've got a great iron for you. Have you seen this in action? Uh, you just simply put your hand over the top of it and it just stands up so it doesn't burn your table. You don't have to put it upright if you don't want to. It's a fabulous iron. Have a look at the review on that. We've also got some overlocking thread. Uh, we've got a pick and mix on those, any four, so you've got some great colours on there that you can choose for your one day special. We'll have a look at those actually. Um, now one day special, you've got your rust, be perfect would it not? You've got your dark brown, that would be perfect. Um, you've also got your black and your white as well. You get to choose any four of those by the way and they're overlocking, 5,000 yards on each, but you can of course use your threads for pretty much anything. Just because it comes on an overlocking spool, you can use them for embroidery and so many other things as well. 808500 is your item number though for those fabuli fabulous happy hour deals. Uh, right, uh, if you are spending £60 or more because you're stocking up, uh, then you can divide the cost over Flexi. And here's our lovely Leonie to tell you some more. Hiya. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Right, there's method in our madness. Sorry, there really is. I no. have to go and fix some things. It's, yes, exactly, and thank you for doing so, because <laughs> we've managed to get back in the colours that sold out for your happy hour deal, so hooray. Now, there's not 
that many. And there's not that many. So just be be warned. There's okay. not that many. Uh, and right. I can't go running off again. <laughs> no. They are all available right now. Start putting them into your baskets if you wish. We've got the beautiful peach, the cream, sorry, the peach and the and the pink. We've got the light blue, we've got the green in there, we've got that lovely beige colour, it's that See, gold colour. I would colour. say it's gold. That yeah, one. I would say it's, it's gold. It's really, really soft and it's a good kind of, you know, match with a lot of things, that one. It's, mm. a, it's a good catch-all. You get Paisley, a smaller floral print and a larger floral print in all of them. Uh, and then you've got your lovely, is that your light blue? It's like a baby blue, isn't it? It's lovely. Um, and then you have got the cream, which is back in. You Absolute delight. go for that happy hour deal with this pattern because mm. because they're all the same as in they're all the same background color with well, the paisley that would, go. would work really nicely so you're just mm. kind of breaking up the yeah oh maybe go with the, i'd go cream and gold actually would you those two those two yeah yeah i'd go those two together because if you think about it's what 18 pounds 36 yep. pounds less a couple of pennies yeah for those both those sets that's a whole quilt top in itself that's yeah. six meters wow the fabric it's it's a great deal that's why we're very busy for the happy hour deal uh the cream the beige and the blue they're back they sold out but they're back so you can pop those into your basket they'll be dispatched from the 27th of march not long to wait and also the day when one of my favorite tv shows comes back to air oh i don't know whether i'm allowed to tell you because it'd be advertising for them. Okay. But it begins with an O and ends with a K. Okay. Still none the wiser, are no. you? But it's it's brilliant. It's a great it's a great thriller. Um, all right. Okay. So uh, I have put all the three rows together while running in and out of the studio. And you now do that I'm really just well. <laughs> it's like a one man band. You know when the one man band had the drum on their back? <laughs> Hayley like Smith so nice. just runs around with a little ironing board attached to her and the iron like that. <laughs> like a one-man band. <laughs> or one-lady band. I don't know why it was always one-man band, but there you go. Okay, so uh, that one goes at the bottom and this one goes at the top. So that's our three panels in there. I'm now going to go and sew these together and then what will seem like lunacy after yes. I've sewn everything together, what will seem I'm going like. to chop it all apart again. Yay! <laughs> uh, do you know why you start to sew those together? Um, can I take you all through yes. the panels just that we've got? Just before you do that, can yeah. I just, uh, one absolutely vital point is yes, to um, get the best looking results, mm. it doesn't matter what's going on at the ends there, just pin your seams. Pin your seams so you get those joins spot on. Um, it could you, you can tack trim them off. You, you rather absolutely than pin you if you can, don't like you using tack pins. Them, but um, get those joints right. If you get those joints right, you'll get a much kind of more professional looking result. It really does not matter what's happening at the ends. You can trim those down later. Mm. Don't worry about those. Get your focus. I mean, you can see on this one, look, that one's a little bit bigger. Than, than its little counterpart square there. But this doesn't really matter. This can be trimmed off later. Okay. It's the joins that need to look right. I mentioned Father's Day. It would be a, a lovely quilt for a Father's Day oh, present. Oh, you've got plenty of time as well, yeah, and you got, you? yeah, you've got plenty of time. Father's Day, June. Oh, it's near my dad's birthday, so I think it's about the... His is about the 14th, yeah. so I think it'll be about the 20th, 20th... 22nd, 21st, 21st of June. Not far off. Not far off. Uh, right, we've got some great panels for you, uh, and these are a pick and mix. You choose any two, £14.99. Now, they're uh, on a canvas weight yeah. cotton, these ones. So this could so be the front of a cushion. heavier mm -hmm. than the normal um, quilting cotton that they get. So these ones are ready sized for easily a cushion or a bag. Yes. So you could do either with them, but everything's kind of ready to go for you. Um, these are fabulous. I love that. Look at that. Um, so we'll show you all the different choices afterwards. I just want to run you through the ones we've got. You've got your boots on there. Is that a pair of roller skates? Oh, no, it's a pair of glasses. <laughs> Sorry. I think I need my glasses this morning. I thought that was a pair of roller skates from a distance. Now, but that hey, one who knows? would go quite well with the one-day special because you've got mm. a lot of those elements within the one-day special, like the hat, the glasses, and the cogs and things, yeah. and the watches and the timepieces. So there's, that one would be quite good. Oh, one wow. Day Look at that. Now, that would be fabulous with some embroidery or some inks on there, fabulous. Kings. Love that. That's brilliant. Oh, and that one. Imagine those two in your home as cushions. Um, that's nice as well with the cars. Again, I'm thinking Father's Day. 
Uh, you've got your cogs in there. You don't have to use these for cushion fronts. You can use them for anything you like. Wow, look at that with the butterflies. Nice vintage look to it there. Uh, you've got some more cars as well, which is on a white background. I think the previous one was on like a stained background. And this is an idea of how you can colour it in, or does it come like this, Hayley? It comes like that. Wow, no, absolutely. look at it that. It comes ready to go for you. Yeah, brilliant. Superb. Um, so this is a choice for you. You can pick and mix any two. Uh, let's show you on the website, just so you can be informed. Uh, they've got option one and option two, just so you can see them there. And some of the car fabrics, they've got the cogs in the background, uh, which really adds some interest to the fabrics. Use them as a cushion, you could use them as part of a bag. The actual butterflies as well, the butterflies, sorry, they've got cogs in the background. Um, which again adds detail. We've got the cogs that have got that lovely vintage tea dye stain effect, which is marvellous. In fact, you could do that with some of the fabrics. Um, so, you choose, you decide. You can have more than two if you want to. It's entirely up to you. Um, but those are those panels. It's all very much a steampunk style show today. It is. And I'm doing so much talking, I know I am, but we're very busy. So if Hayley doesn't mind, can I just let you know that we've had another sellout? The cream extended oh. delivery, that's gone and that's now gone. Yeah, that can't get any more. Okay. We're done. Thanks, Kirsty. <laughs> oh, the beige extended delivery, three quarters of the stock has gone. Uh, right, Sorry. I'm aware that we've been chat, chat, chatting, but it's yep. important because we're busy, so it's, well, it's, it's right, great for you I've to been, get what you want. I've been so, so sewing while you've been chat, chat, chatting. You little so-and-so. I know, thanks. She's uh, a little so-and-so. <laughs> all I've done is, well, you've seen this uh, time and time again, is I've just assembled that nine patch. The next step that we're going to come to is where it kind of varies from the norm. Okay. So, it's got finish this row and then we can start getting those seams pressed out now I prefer to press the seams open it is personal preference a lot of people press to the dark side I just find especially with nine patches and things uh, and when you're cutting them up and putting them back together I find there's less bulk to yeah. press them open I am NOT the quilting police you can press it whichever side you want uh, whatever makes you happy okay. <laughs> I wonder if there is a, a quilting police out there. There's def I've, I've definitely met the um, patchwork police. Have you? The, the English paper piecing police. I wonder what the rights would be that they read to you if you are the patchwork police. I wonder. What the, what the punishments would be for well, doing things wrong. Well, I don't, See, I don't believe I don't there is wrong. I think, I think if it works for you, then it's right. Exactly. And I... I I don't, yes, maybe I'm like a patchwork outlaw. Oh, I like that. <laughs> patchwork outlaw. But you're right, listen, if it works for you, do yeah, it. Because um, who knows, you might come up with a new design or a new method. You've yeah, got to try it. Yeah, if you it. Do, always do it the same, you never invent anything new, do you? No. So, I'm happy mm. with it. Okay, so, let's just get this pressed open. Oh, by the way, Catherine is coming up uh, in the next hour at 10 o'clock. She's busy setting up for the show, and I'm it looks so superb. glad that Catherine is coming up, because I nearly had 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 10 o'clock. Uh, well, that would be fine. <laughs> that would be fine. But yes, Catherine is uh, setting up for a show <laughs> next. You can have a look on the website to see so what's I've coming never up. been so happy to see Catherine. <laughs> I'm always happy point. to see Catherine. <laughs> I'm always happy to see her, but I've never been as happy as I am today. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> Because three hours in, in at one go is a, is a lot. It's a lot. It is. And I'd quite like to go get some breakfast. <laughs> well, there's cake if you want it. Is I'm there? sorry I can't give you guys any cake. What kind of cake is it? Uh, there's chocolate. Okay. Uh, an indulging chocolate cake. There's carrot cake. And then right. there's lemon drizzle cake. Did you bring all of this cake in? Yes. No, oh. I, th I thought Ross, our lovely producer, said his favourite was lemon drizzle cake. But I can't remember. But I bought it. Yeah, I, see, I bought it because I, I like remember that. Dress, apparently. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, so, all sewn together, and now we're going to ludicrously uh, chop it all apart again. Well, if I put this around the other way? I don't know, have oh, you? I think I have. Well. Is it a new is, concept? We, no, no, we haven't done, no, it was an accident. Oh, But happy we're going to see if it's a happy accident now. Oh, I've got a bit of a gap there. Right, so, what we're going to do from here is we're going to cut this up. So, we're going to take... What I've, the mistake that I've made is this one should have been in the middle and that one should have been on the top, but it, it's fine, we're, we're all good. 
we could do it this way because on the other ones the solid pieces were in these patches in this one it's actually the patterned pieces that I'm going to cut so it's going to give us a completely different look it's an accident but I'm happy to own up to it and we'll see what it looks like it's a happy accident we like them so um, because these are four and a half inch squares initially by the time you put a quarter inch seam allowance on each side mm -hmm. what you're ending up with is a four uh, inch square in the middle so I've got my ruler and I've gone between five and one and line that up in the centre so my centre point is three and I'm going to mark that off and I'm looking at my sewing lines and lining it up with my sewing lines rather than just measuring from the side because you want to be even from the centre not randomly from the side okay so I'll do the same again down here I've got another question for you if you don't yeah, mind yeah go for it when it comes to patchwork this might be a silly question but there isn't any silly questions well there is from me but anyway when you're doing patchwork, do you have to have a set pattern all the time? Or could no. you pretty much do anything you like and just sew you it all could, together? Oh yeah, you, you can do. It's, it's actually more difficult yeah. to do that, to just randomly sew bits on because yes. it's difficult. You sometimes end up with Y seams and, and kind of funny corners. Got you. But um, the kind of block patterns, that, which is traditionally the way the Americans do it, it's easier to follow a, a pattern if you're going to do those. Right, like lining up wallpaper. <laughs> a little, little bit. bit. A little bit. I was never any good at that. Okay, so there's three on that end, and let's do the same on this end. And oh, happy with that? Yeah, that'll do. Three. There you go. And now I'm going to join those up. This is a twelve and a half inch ruler, and that half inch does make all the difference in this situation because because you've started with three and um, four and a quarters. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you've lost your uh, extra bit then this is the perfect size for this particular block. So if I'm a beginner and I want to make a quilt so and I like these designs... This is going to horrify you now. What would I need? Because I'm going to take this... Oh, my word. And I'm going to chop into it. So all that sewing that we've just done, I've just chopped up. But this is going to become clear in yep. just a second. And this is why this steampunk pattern and this block in particular lends itself so well to just putting completely random fabrics in, which is great for a beginner, but I think more challenging for an experienced person because they, they tend to overthink it. Does this one need to go here? Does this mm -hmm. one need to go there? And it's quite nice to kind of get out of that mindset yes. and just mix it up a little bit. So those are my pieces. So there's my original block. And from my original block, what I'm going to do is pick the two diagonal corners up and swap them. Oh. So now that's going to give me a completely different look to the original block that was kind of designed for the quilt. It's exactly the same block, it's just a completely different look. And then I've got another one with a completely different look again. And you can, you know, you can turn them around so all of those bits go together so you can make little little kind of squares here and little triangles there but this quilt really benefits from that ability to to kind of switch it up and make it look different wow so i'm now going to sew these two together okay and then the same for those bottom two and then sew those two bits together and that is our finished block uh, whilst we sew, let's have a look at the website. This is where you can see all the items we've got available for you on the show because you might want to add some more fabrics and some more accessories to your um, one day special. You might actually want to go and have a look at the deal of the day. Uh, we've got some threads for you and that's very, very busy. So it's a great show to get your kit for the quilt, to get some accessories as well. Maybe this is the first time that you've done any kind of quilting patchwork work so here's the chance to get all of your items together your scissors you can get your wadding in here you can get your uh, mats if you want to the um, self-healing mat so you can build and create in an area that's not dedicated to craft because this could be the first time that you are entering into the world of soft crafts uh, right, so let's take a look at your one day special. A one day special is launched here on Hochanda every day at 6 pm. And we have another show later on in the evening, and then we have the repeats overnight. People join us at all kinds of different times in the day and night from Europe and America. Uh, and then we have live shows the next day. This is your first live show of two day. We've then got one at one o'clock and one at 
five o'clock but we are busy uh, let's take a look at the options we've got for you full instructions come with your quilt so it'd be easy for you to follow on and you get the full quilt so your price can be divided into two to make it easier for you to pay over two months if you want to pay the 69.42 in one setting you can you're saving 28 pounds the mint is in the lead the mint is in the lead um, lovely designs on here as well very uh, much vintage steampunk punk look to it uh, you've got your time pieces you've got your uh, clock and your watch faces on there you've got your lovely cogs as well in that deep deep gray that works so well with the mint uh, you've got your keys that's good and they're all in that really nice pattern as well and you've also got well I'll call it your steampunk ephemera just there with your hats and your keys and your glasses and your pocket watches and uh, not roller skates they are glasses and they are your goggles just there that is your mint and you also have that lovely lovely cream macking to go with that I like that I like I like the mint I think I'm getting my head turned towards the mint now uh, your next option your next option is your rust now we do have some other fabrics that could go very well with this I do like this uh, so you've got your different colors there of your uh, rust and your darker brown in the background and your cream again you've got the same patterns on each of the fabrics but they're just in different colors um, Father's Day that's what I'm thinking about that I don't know why but I just I edge towards like uh, you know like a, a gentleman what you call gentlemen that have the 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 tashes and the beards up what's the name for them <laughs> um, a, a dapper a duffer yeah a duffer man a duffer man or a dapper is it da yeah anyway dapper gentleman um, but even if your dad doesn't have a or your mum doesn't have a it doesn't matter you could make it for her um, but it even comes with the rust in the background full instructions again and then your next option is your grey so your rust option goes from there all the way to there and then you've got your grey option again same designs but in the grey and the backing for the grey quilt is the mustard just there which works really really well because it depicts some of the mustard in the print that is your one day special you get to choose you're saving 28 pounds and it's two payments if you wish to pay like that so your mint your rust and your gray uh, we've got some more fabrics for you on the show as well these could be great additions to your home you could make a cushion you could make a bag you could patchwork these as well now we've got options for you 11.99 different item numbers as well so let's start off with your balloons some great images in there with your world map as well 11.99 We've got another option for you. I like this one with this. This is called your script, it's like a newspaper print, and it does remind me of fish and chips. Guess what I'm going to have to eat tonight? Uh, you've got your Statue of Liberty on there. You've got lots of different uh, prints and stories to tell, I am sure. 450176, your item number, £13.99. Just gives you an idea of what it looks like if it was in a cushion form. And then you have got your fabric your ticking stripes um, it would that would go very well with the other two if you're making a cushion you could have the balloons on the front and this on the back you could have your print on the front and this on the back or this on the front well, I guess there's no front or back with a cushion is there it depends on which way you've got it turned Th a bit like me 13 pounds and 99 pence 444 149 your item number if you want to go for your ticking stripe all a hundred percent cotton lovely colorways lovely colorways uh, we've got more for you we've got more for you which are a great addition to your one day special because these colors all match your one day special 12.99 12 pounds and 99 pence 673172 100% cotton plain dyed quilting fabric and there's a meter in each one so you've got your different colors to choose from freedom members you've got that discount of 11 pounds and four pence plus your P&P &P. so if you are a freedom member and that's all you're paying for your meters uh, if you want to become a freedom member as I've said before head to the website and have a look at the terms and conditions 1299 is your item number for that and then these are interesting like these it's almost when you look at them it's almost like a suede but it's not it's not this is your uh, cotton 
but it's all mottled as well so if I just open that up you can see that lovely mottled rusty color I do like that and again these would go with your one day special in addition to uh, so you've got your rust there you've got the gray lovely not just for uh, soft crafts you could also use these for your journaling if you want to um, to put on the covers of your journal there's that lovely is this lemon or yellow nice yellow color these would also make you know if you're putting together pictures but stitching pictures together with different fabrics I think that would make a lovely uh, sand color uh, this could be your sea because this is your aqua again just showing you there beautiful and then you've got your black do like these there you go there's your black 12.99 is your item number and then the happy hour boys is busy my 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 you get uh, three and you choose the color so you could go for your pink you've got your peach you've got your light blue you've got is it light blue and dark and sky blue uh, you've got your beige which is more of a gold color and you've got your green um, they are three different floral patterns in the white so you've got your large floral you've got your paisley and then you've got the smaller floral beautiful so you get those designs in each of the colors you decide the color you've got your pink your sky blue your peach your green or your beige extended delivery on the beige and the blue 27th of March they'll be dispatched because we sold out once already but we're busy again let's have a look at the website as we head to Hayley and this is where you can go to have a look at the items on the show make your decisions and pop them into your basket and check on out I do like those mottled fabrics I do like them uh, right so we're coming back to Hayley we have got around about Six minutes left. That's, that's more than enough. Of the show. Is that more than enough, Hayley? It's more than enough because oh, we've only you. really got one more step here. Okay. And um, just before you disappeared, I once we'd cut it up, I switched these two parts round so you can see that those little squares would have been kind of completing that original block. And um, moved them, sewn these two together, and now it's just to sew those two together. So take that across pin all of those joints because it's the joints that you want to match up now some of the joints are not going to match up because you've got longer and shorter pieces in there but the way that Hazel's designed this block just means that you are having to do an awful lot less cutting than cutting all of these individual pieces okay. and sewing them together so it just makes it an awful lot quicker but it is scary cutting into that first one when you've sewn it all yeah, together I know it must, especially if you're doing this for the first time because there you are made a block and you're like now cutting in the middle of it but do trust the instructions yeah, you've got, got to have faith in hazel for this one yes <laughs> who's hazel hazel is the designer that uh, fabric freedom used to design all of the quilts Ooh. so the um, ones that you've seen in the past where they've all been hanging up um, she designs all of those quilts oh if you're watching this morning, doesn't hazel, get nearly morning. enough credit for it so yeah well good morning and well done <laughs> Well, she's not sewing samples at the minute because she's hurt her foot. Ooh. So this is this is well, why. I hope you're all right. She's, get, she's getting better. She's yes. Getting, she's on the mend. Good. So it's fine. <laughs> there we go. And then that pops in there. Ah, oh, it's come unthreaded. Have you got some numbers you can do? Uh, 10, 11, 12, 41, 52, 63, <laughs> 81, 99, 62, number one and 11. Lottery or bingo? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, yes, I'll do some, I'll do some numbers. Let's let's talk through these panels we've got. Uh, you've got your penny farthing there, uh, which is your big wheel and your little wheel. That is your penny farthing. Oh, this you, caused such havoc yesterday with what Derek. your penny farthing. Yes. Why? He was like, well, how are you going to get on it? And then how are you going to get off it? And I said, well, they just put a little peg on the back so you can kind of step up. But he wasn't having it. He had to have Kim Google it to to how to get on and off a penny farthing it oh, really I've, got out of hand last well night well i thought with a penny farthing you lay on the floor and they put the seat you yeah up. they put the seat inside <laughs> like that and then they just no lift there's you a up, little about halfway up on the back wheel there there's a little peg and you there just is. step up and then you step up to it and you get on um did they have any breaks yes they did anyway that's your penny farthing What's up next? Oh, I love this. Like your steampunk ephemera, isn't it? So you've got your boots in there, all the different images that depict the steampunk. And that's got it's like a like a brownie colour to that, brownie hue. Sepia. Sepia, that's sepia. the one. Uh, like that. There's your airship. 
with your township below it. Lovely, lovely. Uh, there's your balloon or your airship again. Very nice, very nice. Um, that's your cars with your sepia. You've got your cogs with the sepia, which is great. You've got your butterflies with the cogs in the background, mechanical butterflies. You've got your cars again with the cogs in the background. And you've got your airship with no township, but a lovely <laughs> colour in the sky. Do you know, when I was in Spain, no, I wasn't in Spain, I was in France, I went into a steampunk elephant. <gasps> you went yeah, into a steampunk elephant? Yeah, we, we rode in it. We took a ride in a steampunk elephant and it came out like <laughs> and all steam and everything. Was there was about 30 of us in there. 30 people in the steampunk It was brilliant elephant. for the first 30 seconds. Then we all got really bored because it took about an hour to get there and back again. <laughs> you know when everyone's really excited, they're like, and yay! All... And then we're all just like, ah. Oh. Oh. And we're all really quiet coming back in. Did you see anything? Yeah, we were really high up. Okay. I was a bit scared. Uh, we've had an email from somebody called Paula. Somebody called Paula. Um, oh, thank you, Paula. She said happy birthday. Oh, thank you, Paula. Are you watching at home today, Paula? Oh, and are you with Wasabi? Oh, he's a little old little so-and-so, isn't he? He's a lovely cat. Um, and Paula would like to thank you, Hayley, for teaching so much about fabrics. Very well. Because our Paula is becoming quite the She's, soft yeah. after. We're turning her to the dark side, aren't mm. we? <laughs> so, <laughs> there, there you go. I've put exactly the same block together, but it looks completely different. Mm. And just because you... Um, well, we tend to, in the pattern, it tells you to, to mirror them. And it tells you to make one with the corners here and here and then another block with those diagonal corners here and here. If you didn't want to do that and you just wanted to do the same block over and over again, what I would recommend is you use this fabric and the keys for your ones and your diagonals because you can use them right way up or up right side down. You won't notice the difference. Mm -hmm. um, just so you can get more out of your fabric. And there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't sew them together just like that, where you've got the kind yeah. of different shapes creeping in. If you do want to do them as alternates, then that's when you'll start getting your uh, kind of triangles yeah. and your blocks of squares coming and stuff. I turn do that you around. like the idea of this? It's something a bit different, isn't it, Hayley? Yes. Something a bit different and for you. Because that steampunk theme lends itself so well to that completely kind of mixed up feel, I actually prefer these kind of two really mixed up ones yeah. to the slightly more uniform one. I think it's I there. do as well. Hayley, thank you for thank this hour. You. Uh, birthday, we've got more Phillips. coming up on Ho Chanda for you, so do stay with us. Here's the time now, though, to go and grab that cup of tea, uh, get some breakfast if you've not had some uh, this morning, and stay Ooh, with us here on Ho Chanda because we've got some more shows coming up. Remember, check out your baskets. Thanks, Hayley. See you in a few moments. Yes, coming up next, our Catherine is here with Columbar. Be creative best with cricket. That's coming up at 11 o'clock today. And then we've got Kurit Hackey with Helen. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss 
the studio light shows on a chanda. Flexi order has arrived at her chanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Yes, indeed. Good morning. I know, still morning. We're all here. That's what we like to see. Um, grab yourself a coffee. Grab yourself a cup of tea. A little bit of Battenberg. A little bit, little bourbon, maybe. An after, a, a mid-morning treat, as it were. Sit back and relax. We are in for a treat this hour. Now, it's not just me and a set of rice papers and a bit of decoupage. Oh, no. Look who we've roped in to join me. <laughs> Oh, it's like a game <laughs> show. <laughs> Both prices, right? I'm in the I'm in the booth with we're the headphones. The booth, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to have fun this hour. We are. Why well, we've got a camera Hopefully. here? I'll chat to you now. Um, so it's all rice papers. Yes. MDF. And, me and some mediums as well. And mediums. So you need more or less everything on the counter is more or less like a big bundle that you could that you sort of need. Yes. It's a necessity. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Here we go. So we'll be joining with Catherine uh, uh, later on in the hour. And she's going she's gonna to have a little play. A little play to what you can do. So uh, shop ahead of me on the web as well. We've got all the mediums. We've got the fine crackles in here. We've got the paste. We've got the varnishes. Uh, you can see them all just to the side. We'll go through these in more detail. But let's kick off with the uh, 368403 is your item number. These are your, your Japanese bloom. There are more than six now. There's one, two, three, four, five. No, six. There are six there, Meg. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, no, there are only six there. But you've got the mulberry. It's mulberry rice paper is what we're talking about here. Quality rice papers. Let's show you the detail. Let's show you them more in detail. Look at, look at that. But you can use smaller elements of the rice paper. Remember, it is rice paper, and it's not your flimsy rice paper. It's good quality rice paper as well. So maybe you just use smaller elements of the design there, the bloody uh, the cherry trees, blossom trees that we've got in there. Uh, let's go through all the designs so you can see them. Then we've got the, the stalks. I like the stalks and the little bridge. With this large, sort of this large tree, if you just wanted to use that on something, a little fussy cut out would be divine. Uh, then we've got your lanterns. We love a little lantern. Oh, I like this little, I love the figure. Very elegant. Remember, it's rot mulberry. Now, you know mulberry because you can get it in like mulberry silk and stuff like that. So it is, it's high quality. The thread's running all the way through. If I turn it this way, you might be able to see the mulberry threads that are running through the paper itself. They are the actual mulberry threads, so you know you're getting quality when you're buying into mulberry as well. Uh, and it is that little bit stronger than normal rice paper. Uh, £14.99 pence is what we're looking at. I am going to have it. I will put them all back, but I just wanted to show you uh, the beautiful designs that you're getting in there as well. But as it is, it is Japanese inspired what we're looking at here as well. Uh, already 10% of the stock has already gone here. You've not even seen our Catherine playing with these yet. Uh, there are two hours today. Two hours today? Two hours today, and Catherine's here for, uh, with your rice papers and all the elements that we've got on the show. Japanese, 10% already gone, £14.99, 398403 is your item number. 
Now, we've got the Botanical Collection next, already busy on the Botanical Collection, and I, and I well, you can see why. Uh, this is going to be used in Catherine's first demonstration, is what we're going to look at here as well. But I just want to show you the detail that you get and the elements that you get on these rice papers. There are so many elements in there. There's also freedom on this as well, that's good. Uh, there's so many different elements. So maybe you've got a small box. Maybe you've got, a, you just want to use smaller elements, for example. You can do that with these rice papers. You could take that parakeet. Is it a parakeet or a cockatoo? Who knows? Um, is it a cockatoo? I, think so. I think it's a cockatoo, but just in pink. It's normally uh, white and yellow. Uh, but you've got <laughs> that beautiful parrot that you could use on there, uh, and the flowers as well. I'm thinking like this, just on the top of on the top of a box. Can you use this? I'd, I'm going to throw a question over to our Catherine before we get to the demo area. Uh, can you use this on any medium? Glass, wood, oh, uh, glass, fur wood. your furniture. Great for your furniture. If you're upcycling the furniture, top of a coffee table. Well, you look tiny in that show. <laughs> I do, <don't laughs> actually, like don't I? I'm here. <laughs> She's I'm not just talking to myself. I think I've shrunk over the weekend. It's all that painting you've been I know, I've been up and down that ladder. Whew. <laughs> you sweated yourself in a little boil wash. <laughs> look at her, bless her. <laughs> that little Hayley you are down there. <laughs> uh, so we've got, the we've got the cockatoo that we've got there that we were talking about. Uh, I've also got all the other images in my hands as well, just to show you that you've also got... Uh, you've got the hummingbird that's on there. Uh, so we've got a beautiful hummingbird uh, sheets as well. We're very busy for these. You're absolutely used to loving these. Nearly a quarter of the stock has already gone. Um, oh, I like these little birds. These are the ones that you give nectar to when you go to the zoos. And they'll fly free and you stand there with two cups of nectar in like a cow pole um, little... Have you never done this? Oh, they give you a little cow pole... Like other brands are available. <laughs> you know the little cow pole, a little medicine cup? Oh. And you stand there and you're like, you're like the pigeon lady from Home Alone. Oh, I've not done that. And they all flutter down, drink it and then fly off again thinking, <laughs> I've had these now, don't want any more. Oh, it's ever so nice. <laughs> Uh, but they're the sort of birds that you get in there. If you know the birds I'm talking about, please email in studio at chandler.com. Keep us company if you're there. Oh, now a third of the stock has already gone. I've not even gone through them all yet. Uh, then you've got little leaves on there as well. These would be nice down the side of vases, down the side of a vase or a vase, or on a little, on a little glass. Remember, you can do them on glass and woods. Then you've got your different... Uh, oh, I love this. Is this the dragon, dragon flower? Dragon... You know what I mean. This flower here. I'm no Alan Titchmarsh. Bird of Paradise. Is Bird that what of it Paradise. Is? Oh, I got, I've been told to move on. You're loving it too much. That's going to be our first demonstration, I think, as well. Um, uh, if I throw them down there, because I'm not. Very busy. Catherine's going to use them. Uh, up next as well now, sort of your steampunk, your cogs, are we, we're talking around now. These are your Romantica Steampunkica uh, collection. Uh, six is what we're looking at, Mulberry Rice Papers as well. Look at the designs on here though. These are like full sheets if you wanted to. Um, you've also got the smaller cogs that you want in there. Um, You've got, you've got so much in here. Let's flick through. Yeah, yeah, mechanical love. I like this. I like this element just in the centre. You put that on the top of a hat box if you wanted to. Uh, we've also then got... There is nothing like dreams to create a future. Oh, you see? Very... Wow, look at that. Very poignant at these moments that we're talking about, but this is still, they're all beautiful. There is so much you can do with them. Just cut out the smaller lockets if you want them to. Put them on your MDF. Yeah, maybe you bought the coasters from this morning's Good Morning Gachanda. Uh, you could put them all on coasters if you wanted to. Look at that, you've got that large flood lee that's in there as well, like a little corsage. Uh, then we've got cogs. Cogs and birds and a pocket watch and very tattoo-esque. You've got time machine. Oh, fantastic love. Well, takes me back. Now, that was my nickname, Baker, yes. It was <laughs> not machine love, I was fantastic love, me. You know me, I'm kind, I've got a big art. I have, they've always told me, Adam, you've got a very big art. And that's what I've got, a very big art. Heart, art. 
So how we say, how we say it in Brum? Got a very big heart here, as our bab. So, um, now they're just taking the mick in my ear. Fourteen pounds ninety-nine pence. Two three nine zero six seven is your item number. All these counters have been sanded. Um, now we've got queues on the phones. We are very busy, very busy in the call centre. Please, um, if you are trying to get through, uh, try and, uh, if you can't get through straight away, uh, try again. Or I think we call back. I think we might. I don't quote me on this. Don't quote me, but I think we have a number. No, I think a number comes on. I remember it from a little tour we went on. We went on a little tour. If they're that busy, later on in the day, it won't be straight away, like, it might, might be tomorrow. But that, I think they call back going, did you ring? You know, like a missed call number. Did you ring my number? Did you? Did you call us? Um, but jump on the website or tap the app. Details are just here. Now, nearly a quarter of the stock has already gone. I've not even pronounced it yet. Uh, the opera. The opera collection is what we're looking at. Um, Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence, uh, like old-style posters. Oh, look at her! Yeah, like the, the little vintage postcards that you get at the theatre or something that's like starting now. Um, it reminds me very much of uh, the Greatest Showman. You know that sort of look and that sort of era. Uh, you'd have that. She she might be top of the bill. Then underneath you'd have like a magician. You know the what I mean. Uh, then you get roses as well. So you've got beautiful... We're not a poster, you know. Look at this. The ballet. Oh, I love a bit of the ballet. But then... Uh, the ballet again that we've got here. Just using her on her own on the top, on the top of a box. On a glass jar, on a vase or a vase, things like, I'll put it back, don't worry, things like these. Now this, this, we, we bought this, oh, um, <laughs> we didn't spend a lot on these, um, but we bought them, uh, but uh, they are beautiful, but you could re you can use these as well. Uh, it hasn't got the price and it's got no name, so I don't actually know. I was having a laugh and a jest. If you can't laugh in these times, when can you laugh? Um, very dusty, though. Uh, so we've got these. Um, we've also got roses, and we've got the other collections as well that you can see. £11.99, pence. Two eight eight four one one is your item number. Now, we're talking decoupage sheets is what we're talking next. Um, wow, we love it. We love a decoupage sheet. Uh, look at the size of them. They're all numbered as well. I'll try and angle them so you don't get the lights in there. Uh, they're all numbered so you know what you're doing. You're not, you're not left on your own for these. Um, you're getting two of each, two designs of each, so you really can go to town if you wanted to. Uh, two, oh, I've got hiccups now. 254679 is your item number, £11.99. pence. So you start obviously with number one. So you've got 111, then you've got 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E. Uh, then you just keep going all the way through. So you can do this twice, but the designs that you get there and the depth that you can get on there as well is absolutely beautiful. Two, four, two, I'll start that number again. 254679 is your item number, £11.99. Uh, we do have some finished samples. As well, that uh, Adjo, Adjo made these. Now nah, we love Adjo. Look at these; they are beautiful from using those papers. Uh, think of Easter coming up as well. Uh, absolutely stunning. Now, obviously, they're not they're not real eggs, just so you know. Uh, there's that ballerina I was talking about. Oh, she's painted over the top of the ballerina as well that we've got there, um, which is beautiful. Uh, then. That, I think it's from the uh, rice papers are we going for? Was that the second, co third collection? I think it might be the third collection that we looked at, Dan. It might be a mix of all of them. Oh, that's from the Japanese that's in there, the Japanese Blossom collection. How beautiful. It looks like a magnifying glass, like she's magnified the back of the counter. Uh, J oh, they're not all by Joe. Was the ones that Joe sent us. So if you if these are yours, they're beautiful. They really are. £14.99 713217 is your item number. 
Uh, right then, I'm now going to hand over to our very, to our very lovely Catherine. I'll be loitering. I'll be about. So I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to stand back here. <laughs> right then. I have absolutely no plan, no plan whatsoever. I'm just winging my way through this. We're going to have some fun. Now, the botanicals, the botanical collection is actually 70% of the stock already gone. I'm just going to show you what you're getting in the botanicals again here. So this is one of them beautiful, beautiful colours in here. Of course, you can take single elements out of these. You don't have to use them as whole sheets. You can tear into them and use them in different ways. Uh, really lovely, actually, and especially with something like this where you've got the leaves. So you can really build up a scene and use those individual elements. Just showing you through this particular collection before we get going. And then I've got a job for the gallery actually there's three of them right we've got three more I want the gallery to choose whether I work with this one this one or this one oh now they're gonna argue about it it's a choice of the pink one or the purple one Adam which is yours I would go that one personally. We'll go with that one then. Let's go with that one then. Okay, so what Sorry, we're going mate. to do, first of all, I've been running around the studio uh, looking for things I could I could decorate because I didn't have anything with me because I, I didn't know I was doing this. Uh, found a canvas, which is brilliant because this wonderful piece of rice paper is going to fit on there in its entirety. Now it's a little bit big and you can see where you've got uh, the barcode and the wording at the bottom. So what I'm going to do first of all, I'm just going to, I'm going to lay that onto my canvas and I'm just going to just wet the edges just on the inside of the canvas a little bit. This will make it easier to tear. I don't want a straight cut edge, I want to make sure you've got that fibrous edge. So I'm just adding a little bit of water around the edge, all the way around, and then we can tear it down. I have a question. You have a question. I have a question. I have to put my hand up and everything. It's like a <laughs> school. Um, do we... I will talk this way. I know Catherine is behind me. Uh, could we mould it around the edges if we wanted to, if we didn't want to tear? You could mould it, yeah. To do? You can, you can mould around... Uh, you can apply to glass, ceramics, all sorts of different things. You know, so it doesn't... It doesn't matter if, obviously, once you put your medium on, we're going to use a glue, which we're going to stick this down with, and then we're going to put the same glue over the top. You can really, really sort of mould around things as well, and it will pick up the detail from something underneath. Oh, so bad. if you were to go around a tin can or something like that, or a vase or a bottle that's got some detail in it, then it's going to pick that detail up. So uh, we've got the glues on the show as well. We've got all the mediums on the show. We've got crackles on the show. So they're all the they're all the jars that you see at the bottom. Um, the crackles, uh, different colour crackles as well, is what we go. They're all on the website, as you can see. Uh, we've also got all your mediums you might use, like your finishing varnishes are down there. Uh, your decoupage glues down there as well. You're getting two tubs. You can see them all down in the front of the counter at the moment. Um, very very busy across the board. So jump to the website. Right, so you can see what I'm doing here, just tearing away, so I've got that nice fibrous edge. I'm not going to waste those bits, they will, will come in for something else. And let's see, yes, that will fit nicely. I do want a little bit of edge on it, I don't want anything straight, so that's going to cover that beautifully. So I do need now to borrow the glue, which is, I've got to find it, got to find it, there we are. Right, this is, this is the test, getting the top off, there we go. Right, so I'm using the water paste decoupage glue. Um, because I didn't have all my bits and pieces with me, because I didn't know I was doing this until the last minute, I haven't got the best brush. I would advise using a nice wide flat brush to apply the glue. Mine's a little bit scratchy, but it's just been used for other things. So what I'm doing is putting a coat of the glue down. And we'll put a nice even coat all the way around. And then we're going to apply the rice paper to the top. Oh, I believe we've got an update. I believe we've we got an update. We have got an update. The botanical collection, the ones that we're using, with you know, the ones with cockatoos and the lovebirds, I think we think they're lovebirds, that are in there as well, uh, are now limited stock. Limited stock for these £14.99, 713217 is your item number they are now limited stock if you want them or they're in your baskets please do check them out i don't want you missing out on these either um uh, yes well i'll keep chipping in every now and then uh, but let's <laughs> let's go back 
to uh, live in the studio to a live crafting session. <laughs> This is good fun, isn't I like it? These. I like it as well. So what I've done, I've laid the rice paper over the top. Uh, just laid it out. Make sure you know you spread this out nice. You don't want air bubbles underneath, although they will dry out. And then I'm going back over the top with the decoupage glue, just sort of smoothing out to the edge. Now you can see. You can see there where I've torn the edges. That's just going to blend into the canvas. Uh, sorry to chip in. Oh no. Sorry. Uh, technically sold out. So now, technically sold out on our botanical collection. Uh, now, we'll still carry on with the demonstration, uh, but uh, they are technically sold out for the time being. We are currently making phone calls, but we, oh, we don't know. Uh, so bear with us, I'll let you know it's in, due, in due course. Oh, right, I'm so pleased I managed to get this onto my canvas then, because I can't take it off now. I'm going to keep going. Right, so I'm just using some of the glue just to go over the top. I'm not going too thickly with this, just to make sure that it's well coated. Um, we don't have any finished samples in the studio, and I don't have, obviously, I'm making this up as I go along, so I'm going to have to use the heat gun, Adam, if that's all right, yeah, in a little while fine. to try this off. I can try. Otherwise, I can't sort of continue with it. So just applying this over the top. Now, what I will just show you, although I've torn the edges, I could have left it bigger. So you can, can you see there, you were asking about going around things, Adam? Oh, yeah. So you can coat that down onto the edge as well. So there's little bits, little bits that are just going over the edges as well. But I did want a little bit of that white frame around the edge for when I add some more me mediums a little bit later. Right, so I'm at the point now where I'm going to give this a bit of a blast and give it a dry. That's nice, though. It's beautiful, isn't it? It looks lovely as it is. Yeah, just like that. I'm, I hope I don't spoil it, because it is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> but I've got to do more to it. Got to do more. So I'll just give this a bit of a blast off. We've not even spoken about it. There's also stencils on the show as well. We've got MBF on the show. Um, there is so much more. So if you do want to sh if you do want to shop ahead, uh, look on the website. Go to the hour. Everything that we've got on the show will be on the website as well. So you really can. We've got some beautiful MDF on there. Um, quite vintage cog steampunk esque that's in there. Uh, we've also got your stencils, which are also on the show. They might be put onto the later show because there are two shows of this today as well. Um, so to come back. There'll be more demonstrations. This afternoon as well. If you have any questions in the meantime, though, uh, if you're thinking, I, if only I knew, don't hesitate to drop us a line. Studio to Chanda.com. Um, if you've got papers in the past, if you've bought beautiful, uh, these beautiful papers, please do send in your photos as well. Studio to Chanda.com. You might inspire somebody else in the times that we're currently in uh, to take up uh, take up crafting, which is, a, which is a good little thing to do. We're almost there, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let that dry a little bit more on its own because I'm going to bring in, we do have some metal colours on the show and one of them I've got out, the other two I've not even looked at yet, so let's see what colours we've got. We've got, oh these are beautiful. Oh, now then we've got pink pearl, we have metallic Tiffany and we have metallic turtle dove as well. These are the metal colours, these are gorgeous. Right, I'm just going to pop that canvas to one side just to make sure that's a little bit drier. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to bring in some of the MDF as well. This is going to be prepped up for later. I just want to try these paints out and then we're going to add some to the canvas as well. Now we do have these on the show, I believe they're new today. Don't throw away all your little bits. Use them for building up, use them if you want to do 3D areas. You can hide those, but don't ever throw those bits away. Right, let's just have a little play with these metal colours. I'm going to open all three, she says. Do you want my muscles? The... It's all right, I'm strong. I'm stronger than I look, Adam. <laughs> Every time I Ooh. have. I don't know why I bought them. This is the first time I've seen these. Now, you can mix these together, these paints. So I'm just going to go straight onto the MDF. Straight on. Oh, these are gorgeous. They've got kind of that. I'm going to show you this in a second at the front camera. So I'm going straight onto the MDF here. You can see the metallic shine in these. They're absolutely gorgeous. So this one is called Turtle Dove. Do you know I'm going to mix these up just so you can see all the different colours? Oh, look at that one. 
Isn't that like gorgeous? That. That's beautiful. So I'm going to blend these together. Just work those together. I've got a little hair there on the... There we go. So just working it directly onto the MDF. Let's bring the pearl in as well. This is pink pearl. Just so you can see all three colours. This will help me make my mind up which ones are going on the canvas then as well. A bit more of the green, I think. Just we'll let oh, this dry and then we're going to go onto the canvas next with some of these. Are you all right, Adam? <laughs> yes, I'm like, sorry, I'm just, I'm just gas bagging about other shows. I quite like this, I quite like this walking in and out, because you can go and look at other things. Why are you all down there? I'm in, I'm in about four different sets at the moment, we're all having a little gossip. We're all, we're all different parts of, we're on the other side of the studio having a good old little chat. Oh dear. Oh, look oh. at that. I'm just going to hold this to the front. Can we see the shimmer on this? We're going to let this dry. Look at this. That is beautiful. I'm going to put some of this paint on the canvas. Oh, you're back. I don't know where to stand here in this <laughs> It's back. Um, if you want the metal colours, though, we've got those as well. The details are currently on the screen. I've got Stitch from all these running around. Uh, 729990 is your item number. These are your options that you've got. Uh, you've got Turtle Dove. Then you've got the Tiffany. I love the Tiffany. And then Pink Pearl. I'm loving these. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. The different options is what they're after. Uh, Seven two nine 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 zero is your item number. Um, once again, they're all separate. Uh, you same item number. You just pick what you like the most is what we're on about here. Um, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Right then, they've brought me down to the other end of the set. I know. I've, I'm right, literally. I'm right here. Look, look. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is where I was gas bagging from, look. We're just chatting to 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, we're on together. See? The magic of telly. It's not a real wall. This is wallpaper. It's not even wood. Um, nine pounds and 99 pence. What we are talking about now, MDF. Right, MDF is what we're talking about. Uh, tags and accessories. You're getting four of these, is what you're getting. There's only two, because um, that Catherine's also took two as well. But you are getting two of each design, so you're getting sort of the back and the front, as it were. Now, I can see already in this, this would make an amazing clock. If you pop through the centre, that one and that one, if you pop uh, your little cog mechanisms through there, you've got a back and a front, or you've got two separate co uh, clocks, if you wanted to, as well. Uh, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Eight one three eight four nine is your item number. So. Uh, it's MDF, a lot of bits of MDF as well. You're getting four sheets of MDF is what you're getting. Um, I'm on my own here. Uh, nine pounds and 99 pence. Now, decoupage sheets. I apologise for my little slight slip up. Uh, so, 11 pounds and 99 pence decoupage sheets is what we're talking about. You get two designs of each. So this is your first design is what we're talking about now. Uh, so this is your first design. Now, as I said, you get two sheets, but I'm going I'm to close them as one just so you can see what you're actually getting. So we start at the top and we work our way down. So you've got, as you can see, they're all lettered and numbered for you. So you've got here, number one, number one, so you've got three images. With these images as well, you can make them slightly larger. And then as you go down, you see you've got one F, one G, then you've got two. And then you start adding up again. So you really can go to town. The second design that we've also got in here as well, uh, will sort of go that way, is sort of your keys and your clocks that you've got on here as well. Um, absolutely stunning is what they are. And you also get little extra pieces, as you can see, just in the middle. You are getting four designs, well, you're getting two designs, um, four in total, so you get the same two twice, as it were, uh, for 11 pounds and 99 pence, 254679 is your item number for those. Now, Appetit Opera is what we're talking about next. Uh, this is your A4 size we're talking about now. Uh, almost half the stock of this here uh, has already gone. £11.99. I'm going to rattle through them a bit quicker this time than we saw them last time. I love these images. Absolutely beautiful is what they are. Then you've got the roses in there as well. Uh, look at these. 
That's the one we saw in that finished sample that we showed you at the top of the hour. But you also get the borders as well that's in there. All good to use <coughs> and all mix and match perfectly as well is what we're looking at. Absolutely stunning is what they are. Um, it's worth picking them up. Uh, half the stock has already gone here as well. £11.99, 288411 is your item number. Uh, up next, your romantic steampunk is what we're up next. Nearly 40% of the stock has already gone here. Uh, well, by the looks of it, our man, who's our producer, can currently see what's going on in the in the wee wide world uh, and what you're buying into. Now, by the looks of it, some of you, some of you are buying more than one set for all these as well is what you're buying uh, so you've got the look at the steampunk here and then you've got the beautiful penny farthing in the top corner is what you've already got uh, as we go through them you've got the beautiful garland this could be with the lock and the key with the steampunks and the clocks as well uh, then there's beautiful sentiments that you've got in the middle it's absolutely some of the birds around there uh, we could do if you've got an empty glass jar uh, yes, Meg. Oh, you see. Uh, you take the sentiment from the middle, empty glass jar, and use it as a money box if you wanted to. Because it's a sentiment about the future. There's nothing like dream to create the future. That's what I said, Baker. I was just I was just reading it backwards through the actual parchment. Because it's that quality parchment. You can see the image through. But when you put your glues and all that in front, it doesn't go all like paper mache, is what we're talking about. <laughs> then, uh, oh, now we've already had one sellout. Um, we're down to Japanese Blossom, is what we're talking about now. Very busy for these as well. £14.99. 398403 is your item number. And almost two-thirds of the stock has already gone here as well. You're absolutely loving the Chinese theme, your Japanese theme. Sorry, your Japanese. And remember the mulberry rice paper. If I show you the backs... If I can get you this, you can see the mulberry that's running all the way through them. High quality mulberry is what you're getting in these. So it's that little bit stronger than your normal rice papers as well, because you've got the mulberry, so the mulberry thread uh, running through. Fourteen pounds ninety-nine pence. Three nine eight four zero three is your item number. We've had queues on the phones for most of the hour so far. So the quickest thing to do is jump to the web or tap the app. This is what it looks like when you get there. Uh, as I said, we've got all the MDF on the show as well. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, all this talking. Uh, then we've also got the um, well, the paints and your varnishes that are on there. We've got crackle paste, you've got water-based matte finishes on there. You've also got your uh, wax effect, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the wax effect, we've got the acrylic uh, blender as well in there, and also your finishes. Um, and we've also got your crackle paste as well. We've also got your deal of the days on there. We've got stamps on there, your seven day savers. You can pick any four of your deals of the day. And they're big old threads as well is what we're looking at here. 5,000, yes, you heard me correctly, 5,000, I'm going to say yards. 5,000 yards, wouldn't be metres, that would be for metre, wow. Well, uh, 5,000 yards is what you're getting on each ball and you can pick any four. Right then, what are we up to? Okay. I'm still playing with those paints, I think they're fab. So what I've done, I've done half of the canvas around the edge with the metal paints. Because what I'm doing here, I'm dulling down the outside. I mean, it is beautiful as it is. It is. But obviously, we've got to do more than that. So what I'm using is, I'm using the Tiffany, which is the greeny colour one. And I'm using the Turtle Dove, which is the browner one as well. Oh, now, oh, right. now then, these are selling because Tiffany and the pearl pink are limited stock. Wow, you need to be quick. They're all beautiful, absolutely beautiful. What I'm doing here is going on with Tiffany, but then every now and again, I'm just putting a little bit of the turtle dove, just mixing that in as well. So I'm not changing brushes. I'm just blending the two together. They mix beautifully. Now, what I don't want is a straight line. I want to sort of blend in you know, sort of have a shaded area around the edge. So some areas I'll come in further than others. I'm more or less just stippling this on with a flat brush, which is a bit unusual. Now I would, I would at home, probably paint the edges of the canvas as well, but just for speed, I'm just going to stick to the front bit so you can see where I'm going. Just blending in those colours. And when these dry, they're so, so effective. Now I have... I have heat dried um, the bit that I'd already done, so we'll do the same with this in a little while. But I just oh, want to show you. Oh, we've had a lovely man in from Sue. She's 
She's been really loving the show and the demos have been a giggle. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Keep up that, don't That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, and a giggle, not the demos a giggle. Do you know what? If you're giggling at me with my demos, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not. Your demos are good. Uh, all three now of these metallic uh, colours are all limited stock. All three of them. So if you want them, get them quick. Right, so what I've done there, I've kind of, I have dulled down the edges, given a frame, but it's brought the attention more to those, what do you call those birds again, Adam? I, I, I don't, are they parakeets? Are they parakeets they in birds? the middle? I don't know. Somebody will tell us, well, I'm sure. They can't be lovebirds because there's three of them. That means they should be four. Oh, two's company, three's a crowd. Wow. We've had an email in from Trudy. Oh, it's a lorikeet, not a parakeet. A lorikeet? A lorikeet, a rainbow lorikeet. And they eat seeds. Oh, And our nectar-eating birds. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it is. So they only, they only eat nectar. So that is the ones I fed. Lorikeets. Lorikeets. That must be. Well, it looks like those. Oh no, the first one with the cockatoo. I've got the cockatoo here somewhere. <laughs> I'll, sh <laughs> I'll, sh <laughs> I'll show you in a second. Wow. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying this off. You really need, I need to show this to the camera at the front to really get the benefit of the effect of these paints because they are absolutely stunning. They really, really are. It's unbroadcastable. Currently, what they're currently saying in my ear, I can't tell you, on the telly box. Oh, a lot right. of keats. I like a lot of keats. Uh, let's just see if we can get the shimmer. I don't think it's quite dry, but can you, can you see the metallic in there? Look at that. It's got a beautiful sheen to it, but we're going to do more. We're okay. going to do more. <laughs> <laughs> just can put the lids on those before I knock them over. So limited stock. No, I, I, don't, I think I've already said that. Um, I can't remember. Uh, £9.99, £729,990 is your item number to choose which colour you're after. Oh. Right, now I'm looking for the primer uh, for... <laughs> it's got to be here somewhere. Uh, you've got my primer somewhere. Have I got somewhere. it? Oh, it's here. Yeah, because there should be another one under here. No, that's the glue. I need, I need, I need, I need. Primer comes with the varnish. The, not the wax. Water-based varnish. That's it. Acrylic primer binder. That's the one. That's the one. Right. Hopefully, this is dry. Um, we've got the crackle paste on. So what I'm going to do is add, I'll just get a clean brush, actually. Oh, brand new brushes, lot. And I'm already leaving them out with mediums on, so they're going crispy. <laughs> Oh, you want a crispy brush. <laughs> Have you seen my decorating of it? Wow, weekend? yes, I'm <gasps> liking the kitchen. I know, it's coming on a treat. Ah, look, that didn't take you long. Oh, I've got a lot to do, yeah. Oh, I'm doing it? one area at a time. Um, do you take each door off? Yeah. Yeah. So I've done... I've, <laughs> I've done... <laughs> we've, just fi we've just finished ours, though. You see, I've literally... Sammy's just got to do the... Gr I'm no good at grouting. Oh, aren't you? I love grouting. You can pop round if you want. <laughs> Bring your lot of keys and your cockatoo. And um, we'll have a party. Yeah, I've got one more bit of grouting on the top. I should really take pictures. And, um, and we're done. Oh, I'm fantastic. I'm starting to them from the 17th of April, in case you're busy. Um, I can't silicon either, or cork. Oh, I, oh, I love doing that. Well, I love, love all the Oh, I love it. Love it. I'm the corking queen. Self-proclaimed corking <laughs> queen. <laughs> now I am going to add more of this primer uh, to, you know, afterwards. There's no point in me just doing the same thing all the way around because it gets a bit boring. But I'm, what I've done, I've just added to one top edge there and a little bit down this side. Now, when you've got time at home, I would let this dry naturally. I wouldn't heat dry it. I would probably let it dry naturally. But I'm hoping for the best. Right, it's a little bit tacky, but what I'm going to do is bring in some of the crackle effect paste now. Now these are great. These go on porcelain, on glass, on metal, on wood, grey board. Also, more or less all, any, any of your surfaces. Oh, yeah. Now, because I've got purple in there, and I've gone with the green and the brown, I might bring a bit of purple back in, but I'm also going to mix it. Let's mix some more green in there. 
now we've Quite got lots of colour options. options for these. I'm just grabbing what I think. Any of those would work actually. Now this is a paste, um, and I'm just going to just put that onto my glass mat and just give that a bit of a mix. You have to work when you open the jars. You'll think, well, these have been sitting around for a while. But you just have to rework it, don't you? You have to re. Yeah, it's. Re can you there you can see that you it's water based so you could you could add a little bit of water to it if you wanted to but I'm not going to I'm honestly not going to uh, I am going to add a little bit of that purple you shouldn't contaminate the parts but I'm going to mix these together oh. oh should we put gold in as well Adam Let's do we it. can play can't we should we go for some what should we got here let's have a look let's go for this one there's lots of check out the website for these colors and uh, you can get any two. It's on a pick and mix. Um, so it's on a pick and mix. You've got, you've got burgundy, Tiffany, antique pink, copper, gold, black, silver. Um, they're all scrolling through the. They're all scrolling at the bottom of the screen at the moment. Look, burgundy, Tiffany, purple, aqua, pink, dark, copper, gold, gold, uh, red, light blue, black, silver. Choose from. Now what I'm doing is just starting to spread some along. Now, remember, I primed this first, so I'm just going to do a blend of colours just because I can. Just because I can. Now, obviously, well, not obviously. It's not obvious if you've not done it before. Um, quite often, you see liquid crackles, and the the common rule is the thicker you put it on, the the larger the crackles will appear. This is pretty much the same with the paste. So if you put it on very thinly, you're going to get smaller crackles. If you put it on a little bit thicker, you're going to get larger ones. So I'm just mixing these totally together, just bringing that around. Oh, we've had a lovely email in from our Sylvia. Oh. I'll, stand, I'll stand up, Sylvia. I was watching that. Uh, she's loving the show. <laughs> And she says, Catherine and Adam, you brighten up our day. Aww. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Sylvia. Your whole email, your whole email has been read to us as well. Thank you very much. We were just cutting it down. But thank you very much. Lovely little email. I'm glad we're keeping you company. It's nice to know it that is, you're there isn't and it? we're keeping you company. It does make it worthwhile, doesn't it? Now, what I'm doing with the paste, I don't want to waste this now. I'm just going to work around the edge. Uh, I'm not covering all of the paint that I've done, and you could go in with paint afterwards as well. If you did something and you didn't like it, you can always go over the top. Um, but I'd, I'm just kind of working to the shape that I did with the paints. I'm going to crackle it now. Right, again at home, if you wanted to do it and let it dry on its own, you could do... Let's just get a little bit of green in there. Right, let's hope this works now, Adam. Wow. Let's hope it works. We did before the hour when we had a little... Don't tell them that. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's all off the hoof. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we, we go. I know. What's happened? The power's gone. Well, that's handy. Try that. No. No power. Somebody turn the lights out. Let me show you the crackles that we've actually got on here as well. Uh, these are all the crackles. You can pick any two of these crackles is what you can actually pick here. Uh, I would go for, I think I'd go for a burgundy and then probably um, a black or a white. So we'll go for a black because uh, then you've got that nice the age crackle as well if you wanted to. Uh, it'd be £13.98, remember, then you plus your postage and packaging as well. If you're a Freedom member, that postage and packaging is taken off, uh, which also means that we've got, uh, we're getting another gun, as we're on about at the moment, we're, we're on this, uh, £13, and then obviously pop it in your basket. If you're spending over £60, though, um, while you're £60 there, you can split your flexible payments on to two. Right then, here we go again. We have a little heat gun that works. This is the, this is the quiet one. It's not quite as powerful, so it might take a little bit longer. Don't know what happened to the other one. It worked one minute and not the next. It did, didn't it? So I'm just going to start to warm this up. It does take a little bit of time to go. And because it's thicker as well. I was going to say, does it depend on the thickness? Depending on yeah, the... yeah. But I, I wanted it quite thick. I want the crackles to, hopefully, the crackles to appear quite large. And also, I didn't want a flat... I wanted a textured look to it as well. You could put this through your stencils as well. Oh, yeah, we've got, as I said, we've got stencils on the show. They'll be in the later hour. 
Yeah, we might not get time to use them this time. You see, this is why I picked the other peak on, because this one's so slow. <laughs> do you want me to play, um, I don't know, I can do it, I can help. I know Paula's got a wow one in her drawer. Oh yeah, there's one in... Oh, it's starting to go, it's starting to go now. I've got one here, do you want my one? Sure. Oh, Helen's in the studio. It is going, but this heat gun is very, very slow. Right, we've got another one. Third time, lucky. Oh dear, that's not very long. <laughs> I'm, in enough, I'm in enough trouble this hour. <laughs> hey, with our parakeets and a cockatoo. What are they doing to me? Hey, I need to be on a plate. It's not, it's not even afternoon. It's quarter to eleven. Oh dear. Oh. It's not being a carry-on <laughs> film working here <laughs> Right, it is going. Now, this is really interesting, actually, because <laughs> where it's really thick and it's still drying out, you can see those larger cracks appearing, but where I've got very, very thin bits on the edge, it's still cracking, so I'm getting a mixture there. I don't know, what, I, I don't know if the overhead can get it better than the camera that we're on, actually, because... Now, ah, now then, that's where we started, look, you can see, no crackle at all. <gasps> look at this! Doesn't that make a difference? Do you know, we've got some clever people in the uh, gallery, haven't we? We really are. Oh, look, now it's really going now. As oh. I say, at home, I wouldn't pour straight too much. I'm probably overheating it a bit here, but I'm just trying to make it go so you can see the effect. Actually, I really like that because, look at that, Adam. Can you see That's it? That's nice. You've got that edge and that thicker bit in there as well, so it's really giving a different effect, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, it's like it is very giraffe-esque. It is, isn't it? Now, if I have to pause, do I need to turn my heat gun off? I'm all right to keep going. Keep going. I'll keep you, going. You keep, you keep crackling. OK. Enjoy the crackle. Uh, we've mentioned the stencils, we're going to show you the stencils. We've got a few different ones on this hour. These are your medium stencils. There's three options here under the same item number. This is the Dragonfly, because uh, the Dragonfly's at the bottom. Then we've got Art Nouveau that's here. And then you've got your Peacock. Uh, your item number 448999 is your item number. 10 pounds and 50 pence. Then we've got... Uh, oh, there's two peacocks there. Oh. Then we've got a different ones. These are steampunk ones. Medium stencils again, 11 pounds and 49 pence. This is steampunk number one. I'm guessing it's steampunk number two. Steampunk number two. Then, steampunk number three. As you can guess, these were, these were named on a Friday afternoon at five to five. Just, in, just before we all left. Uh, and last but no means least, but they go with the papers amazingly. This is, I know we're often joking, but I want you to work out. Uh, this one, another item number on its own as well. Medium stencil 168112 is your item number. This is your tree bark stencil. £10.50 is what we're looking at there as well. Right then, while we let uh, our Catherine crackle away, uh, we're going to look at your Japanese blossoms. These are three quarters of the stock now, has now gone here. £14.99, 398403 is your item number. You're getting six designs. It's mulberry rice paper. Now, when I say mulberry rice paper, it's different to a normal rice paper because you've got the mulberry thread that runs through the, uh, runs through the rice paper that gives it that bit of extra strength is what we're talking about. So they're a little bit more durable than normal rice papers that you would normally get. These are your Japanese-themed, Japanese-inspired rice papers. Some beautiful, beautiful designs uh, that's on there. Just things like this with the, the little figure poking out. Um, they are absolutely stunning. They really are when you get home. And as a large sheet, like you think, a bit overpowering. But if you start cutting into these and just using smaller elements of these, they really do work wonders. £14.99, 398403 is your item number for your Japanese. Then, 
uh, your romantic steampunk. Now these, we had the stencil that matched with these. Um, we did, Meg. Um, the one that said, the one, I think it's got, uh, there is a, there is a stencil that sort of goes with it. Uh, have, if you have a flick through, I think it was like the second, it's the first set that we talked about, I think. Oh, no, the second set, second set. I think it was number two. Yeah. I think it was steampunk number two. It reminded me of... No? Yeah, that sort of... See what I mean? Like them sort of things. No, the one back. Go back one. Oh, there's nothing like dreams. Uh, then you've got that one. Oh, my... I did see one that matched. Uh, it's got the sort of the same thing. These are the stencils we're looking at now. They're not... Uh, but that's the one. That's the one, look. Mach that's theme number three, because you've got machine love on there. Remember? Mechanical love, machine love, mechanical love. You see, so they match. I don't just throw this show together. There's weeks of planning. Um, but you're getting all six of these papers is what you're getting here as well. Absolutely beautiful. There's so much you can do with the different tones on there. That's more like a decoupage that you could cut into and use different areas where you've got the full background on these. So you might want to use a complete sheet. It's entirely up to you. £14.99, two three nine zero six seven. I've sped up slightly because we want to get back to that demo before we go. Uh, your smaller opera, petite opera is what we're talking about now. Uh, I'm not doing French anymore. If you see now Lou Withers talking French, oh, she put me in a right predicament the other day. Oh, Lou can't speak French. She was talking about a cat and a mat and it all got very, very wrong. Oh, very, very wrong. Oh, you take the French for cat. Well, and a mat and what he did on the map, well. I'm sorry if you're spitting out your, well, well, I don't know what it is about cats in this place. Uh, sorry if you're eating your sugar puffs, you didn't want to know that. But uh, your petite opera is what we're talking about now. Of course, you can still get sugar puffs. Oh, I used to love a good sugar puff. Uh, then here we go, look. Roses we've got in there as well. Uh, flowers. And uh, you've also got. Uh, there's so much in there, £11.99, 288411 is your item number. Last but no means least, we've got decoupage is what we're talking about. Uh, two sets is what you're getting. Okay, two sets is what we get here. Of the same image, they're all numbered as well, so you can really go to town and decoupage these up. It's entirely up to you. 11.99254679 is your item number. Now, I've just been handed the Japanese Blossom. Now, limited stock. Limited stock for your Japanese Blossom. The details have now appeared on the screen. Six Mulberry Rice Papers is what you can get. Um, all the Rice Papers are Mulberry as well, so they get that high quality. You get the thread through the back as well. £14.99. 398403 is your item number for your Mulberry Rice Papers. Uh, the quickest and the easiest thing to do, though, is shop by brand is the quickest place. Uh, it's all on the website for you. Uh, everything is on there. You've got stencils on there, rice papers on there. There is a second show. What time's our second show this afternoon? 2 p.m. this afternoon. Uh, I think that's just our Catherine on her own. I think it's just you. Uh, I don't think there'll be no stock, though, so I don't know what you'll be doing this afternoon. Probably more demonstration. Uh, crackling. You've got... Save us some crackle. If you've got any questions for this afternoon as well, uh, for our Catherine, please don't hesitate to email them in studio at chandler.com. <laughs> Thank you for all your emails. We read every single one that you do send to me. Uh, well, to all of us. We, they all get fed through one by one. Just so we don't read them out on there doesn't mean we don't read them. Uh, right then, how did, how did your crackle go? Well, I've stopped because I didn't want to keep... You know, I want to show you the before and after again. Just so... I know we've got it on screen, but you can really see... You can really see... We'll just have a look on the overhead. Oh, yeah. We'll bring it up. There's one area that I've not heated yet. I can see it starting to go where it's naturally going, but look. This is before. This is right at the beginning. This is the magic of cameras. That's right. That's it now. That's it now. So i am worked this corner here. I haven't gone right into the other corner, but I love the effect of that. So you can see where I've just caught little bits with the spatula oh, like as well that. and got that really fine effect there as well. But what you can do is also use the metal paints again and sort of rub that into the surface so you can pick out the detail in there as well 
I mean, you don't have to do this. You can seal over the top. We do have uh, sealants on the show as well. So we you can protect your work with your sealants. Again, here I'm using a couple of colours. A little bit of the green, the Tiffany, and also the pink pearl. Have we still got these? They're, they're, they're hanging on by a thread. Oh, are they? So I'm just adding a little bit of that in there. So if you haven't got mica powders, then your paints are great. You can paint with them, you can add them to all sorts of different surfaces, but use them to accentuate the crackles as well. I'm only going to go so far because I've only dried so far, but you can see the effect. And still, I've left some of the area that I use the, the metal paint sort of expanding out from underneath there. I'm putting layer upon layer. Now, I'll carry on working with this in between the shows, actually, so you can see a little bit more later. But what I did want to do, because I know we haven't got a lot of time, We've got the stencils on the show. Yeah. Now, this one, I'm not sure what set it's from, the but it's, there is a dragonfly on there. So I thought it would be quite nice, before I finish off round here, if I could try and bring in the dragonfly somewhere. Now, I haven't got that many different materials, so I'm trying to choose a lighter area, just so that it picks up some of the detail. Let's, let's go there. The thing with these rice papers, though, you would never know that was a rice paper on a canvas. That's sort of like you've bought the canvas with those birds already on, and you're just uh, adding it, to the canvas. I know. It's fantastic. And again, I, you know, I'm so big on that. I love upcycling. And um, all your pots, all your glasses, all your ceramic plates, your glass dishes, that sort of thing, the tops of your furniture looks incredible with rice paper. It really, really does, because you get such a beautiful, perfect finish. Now I'm just stippling in with a little, this is actually Inca Gold, although it's blue, but it's called Inca Gold. I don't know how it's going to come through. I would probably add one or two different colours into this over the top, just so I'm going to go with the other end actually. I might have been better with a brush, but because I've got a bit of a springy top with the yeah. canvas, it's, I'm trying to be a little bit careful with it. Because if you add some green, if you add some blue, some purple, so you get the dragonfly looking in different colours. So well, let's another lovely email from Angie. I don't know how that's looking. Really enjoying oh. the show. You're both making it so funny, and it's great to have a laugh. It is, isn't it? it Look, is. there we are. There you can see the uh, dragonfly. I am going to continue with that. I'm going to add another colour over the top of that. I can just lay that over. I'm going to put another one down here as well. Isn't it lovely getting uh, emails in from everybody, Adam? Say that again, sorry? Isn't it lovely getting emails in? Well, it is. Well, um, our Meg's just reading me the rest. Of, who was that email from, sorry, again? From Angie. Uh, it was just reading me the rest of Angie's email. You just threw your sponge on the floor. <laughs> um, rest of Angie's email. I'm originally from Birmingham. I'm originally from Bourneville. Oh. Cadbury's. And there. Other chocolates are available. Uh, well, I say that, I move there, and then I was bussed in Albury. Um, not far from Frank Skinner. And then Angie's from the Midlands as well. That's why Angie asks, not just me randomly <gasps> commenting. Um, when are you back? Two o'clock? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Look, I've just I've discovered my finger does the job much better. Look at that. Oh. Can we see that? Look. Well, there you go. What oh. an hour. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. That's amazing. Thank Considering you. you walked in, <laughs> ten o'clock. Paintbrush in your hand, didn't know what you were doing, bless you. Look what you can create now. It's amazing what you can create Just when you get these fun. home. That's all Don't you need worry. to do. Have fun. Bye bye. So, don't go anywhere. Thank you very much, Catherine. I love that. Absolutely loved it. Uh, I'll be with you at 12 o'clock, but uh, Janice is up next with our cricket. Calling all the Chanda viewers, we have some exciting news for you. From the 1st of April, we will have a new schedule for our one day special shows. The one day special will now be shown live at 6pm and 8pm, followed by 8am, 12pm and the final call at 4pm the following day. This means that following your feedback, when we have a special two hour launch of the one day special at 5pm and 6pm, both hours will be available live to our free view viewers. So join us from the 1st of April for our new exciting one day special schedule, only on Achanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs 
into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. A very good morning to you. I am looking forward to this show. I really am because I've not had a chance to see the Cricket Joy yet. And if you haven't, then we've got a great show lined up with demonstrations on that, on the Maker and the Easy Press as well. Now, I know some of you were expecting Emma this morning. We've got the lovely Cathy joining us. Um, Cathy, Emma's not feeling too well Emma's today. not feeling too well, so she's doing the very sensible thing and staying at home, which means you get me. So apologies, bear with me. I'm sure we'll get through this together. It'll be no. fine. No, be I'm, fine. I'm really looking forward to the show with you. And Emma, uh, if you are watching at home, please get well yeah. soon. Uh, lots of love to you. Can you tell us about your relationship with Cricket? Yeah, so my relationship with Cricket started about six years ago with the very first Explore machine. Wow. Um, as a, a hobby crafter, I wanted to have something that was going to make my life easier. Um, and I'd seen lots of inspiration on Pinterest, and I thought I have to get that machine. So saved up, bought the machine, um, and then... Fast forward a few years, um, I'm now the marketing manager for wow. Cricket, so absolute dream job and That's not amazing. a day goes by that I don't thank my lucky stars that I'm here. But now I get to actually um, bring products to our members and actually showcase you know, and, and meet lots of members as well. It's absolutely fantastic. And we all share the love for cricket. It's brilliant. Well, do you know what? There is a huge love for cricket. There really is. When I go down, uh, well, when I went down to the football, when it was on at the time, uh, I've got a friend that sits in the front and they would always turn around and go, you've cost me lots of money this week. And I'm like, we had a cricket show on, didn't <laughs> we? She went, yes. I do have to apologise for that because it's it's so tempting. It's so, you, you straight away you can see the benefits of how this yeah. is going to help your everyday crafting. And not just crafting now, with joy, it's a around the home it's absolutely everything it certainly is oh this is so super sweet let's tell everyone at home about the joy let's tell everyone the package that's available for you the details on the screen 640422 uh, that usual price has been cut so you're making a saving on that but it is available on flexi buy so you can divide the cost of this over three months now these prices are only here until midnight that's how we work with the cricket shows only till midnight tonight so if you do have to go and talk to somebody about the purchase we understand and it can be a considerable purchase, yeah. um, then please do so. Uh, but keep a, an eye on the stock levels. We'll keep you informed. Uh, it's going to be dispatched on the 2nd of April. So can we talk about the joy? Uh, can we talk about the joy? Can of course I touch we can. The joy? Of course we can. Uh, and it's a joy to touch as well. <laughs> it's a joy to look at. It's a joy to touch. It's a joy to use. It is, I mean, I have all machines I have an explorer I have so a maker where is and this going to fit into the lifestyle of a person that maybe hasn't had a cricket before and also the lifestyle yeah. of someone that maybe has a cricket and wants another well, one well that's it it's perfect for both actually and um, literally where it's going to fit is anywhere around the home because yeah. look at the size of it yeah. and the way it just kind of folds in and folds out we can pop that in a cupboard we can pop it on a shelf mine actually sits in the kitchen and I 
the kids use it all the time. Mom, can we get the joy? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but then if I already own a Cricut machine, then this is a great companion machine because it does things that, that the Maker and the Explore don't do. Okay. So for example, um, with the smart materials that come with it, we can cut longer lengths. Right. So we can cut an image up to four foot, wow. or we can cut, um, well, we have rolls that are up to 20 foot, so you could cut smaller images and cut 20 feet of them. Great for batch making. Perfect. So even though we have one width, we can keep going absolutely. in. In a and form. because it's such a small machine as well, don't think that you can only do small projects. So I made my top yeah, I like that. using the joy. So as long as you've got the width, you yes. can just keep going for the length. Oh, great yeah. idea. I mean, you may be looking around your home at the moment thinking, do you know what, I'd really like a new, a new cushion or I really like, you know, the decor that I've got. But I want something a bit different, maybe for the kitchen where you put your teas and your coffees. Uh, but we can't get out. We can't get those particular items. You can change what you've got using something like this Absolutely. in the materials. And it feels like you've got something new, doesn't yeah. it? Because you've put your stamp on it. And also you can completely personalise it. So it's up. so if you, like for example, um, you want to pop your kids' names on their lunch boxes yeah. and things like that, or they've got little nicknames, or my daughter's got an unusual name and I never find anything oh, that's got her, her name? Jemima. Jemima. So she, I can never find anything with her name on. Not even in the Beatrix Potter shop, actually, oh. but anyway. Um, so I can do absolutely everything. I can personalise her school bag, her school books. She can, yeah, she can play around with this and create personal things too. Love that. Now, uh, we are aware that we have people uh, viewing from different countries, and the plug for this is the UK and Europe. Yeah. So you get both in the box, so you choose when you get it out. You're also getting your tools, the essential tools, your mat, and you're also getting some of the materials as well. Should we talk about these? Yeah, so we're getting some shimmer vinyl, some transfer tape, and some glitter iron on. Ooh. So that gives you a good taster of the different things that you can get. Um, yes. That that work with joy. So yeah, that's a really, really good starter bundle. And it's really important to have the tools as well so that you're doing everything correct the moment you start yeah. using it. And they really do help. It's not just let's, you know, add these on. They actually make life easier for you and really make you have the best results because that's what you want. You yeah, want it to work first time. Uh, I can um, see some markers there. So is this something that we mark out or can we use the markers yeah, oh, so the pens, there's a little slot. So it's only one um, adapter yes. here, so you would remove your blade and you yeah. pop your pen in. Um, but yeah, those those are actually, so you can oh actually write word. onto a onto a card. So or the tools labels. that we get with the Cricut Joy, what are they and what can we cut? So you get the blade yep. and you get a pen. Okay. You get a green standard grip mat, yes. which means if you've got any scraps of materials um, from your maker or your explore, then that's absolutely perfect for popping smaller bits on and that will go through. Okay. But with your smart materials, which are the ones that we've got in the bundle, there's no need for a mat, so those okay. actually feed straight oh. into the machine. Do they? Absolutely, making life even easier, wow. so you haven't even got to worry about oh a mat. Oh my word. Now, are we going to demonstrate with this in the hour? Yes, definitely. Superb. Definitely. It just looks fabulous, doesn't it? But it is fabulous as well. You'll see that with the demonstrations. 640422. Remember, you can pay this over three months. It helps you, and it gets you what you want when you want it, so you can start making and creating a whole plethora of different crafts as well. This crosses all the crafts, from soft crafts, to paper crafts to mixed media it really does uh, so that is your Cricut Joy we also have a great deal and bundle on the maker oh love this machine just as much now if you are new to Cricut maybe you're thinking about going for the Joy because that's something that's more portable for you yes. that's absolutely fine but let's talk about the maker you can see by that price point 424 pounds and 42 pence it is dividable uh, with or divisible with uh, your flexi buy but we're talking business here aren't we yeah so nothing will ever replace the maker mm. you know the joy is the joy and it's yes. absolutely fantastic but the maker is it just takes our crafts to the next level yeah. so it has the adaptive tool system which means we can pop different tools in to cut different materials hundreds of materials up to the thickness of things like chipboard wow. um, and basswood and things like that. So my grey board I can cut? Oh yes, no problem. Can I cut some of my craft uh, metal, some of the soft craft metals? Some of the metals, yeah. So what, if you, um, so it's all driven by Design Space, yes. which is an app which enables you to run the machines. And actually within there, you can go to see all of the different materials that you actually can cut. Super. So if you're kind of on the fence and, and wondering about whether this is right for the type of crafting that you do, then have then a look have down there. there. Yeah. How brilliant. So if you wanted to cut out uh, your fabrics, you can do? Fabrics, absolutely. There's a separate blade for that. So oh. just like your rotary blade that you would cut fabrics at yes. home with your large mat, it's a really mini version of that and it cuts your fabrics. And does that come with the maker? That comes with the maker. Oh. 
It's, it's like a hot knife through butter, that blade, it, isn't it? It's perfect, it, isn't it? It, it really is. Uh, so in this bundle, you've got your maker. Uh, this will connect via... Bluetooth? Via Bluetooth, or there's a USB in the box Superb, as well. superb. I like the fact you've even got the tray at the top there. Yeah. A little compartment to put So you your can phone. put your phone or iPad yeah. in there, absolutely. Um, you've also got the, sorry, little compartment in the front to keep yes. your tools in, and you've got the little tool sets here superb. as well so that you can keep everything to hand. Brilliant. Uh, we've got the toolkit for you. Again, you've got your essentials there, and we'll take you through your demonstrations with that. But they're worth having, aren't they? Definitely. Like mm. I say, it just means that it's as you're actually crafting and applying and weeding and things like that it just makes life easier for you yes. you can struggle through or you can have the right tools that just make it like easy that. for you we need the right tools uh, and then we've got some vinyls for you uh, that work perfectly with the maker as well so we've got a good collection there again really good chance to have a try at lots of different things so we've got some of our latest consumables in there as well so the holographic threads brand new and um, we've got some beautiful easter colors in there and then we've got some iron on to have a, a, a go at with those as well superb can i just go and get one of these t-shirts and uh, something like that yeah. do you mind sorry because I'm seeing all these samples at the back and they look fabulous I'm thinking if you've got a new addition to the family coming up uh, how sweet is that you can just make and create your own it's beautiful and so there are uh, um 130,000 images ready to go yes or you can um, adapt your own so you can um, use fonts as well and type type any word that you want you can use um, amalgamation of images to create your own design but there are also ready-made projects as well so if you kind yeah. of feel a bit daunted by where to start there are projects that have all the inspiration and you can go straight away I think it's amazing, I really do. And what a perfect name, The Maker, because it makes, it does, and it will yeah. carry on making for you. Uh, it could be a possibility of starting your own business. Definitely. Because uh, this is the full kit and caboodle, it really is. Everything to get you started when you get this home to take it out of the box. £427.42. pence. Again, pay over three payments of 142 and 47 pence the price will go back up from whence it came tonight at 12 o'clock that's how we work with the cricket shows here on ho chanda we're always grateful uh for cricket as well if you want the maker by itself then you've got the opportunity to do that so you can kind of configure your own bundle uh, and there it is 379 pounds and 99 pence zero nine one 641 is your item number. The beauty of this, I guess, Kathy, is the fact that you can start looking at the software now at home, even designing right now, whilst you wait for this to be delivered. Absolutely. And I have to be honest, I was prepping for the show yesterday um, afternoon and evening, and I had an absolute amazing time just scrolling through and looking at the different images and coming up with different ideas. And actually, I had about 400 demos that I thought, oh, I could do that, I could do that. Brilliant. Um, so actually, that's a really good thing to do, actually get, get to use it, get to feel comfortable with it um, and get your project saved ready to go so as soon as you've got your machine you're ready excellent uh, we'll take you through some more of the samples later on in the show as we head towards the demos but we've got something else which could be i think an essential for you especially if you're serious about your crafts uh, we do love the easy press here and i know you're going to love it as well as kathy talks you through what this is yeah so this is an amazing easy press bundle so we've also got in here infusible ink which is um it, it just gives permanency to your designs and actually makes the ink actually embed into the fabric okay. or the um, blanks. We've got some coasters, I think, with the, yes. the bundle as well. Um, so it just actually, that's a completely smooth finish. So unlike vinyl, which would sit on the top and actually you'd be able to feel it, there's actually nothing on top of there. It's actually infused into the ceramic itself. Oh my word, that yeah. is really clever, and that's, isn't it? To be able to do that, you do need the Easy Press 2, which gets hot enough. So a, a normal iron at home will not get hot enough to no have that um, reaction um, and make the ink turn from a solid in the paper, it's in paper wow. form, into the gas which then infuses into the ceramic. Oh my goodness. Uh, so you get your coasters included with that, you get some other uh, fabrics as well, including that beautiful, beautiful um, mermaid it's style. It's beautiful, yeah, isn't it? isn't it's that? lovely. Uh, but let's talk about the Easy Press. why we would use this rather than an iron. Um, so basically because of the heat, um, absolute temperature so there's a, a heat guide online that you can tell it what material you're using so for example we, we would be using glitter here or we'll be using infusible ink so we tell it which material we're using and then we tell it what our base material is so is it a ceramic coaster is it an ordinary t-shirt 100% yeah. cotton we've got at home loads and loads of different things on there denims all the different um, fabrics and then it tells you an exact temperature and exact time so you're taking all the guesswork out Love of that. how to have a perfect result Love that. and it will auto switch off as well so you haven't got to 
where it comes in the cradle. So even when this is hot, I could pick this up and I'm not going to touch the plate and burn myself because it does get to really, really high temperatures. Yeah, it does. It's perfect, And actually. then we've got the bag that pops inside and you can actually pop it inside the bag whilst it's still hot. So really? if you're crafting around kids and you want to make it safe, as soon as you've finished, turn it off, pop it in the bag, all safe. I love this bag as well. I love the design. You've got the extra pockets on there as well yep. so that you can put some of your design features in there, maybe your, your tablet uh, if you yeah, want to as well. Yeah, and the mat that comes with it as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you've got the mat. Um, is the mat inside? I think the mat's in the bundle. Oh, do we have a bundle? We'll have to check. Oh, we'll double check. Uh, we should have a mat. I wonder if it's in the bag. If not, oh, maybe. we'll grab it for you. You never know. It might be hiding in there. No. Oh no, just some, just some nice stuffing that you can craft with when you get them home. But yes, you do have the map as well uh, with it, which we'll get in a moment's time. 965432. Uh, it's a great price. You're saving £53, two hundred and fifty nine pounds and ninety two pence there you go there's the mat uh, so yes excellent value for money it really really is have a look at the the reviews online see what other people are thinking to that easy press and you know what you can use it with your Cricut but you might use it for your regular ironing if you want to um, but it does make a difference it really really does uh, if you do want to get a hold of that remember if you are going for the whole kit and caboodle if you're thinking right this is it I'm going to change things now uh, I'm maybe going to use this for business, you can pay for everything on FlexiBuy because your maker is available on FlexiBuy, your Easy Press is available on FlexiBuy, and so is your Cricut Joy as well. And that means that anything else you add to your basket will also be divisible by your FlexiBuy. Right, Kathy, what are we going to do first? Shall we get crafting? Yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to show you um, the cards. So you get a set of cards in the bundle. And this is with the Joy we're starting with. This is with, with the Joy we're starting with, yep. So the first thing to do is to pop the card onto the mat and we take away this, this um, cover sheet that's on there um, and this gives us, like a traditional Cricut mat, it's got the sticky and this is going to hold the card in place. Okay. But unlike a traditional mat, it's actually got kind of two layers so that we can pop the card blank, pre-scored, which Ooh. comes in the pack. Yeah. Pop that straight inside and attach it line it up there's a, a guide there to help you and then really give it a good rub to make sure it's all that's in good. place Isn't that handy? The okay. things you think about i think it's fabulous <laughs> we're very proud actually of the uh, yeah of you should mat. be definitely um, so if i take you through now how to actually choose a design and we'll get ready to go um, so within design space uh, there are um, like i talked about 130,000 separate images to choose from but there are also these um projects that are kind of ready to make projects so they're yep. like a tutorial to talk you through so either if you're just starting out they're a great way to learn how to use the machines um, or if you're stuck for inspiration or you're crafting in a rush then you yes. just have that ready to go and you haven't got to do the design element. So if you wanted to make some cards I'm just going to grab yeah. a couple of these for you from the back just to take you through. Um, these sorry I'm just <laughs> ruining the okay. display back there um, but these are cards um, with your dies your dies are fantastic, of course they are, and it gives you a chance to batch make. But this is going to give you different designs that you can actually use and create for different occasions. I mean, how lovely is that? You might have a die that says to the happy couple, but you don't have a die that's got those flowers. Now you can build and make it together. Of course, it's not just for card making, but this gives you a chance to see how you can make lovely, gorgeous, bespoke cards for your customers, yeah, you can have customers and they can ask you for certain designs and you can put them together. Love the colours that have been used in here. You could start your Christmas um, card making quite early. Isn't that a pretty card there? And then I love that one as well. Uh, but you can see with that dog bowl behind me, it's not just about making cards. You could also add your names to different areas as well. Absolutely. Uh, and there's good old Alfie with his pot just there. I just wanted to show you some of the cards. Um, because we'll take you through the designs uh, in a moment's time. So thank you, Kathy, for that. That's okay. So um, they're all bundled um, within Design Space, the tutorials, to make it easy for you to find the one that you want. Um, so if I go into Creative Cards, for example, that will then bring up some cards to choose from. And there are Christmas cards in there already. We're actually finding that, um, given that some of us uh, have a little bit more time to craft at the moment, that perhaps getting ahead with your festive yes, crafts yeah, you is could. a good thing to yeah. do. So I'm going to do this hero card. 
So I've connected to Joy via Bluetooth. Okay. I'm running off a laptop, but I can actually run off an iPhone or an iPad or an Android device as well. Yeah. So it works with Windows and it works yep, with Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you just need to Super. download the app. Yep. Um, and it's now asking me, I get to a screen now where it tells me um, what the design is going to look like when it's actually on the mat. Um, and straight away, this is defaulted to the card mat because I've chosen a card design, but okay. I could override that if I wanted to. Um, I'm just going to connect. I've got quite a few machines. Well, you know, the be beauty of this, it does give you the choice for different card settings, because that makes a difference yeah. with the blade and the cutting, so you yeah. get it perfect each and every time, depending on the weight of the card. Absolutely, and the great thing about Joy is, so straight away, it knows I'm using Joy because I've set that as my machine, and it's given me the most popular... Um, materials for this machine so again it's it's taken a step away from me i haven't got to go and search i can if i wanted yeah. to if i had a different kind of material on here but just straight away with ease i can go insert card stock which is what we're using the insert cards and then the little um light on the top of the machine will flash to tell me it's ready to take the card and that's all i've done and that's it, it you just pop it under the guides and it just takes it through no problem now you do get um, your insert cards uh, for you to make so that when you get the Joy Home, you've got a project to start with instantly uh, and you get 12 of those. So they are included in some really nice colours which are there, so that's what we're yeah, using at the moment. Yeah, and there's some available, some different colours available separately as well, so okay. I would suggest getting a collection because actually, yeah. um, they all, if you see the packaging actually, it's really helpful because it gives you a, um, on the front all the colours yes. and then when you're storing them, you can straight away see in the, the top all of the colours. Ah. Yeah, that's a great um, idea. And then on the back as well. But you can mix and match if you get a couple of different sets. So yeah. you could use the, so these ones have got actually holographic inside. So okay. that's my insert card and I'll show you how that works in a okay. minute. But the other thing that you can do as well, because you've got that unique mat, is you could actually write on your envelopes as well. So yeah, that's a good idea. These are designs that were done with the pen or actually pop the person. My handwriting is terrible, so that's a, that's great for me to be able to pop people's names or to write on the inside of the card yeah, as well. Yeah, true. That's brilliant. I love that. Oh, you could create certificates and gift certificates oh, and all everything, kinds of things. Everything. So the first thing it's doing, I actually popped the pen in because it told me to do that within yep. the project. Um, now, a black pen comes with the machine itself, and then there are some um, other ones with the bundle as well, so you've got choice there. And then that's how easy it is to switch out the pen and switch in the blade. Really simple and then we hit go so everything is driven on the app for this yes. machine there are no buttons on here so unlike the maker and the explore where we load in and we feed and we press Got go in. actually on the machine this is all driven by the app so if you had a smartphone imagine smartphone and your Cricut Joy, uh, that's it. You yeah. could work anywhere in your home, because uh, we don't all yeah. have a craft room. I found that out the other day. I've got some cardboard. I just placed it on the dining table, about two or three layers thick, some bit of a messy painter, and I started crafting. Yeah. So there are different areas in your home that perhaps you're looking at thinking, that's going to be my workstation, and this would fit perfectly within yeah. that scenario. Yeah, most of the time I'm using Joy at home, I am using my phone or iPad, because yeah. I just don't need to get everything out, because it's so easy, and especially with the smart materials, which doesn't even need a mat. I've, yeah. You know, I've got my material, I've got my joy, I'm ready to go. Yeah. If you want to make um, t-shirts or jumpers, I mean, you've got the jumper yeah. on there, which is really nice, a sweater with the three images. You can do things like that because it can cut in a continuous cut. That's it. It cuts um, up to 20 foot, some of our largest rolls. Wow. Um, and, as, I mean, you could also do it in two batches as well, so you could have... You know, could have a much bigger design because you've got, do you know, you, you run it off idea. long, but yeah. then you cut it down so that you, when you apply your heat, you apply in two to yeah. go so there are lots and lots of different ways of using it you're not limited because of it being a small machine i'm going to grab another sample because i do you know with your coffee and your tea um and you reach for it every day and there's your coffee there's your tea and sometimes you just want to change the kitchen up a little bit oh catherine's changing her kitchen up she's amazing uh so maybe something like this would be perfect for catherine to accessorize in her new kitchen um and all you do is simply get your tins uh, maybe you've got something like this, or your jam jars, yeah. uh, or your jam jars, as I'm calling them now, with the projects I'm doing. <laughs> um, you can cut something out like this, and it just yeah. changes it completely, and almost makes the ordinary extraordinary. I mean, I've just that says nothing, does it, Janice? No, let's move it now. <laughs> but isn't that the only side that there wasn't something on? Yeah, I love that. I think that is brilliant. If you think about buying something like this from a designer shop. Oh, you can buy a fortune. Just goes up. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now you're just making your own. You're making your own gifts as well, which again is yeah. really brilliant. Definitely. Yep, yeah, your own gifts, your own stuff. To, I mean, um, 
helping with the kids as well this is a great machine for them to learn a good idea. how to um, you know start with the design it actually comes out of the machine and then they get to apply it to their project yeah. as well so they get that massive sense that we all get when we're crafting of achievement when we yeah. see what we've made well it's a professional finish isn't it, it when is. you look back at what you've made it's professional it's been cut out to precision yes. and you've used software that it comes with uh, to make and create those designs so here's the question can we make and sell yes you can perfect yes can I use say I'm an artist and I've got my own design yes can we use that you absolutely can can I show you an example yeah of that? Please, please so um, you can upload your own images mm hmm um, this was a ready-made um, project that has oh, wow. it's a teacher's gift yes and then I actually got my son who's um, he doesn't love writing all that much. Um, I actually got him to write with a marker pen on a piece of paper. Yeah. And then I took a photograph of that just with my iPhone. I bought it into Design Space, as uploaded it as an image, got rid of the white space around the outside with just one click. Yes. And then I've cut that out in permanent vinyl, and every teacher had one of these with his name, his actual oh, handwriting oh, on. Oh, that's maybe goosebumps yeah. now. Isn't so if you're amazing? an artist, absolutely upload your own images. Yeah. yeah. I imagine for, the gr for, for, for Gran and, and Granddad or Mum and Dad, you know, when the kids come back from school and they've done their first drawings, for example, yeah. you want to keep them, don't you? You do. And oddly enough, they're very trendy. When yeah. you start to print them out on items like that, they actually look really good. That's right. So now I'm just going to use the little tool to help me take this off the mat, and you'll see how easy it's come in off the card mat. And then what's great about this, as all crafters will straight away what's going through your mind you've got some negative spaces on there yeah. that you could absolutely use on another project those stars pop them on the envelope Brilliant. I mean I'm not going to waste any of those um, just check that all those ones have come out and then this is the simplest way now to finish off your cards you've got these corner card slots you take the insert card we've got two there you take the insert card and you pop it into those corner slots Perfect. And that's it, card done. Oh, and that's and that it's, it's professional, it's something different. You've used the design that you've chosen. And as Cathy says, there is that fantastic card, but you've also got yeah. your waste. I don't like calling it your waste. Negative your, spaces. Your negative space, <laughs> yeah. Your extras right there to use. So it's, it's a two in one, really, isn't it? Love that. Uh, if you do want to get a hold of the jewel, your details are on the screen now, 640422. Thanks for that, Catherine. We'll be back with you in yep. a moment's time. Let's have a look at the website because you might be stocking up. Uh, you might be buying for the first time. So this is the place to go. Remember, the deals that we have for you will end at midnight tonight. So the deal we've got at the moment is going to end at midnight tonight. Does Cathy have another show today? Do. We do at 3 o'clock three o'clock so this live show is now we've got another show at three o'clock uh, but the prices will go back up at midnight tonight so we do appreciate you might need to have a chat with somebody because it is a considerable purchase but when you think about the items that you can make when you think about the items you can sell because you have that more professional finish then you can kind of weigh up the scales when it comes to what goes out and what comes in hopefully right let's take a look at the joy this I mean it's a joy to look at isn't it superbly designed absolutely beautiful when you pick this up you will feel that weight to it it's not too heavy but it's that weight that gives you that beautiful design but also the quality that you're getting with your Cricut joy uh, simply close the lid like that or the front and then you could leave it on the side but it's when you open it up that the adventure begins you have got in this particular kit everything you need to take it out of the box and start with your very first project you've got of course the star of the show your best DIY friend you've got your Cricut Joy you've got the bag to put the Joy in so you can take it with you or just keep it safe you've got the mat the easy grip mat that you can use but you don't always have to use that particular mat you've got some uh, cards set up for you to melt make and build your cards you've got your tools in there as well the pens maybe you need to draw something out this is going to draw it for you and you've also got your vinyls as well it's a whole complete package it's a fabulous deal three payments of 89 pounds and 97 pence altogether 269 pounds and 91 pence I hope you all said that at home when I went all together I didn't actually mean it like that but that could be a good way to continue yeah all together now read it on the screen uh, the next thing will be singing it it'll be like a sing-along through the art no it won't be uh, right 
So if you want to get hold of this fabulous uh, Cricut Joy, those are your details. Now, we've got the maker for you. Um, lots of people have been going for the maker, as per usual. We're always busy. It's such a professional machine to have in your craft room. This will do pretty much everything for you. Soft crafts, it will cut out your shapes for your patchworking. Uh, engraving, it will engrave for you as well with the right blades. You do need to get the right blades to do the engraving. Uh, but what it does come with is your rotary blade that will cut through the fabric. But it will give you the opportunity to extend your crafts with the other blades that are available to you. Go and have a look on the website. You've got your scribing blade, you've got your engraving blade in there, your cutting blades. But with this particular deal, you get your rotary blade and you also get your maker. So with your maker, you have got everything again out of the box to start building and creating a project. You have got your mats, all important. They're there for you. Uh, you've got, do you, how many mats do you get? Do you get just the green mat? with your maker or do you get Actually, the in the box itself there's the pink mat for fabrics yes. you and get there's the light grip mat that's but in right. this bundle we've got the standard grip brilliant well. so you've got all your that's all it. your mats available for you with that extra one just there so yes you do get the others included in the box so that is your extra mat that you're getting that's why this is superb value for money you've also got your corrugated card as well let me show you a sample because this is fabulous if I show you this uh, when it's cut out, it's really effective, that, isn't it? And if I turn it to the side, you've got that lovely corrugated look. Love that. That's fantastic. Uh, if you do want to get hold of your maker, £427.42. It's on extended delivery. When are we dispatching everything? On the 2nd of April, so not long to wait. No April fall for you. It's the right decision. £142.47, three payments. So think about the payments going out, but maybe think about the possible payments that could come in if you turn this into a business for you. Right, something else you might want to consider, maybe you've got a maker already, or maybe you're going for the deal today, you're treating yourself, who knows, it might be your birthday. Um, why don't you go for the Easy Press? I do love this. Love the design of it, first of all. Let me just move that out of the way. Ergonomically designed, I've got, I mean, I've got quite big hands, but you can fit, I can fit two of my hands in there. Uh, but easy to lift up, ergonomically designed, the whole of the plate heats up from corner to corner. You can put it back in that safety cradle right there, and you can't get your fingers down. Do keep the young ones away, but you can't really get your fingers down there anyway, so you've got that protective layer. Underneath, you can see it's aerated, so if this is hot, that's fine, it's protecting your surface. You've got the digital controls on there, so you can get it to very high temperatures for the different settings of fabrics and materials. It will sort it all out for you, it's very, very easy to use. Then you're getting your bag to place it in, and you can even put it in here when it's hot. You've got your carry handle and you've got your pockets as well. And this one's got the studs on there, so you can put something a little bit bigger in the back, maybe some of your fabrics or even your tablet computer, which is brilliant. Turn it around that way. You've got your vinyls to start working with, and you've also got your extras of your coasters and you've got your fusible ink as well and what we mean by that on your coasters that are ceramic let me just bring that in and show you there that's not vinyl on top that ink has been fused into the top I think I find it fascinating I really do and you can do this when you get it home because you get everything you need and you've also got the mat as well which was that there last time and I just ignored it no we added it good Good. Uh, right, £86.64, three payments, so you can spread the cost over three months if you want to go for your Easy Press. Have a look at the reviews. Have a look at the reviews for the Easy Press. Uh, so many of you absolutely adore it and say, of course, that it is the right way to print onto your fabrics. I guess you could also use it for an iron if you wanted to. Uh, right, we are now back with Cathy. Uh, I know some of you may have expected to see Emma today, but Emma's yeah. not very well. She's yeah. okay, but she's not very well at home. So get well soon, Emma. Absolutely. Wishing you all the best. Yeah. Right, what are we going to see now? So I'm going to use some of the things that are in the Maker bundle. Okay. Um, and it comes with this um, set of corrugated 
card, which is absolutely fantastic for Easter crafting. The colours are so perfect, but you also get some flat card in oh, here right, as well. Okay. So it's a really good um, paper crafters bundle, yes. as well as obviously you're getting the iron-ons and the um, yes. vinyl in there as well. But I just wanted to do a little Easter project. So if I talk you through design space and how yes, um, we insert images and Love create this. our own designs. So first thing I'm going to do is change the machine from the joy to the maker, because okay. that's what I'm using now. And that's done really easily at the top of the screen, just here. And I'm just going to switch to maker. And I'm then going to go to the images. Now, the keen-eyed Cricut crafters will notice that the image library has changed overnight. Ah, has it? <laughs> yeah, so bear with me as I, <laughs> as I <laughs> did, did you know that was going to happen uh, last I kind of knew it was coming, but, but I didn't did, know it was last right. night. Oh, that's so, fantastic. Um, but that's fine, we'll do it together. So I'm just going to put in Easter egg hunt because that's what I want to um, I suppose any changes they make though Kathy is always to make it easier for the end user that's it. it and it will this absolutely will this is going to allow you to filter more easily it's going yeah. to allow you to find the image you want more easily I just noticed on there as I searched it's very close to 150,000 images now so as that. they've done this they've actually added more no images way. for us as well um, so if you're an experienced cricket crafter go and have a play and find um, well I was just about to say that young boy there he's got a big Easter egg, but it's, it's a basket, isn't it? It's placing the eggs in his I basket. I didn't see, I was looking for my... Uh, uh, so I'm going to resize this now, and I can do that in two ways. I've got my um, uh, buttons at the top where I can actually type in the word, the, the number 12, or I can actually do it here by eye. And actually, it's really good, um, when you send it to the mat, it gives you a really good visual as well to be able to um, see what it looks like in relation to your 12 by 12 mat, so you can get a, a good gauge. When now, is Easter this year? Uh, April the 12th, 12th 13th. April 12th, 13th. Very close to Emma's birthday, actually. Ah. Yes. Lots of chocolate um, eggs for Emma's birthday. Yeah. So I'm going to duplicate this image, um, and then I'm going to actually show you how to contour, because what I want is two layers with this image. Um, so I can hide all the contours, and that takes everything away. So that's a really quick and easy way to get rid of all of the um, lines within the egg. And we've actually got a solid egg here now as well. So I'm going to change that one to a different color, and I'm going to bring that one to the front so that I can visualize on my mat exactly what that's going to look like. Perfect. And then I can go straight to make it. So we can change the size of the designs. You can. Uh, I've just, I've just, I thought that was something stuck on the side of it. I just, I, want, I thought it was like one of those polystyrene balls. Look at little bunny's tail. How sweet is that? And how easy is it to turn something just ordinary again? Yep. It doesn't have to be a bucket. It could be something that you've had one of those lovely desserts out of oh, that definitely. you've got left over at home. That's so sweet. Yeah. Love that. Okay, so I'm going to take my protective sheet off my mat, and I want to keep that. Yep. When I finish my project, that goes back on to protect my mat and make sure it's all nice and safe. And I'm going to now pop the corrugated card onto my mat. Now, it's really useful, actually, if you've got a brayer, to be able to just make sure that it's all adhered, because the better that it sticks to the mat, yes. the better your cut's going I've to be. I've got a question then for you. Yeah. Because it's corrugated, I'm seeing the way that the corrugation... Yeah. The corrugation? Is that a word? <laughs> I've made it up. Uh, it goes from top to bottom. Does it matter? Well, let's see, because yesterday mm. I did it the other way around. Ah, so let's find perfect. out. Let's find out. <laughs> I love it. Now, normally what I would say... Um, uh, is to take it out the way that it comes out of the packaging, but I've already taken this out, so I ah. can't remember which way it came. But usually, the yeah. way it comes out of the packaging is the way it's it goes on the That's a point. Um, so I'm going to select my device. I've actually connected this one via USB this time, just so that it would pop out. I've got seven makers on there, so I just wanted to make sure it was Lucky the easiest lady. one. They're not all mine, oh, okay. they're just ones I've used in the past. <laughs> um, if you've made anything with a maker, or maybe you bought the Cricut Joy and you've made something, we'd love to see it. I'm sure Cathy would love to see what you've been up to. Oh, definitely. Um, please email them in, uh, studio at hochanda.com, or you can leave a message on Facebook. It's always nice to see what people have been doing with their makers. Definitely. Yeah. I, love, I love finding out what people have made. So I just went into browse all materials. So just like the joy, I had a list of popular materials there that I could choose from, which are the ones that we're using the most often. Um, but actually this is a this wasn't on the list. So I've I've typed in corrugated in the search and this has actually got a little um cricket C by the side of it so that I know it's a cricket 
um, material. Yeah. So it's not just cricket materials that are on there. You can use things that you've got in your stash at home. Um, and then it's also got a little um, star by it. So if I wanted to use this material again and again, maybe it was uh, I am running a business and I'm cutting the same thing time and time again, then I can favourite it and it's always there. So I haven't Brilliant. got to go through this system every time. Brilliant. So at every stage, we've tried to make it easy for our crafters yes. um, and make life a little um, faster for them. If you can hear any music in the background currently, it's our um, Tucker Trucker who's turned up. <laughs> oh, um, not yes. this lunch. Oh. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> So now that this button is flashing, it's told me on the screen that it's ready to go and then the button starts flashing and I'm ready to press. It will take it all the way through just to check you haven't got your pot still yeah. behind. That actually is a really good point. <laughs> it, it does go all the way through. It does. So. It just checks it's got the clearance because it doesn't yeah. want to meet anything as it's cutting. Yeah. So it will do that first just to make sure. And it will tell you if it's, it's there's something you know, really blocking it. Yeah. It won't go through and it will pop up as a, a warning Brilliant. on your screen. It's intelligent, isn't it? It really is. Now, whilst that's cutting that out, can I show you this? Because I think this is brilliant. Look at that. Is that one design? So this is, yeah, this is one of Emma's projects that she's made, and that's actually using the mosaic iron on. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I love that. You've got that stretchability to it as well, haven't you? Yeah, it's fabulous. Uh, which isn't is it? great when it's on there. Um, some lovely items. Um, again, a bag. So we're talking soft crafts here because the maker and the Cricket Joy, well, it goes over all crafting styles. Yep. Yeah which is a lovely way of just bringing it all together. Love that. Yeah, you can do that on both machines. Superb. OK, so now this is flashing the arrow button, so that's telling me it's ready to come out. Um, and that just holds it in place, um, and it means that um, you know it's going to go through safely. Yep. So I've turned the mat over because it's a really good idea, especially if you've done what I've done here and popped a whole 12 by 12 sheet onto the mat. I want to protect the sheet to use again. If I was to peel it off this way, it tends to um, warp the material and bend, but by moving my mat, it actually means that this is completely ready to go back into my stash and, and I can it use again. it again. Super. And I'm going to do the same here. And I'm oh also word, going to use. All the way through. Yeah. So I'm also going to use this little tool here. And again, this is because this is my project and I don't want it to warp, I don't want it to bend, I don't want it to rip as it's coming off if I'm a bit heavy handed with it. Perfect. So there we go. And then just take that one off and then pop that on there to protect that in the future. And then we just pop these out and look how easy it's cut through them. And then this is ready to make our little Easter egg hunt. So I'm just going to pop some glue on the top of there. And then these are the ones that I pre-cut out. So as I said, in the corrugated card set, you actually get some flat card as well. Yeah. So you can do um, lots of different projects. Oops. Love that. Can we pop oh, that on there? Wonder, yes, do they, do, do, who are they? Da, da, da. Easter bonnet competitions. Mm. Are they still a thing? Um, well, I think so. When well, yeah, the we did schools, them schools are open. Yeah. 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 So that could be something you could be making and creating. Some Easter bonnets yeah. by cutting out different designs. Yeah, and you can also cut felt and fabrics and things. So you could, um, you know, like we've got the wreath behind us with the paper flowers on or the little um, yeah. headband. You could pop those onto an Easter bonnet, no problem. It's a great investment, I think, for the children as well, for something to craft at home in a professional way and all the different projects that you can create just from the maker as well. Lots of yeah. different things for all kinds of different genres and tastes. Absolutely, definitely. And, and now that we've got the um, advanced search facility, you'll be able to find exactly yeah, what you need um, straight away. So these oh, are our great. little, we've just popped them on a lollipop stick and we've got our little Easter egg um, hunts. And then we can even do this. So you can even actually put vinyl on top of the card. So this yes. is the um, hollow threads that is yes. in the maker bundle. So we can actually have a little And Easter then if there's a certain type of, of chocolate or diet that one of the children requires, it, they can have their own special egg and colour code it in a way. Yeah. Is it lovely? And we talk about Easter egg hunts, and I know that many of us can't get out to large open spaces, might have a garden, or even in the home you can do it as well. Definitely. So it just keeps that interest, doesn't it? Yeah. Which I'm sure we all need at the moment. Uh, right, what a great project. Now, if you are buying anything from us and you are a Freedom member, then you don't have to pay any postage or packaging. You can become a Freedom member at any time and here's our lovely Alex to tell us some more. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery which means the more you spend with us the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. 
Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Here's a great way to buy. Oh my word, the maker. It can do so much for you and quite a few people here at Hachanda own the maker. I know that because we're always asking them, oh, can you make me this? Can you make me that? Uh, but it does take ordinary and make it extraordinary. It really does. With all the different designs that you can download and use from the Cricut design space, you can actually start designing now so that when your Cricut arrives, you're good to go. And you can design on the go as well because you can gain access to it via your smartphones and your tablets. It connects to them and your computers via Bluetooth or via wired connection. Um, it is absolutely remarkable. Can I just, can I, can I please just close it and then open it up? I think that makes it look superb as well. So it looks really nice and very stylish when it's closed but then when it's ready to go you just open it up and there we are you've got your mats included and you've got the extra mat as well you've also got your corrugated cardboard and your vinyl and your tools with your maker it's a great deal and this price will stay this way until midnight tonight as long as we've got the stock for you and it's available on flexi buy as well it's an introduction price uh, saving 50 pounds on this particular package 142 pounds and 47 pence on flexi buy so that means 142 47 today Another amount next month and another amount the following month. If you're a Freedom member, there's no PMP to pay. But if you're not a Freedom member, then your PMP goes on your first payment. It goes on your first payment. And we are dispatching these on the 2nd of April. Uh, right, if you do want to get hold of it, your details on your screen now. But here is your website. This is where you can see all of the different accessories available for you. The extra blades if you need any to do your different crafts. Uh, if you don't have the tool set, maybe you've bought the maker before, but it didn't include the tool set, then you can buy one of those right now. We've also got the Easy Press available to you and the package with the Easy Press as well. And we've got the infusible ink and your um, blanks to put the infusible ink on your coasters. That's the word. I think I toasters, coasters uh, on your coasters. I still find that fascinating, that fusible ink. Right, we're back with Cathy. I can see you got your hands on it. I'm ready. Let's do it. Um, so I'm going to cut a design out using the infusible ink transfer sheets, and this is the one that comes in the Easy Press bundle. You also get within your um, box, you get, so this one's got four different coloured sheets in. You also get this butcher paper, and that's to protect your Easy Press. Butcher paper. I'll talk you through that when we um, come to actually apply the heat. You get a little note that tells you where to go to ask for more information, and it is interactive, so you can ask questions. Um, and then this is a little fabric swatch to do a little practice on, because Aww. we know this is a new concept for yeah, people. Yeah. So you just get that to kind of have a little go and, you know, make, make yourself comfortable with using it. So I've chosen a little bunny design and I'm going to go to make it and I'm going to pop the rainbow design. Oh, that's lovely. Do we have the shells going downwards? I think we do, the mermaid design. So oh, yeah. I'm going to pop it onto the mat 
And again, I'm just going to give it a little roll just to make sure it's all adhered and stuck properly. And then we're going to pop that into the maker. And then we'll, on our screen, drive the machine. We'll connect via USB this time. Now this is an example where straight away infusible ink transfer sheet is there as one of my options to choose but like I said earlier you can um, go through and choose your um, different designs. Now very very helpfully because I've chosen infusible ink transfer sheet it's reminded me that I need to mirror my design oh. and that's because the top of the sheet is going to get turned over yes, onto our finished blank. So I'm going to edit that, click mirror and then we're done. And then we are in and the flashing button is telling us ready to go so that's going to now cut and whilst that's doing that let's get ready to actually do our um get our bag yes now what attracted you to the maker why did you buy your first one just because it can do so much and whatever i feel like doing i'm not restricted i can cut fabrics i can cut chipboard i can make um you know chipboard signs or um maybe toys for the kids out That's of chipboard and things like that or i can um do my vinyl and iron on like i'm you know the crafts that i'm actually used to um to doing so it just it's got it's it's versatility yeah basically I it just that. means that wherever i want to go it will go with me so that's where your crafting mind goes one minute you want to do a bit of soft crafts or maybe you've yeah. never done soft crafts but now you can uh, as a soft crafter maybe you wanted to make cards but you've never done that but now you can so it crosses over all of those crafts and i think it makes you makes your imagination just spread even further yeah and i think it's kind of um a machine for the future you don't know what crafts you're going to want to do further down the line and it just means that you've got yeah. those options and with the extra blades that come in like the knife blade and the engraving tool and things like that you've just got more choice now what blades does the Cricut uh, maker come with the maker comes with your fine point blade which is great for things like your iron on your vinyl your infusible ink and things like that and then it also comes with the rotary blade which is specifically for your fabrics lovely and it will tell you at the point at which you go to make the project so just like with infusible ink it reminded me i needed to mirror if you're um, if you've chosen cotton it will straight away say have you got your rotary blade in and then it will tell you if you haven't and you put it in there. i'm just going to get a drink while you're um, putting this together so i'm just going to crack this which means that all of the lines that i've cut i just want to take the backing sheet away from that and then I'm just going to grab one section and tear it, tear it away. Perfect. And you can see how cleanly it's cut that I'm not having to kind of guide this really. I'm just being is, careful that I don't this is um, one of those be times, too heavy handed. Yeah, sorry. This is one of those times it's amazing actually because when it cuts out you can't see it but when you start yeah. to peel it away it reveals such a precise design. That's right. Uh, it's amazing every time you do it. Well, this actually the reveal on infusible ink is one of the best things um, I got shown this um, by my colleagues in the offices in America yeah and um, I mean as a crafter I couldn't contain my excitement <laughs> I was so happy so we've okay. cut something out it's not the actual vinyl that's going to go onto the bag it's the print from the ink that's it so this is a carrier sheet and yeah. it's actually got a little bit of tack to it so okay. it's going to stay in place yes please um, I'm going to keep that away from the easy press I don't want any heat getting near that for the time being I'm now going to just lint roller and this gets rid of any um, little bits of dust or debris because I'm going to apply such a high heat now yeah. if there are little bits of dust on there those can sometimes react with the heat so this is just a fail safe way so to make does sure this that mean Kathy that we can't really use a regular iron for no. this particular no you just won't press. get the results it's got to be hot enough right. yeah and that's where the easy press comes in yeah so what I've done is I've just popped a piece of card thick card in between the yep. bag because I don't want the ink to seep through onto the other side and yep. perhaps I could put a different design on the other side and that's also protecting um, the, the mat now the mat is designed to keep my table cool so if even if I was doing it on my vintage table at home if I yep. had a vintage table it <laughs> would keep that safe yes. this is going to stay cold on this side and it's got all the layers in that mean the heat's going to come up right. and also you want to do it on a really stable surface so don't do it on um, you know a fold out table or something like that especially with infusible ink because you need an even heat so I tend to um, use the floor actually sometimes hmm. 
here. Okay, so could you pass me the little bit of butcher yes, paper? paper so all this does is it just acts as a barrier to stop any of the ink coming onto my easy press um, plate. Right. Because if I was to do another project, because it, it is a live ink, you've got yes. to treat it as if it's an ink. Um, so it turns from a solid to a gas when we apply the high heat. So hopefully I've got enough cord to go on here. Could now, we use the vinyl that you're using at the moment on like a, a ceramic tile or something? Or is this just for fabric? Um, so this infusible ink will work on the um, ceramic blanks that we've got um, in the bundle. Um, we we know that you're going to get the best results if you use the, the blanks. And if you have a yes. look on the website, there's lots of different... We've got the T-shirts, we've got the um, coasters, we've got the bags, which is what I'm using now. Oh, excellent. Um, and that's... They've all been tested so that you know that you get the best results and the most vibrant finish. Super. I've set my easy press to the perfect temperature and the perfect time yep. because that's what... Um, uh, to get the, the best results sure. um, and it will beep when I'm done so I'm just going to take that off now now this will be a little bit warm so I'm going to be very very careful I should probably use some tweezers here but look oh my how goodness. all the ink has disappeared from the paper and it's all gone into the fabric and there's no I mean straight away there's no it's not going to run and it's it's in the Could design. We wash that afterwards? You can wash that absolutely. Really? Yep. No That's problem. That's amazing. And it lasts for the life of whatever it is that you've put it on, whether it's your t-shirt, your coaster your bag I can't but that is amazing that is amazing that's like proper professional that is printing. professional results like proper sending it off and get it proper done well now um, you can do it yourself but now you can do it at home proper <laughs> that is I love that that yeah. is absolutely fantastic and how quick and easy as well like yeah you're right we've just done that in what 10 minutes look at your hands start no inky nothing, hands nothing on my no hands. inky hands no. that is brilliant that really really is oh you need some of that you need some of that in your life uh 259 pounds and 92 pence if you want to go for the easy press bundle there it is and you also get uh, the mat with that the tote bag uh, you also get the iron-on infusible ink and you get the transfer sheets the for the um, infusible ink that is amazing that's took my breath away I like that <laughs> Wow um, and that says a lot it really does that is incredible uh, right uh, we are here with the lovely Kathy from Cricket we do have another show today at three o'clock well Kathy does um, and we will be featuring the same However, it all depends on the stock level, so have a, a think about it. If you need in between the shows to have a chat, then do that as well, because it can be a considerable purchase. It can be a considerable purchase, you know. Um the joy obviously is a little bit um, more accessible um, price point wise and, and we put the bundles together that mean you get the absolute best value so um, that's always something to think about yeah, as well. Yeah it certainly is. It's a great, I say it's a great little bundle but it is, it's a little, um, but this is going to give you big joy. It's, it's, it's a Absolutely. little cricket but it's going to give you huge amounts of joy and don't be fooled by the size because you're still going to be able to do those great designs and tasks. You absolutely are. Really long projects. So think about birthday banners. You know, it will yeah. cut happy birthday. You could cut up to 20 feet of happy birthday and have it going all the way around the room. Wow. Um, and because it comes on a mat, yes. um, so you don't need to, to, to add it onto another mat like we were doing with the maker earlier, you can just leave it on that backing sheet and straight away pop your banner up and you're good to go. Within minutes you've got your party decor. Isn't that fantastic? It really is. And it's more than that. You can do so many different uh, soft crafts with this cutting out your different shapes yep. for your patchworking from card making to soft crafts to your mixed media styles it's all there for you yep. 269 pounds and 91 pence saving 11 pounds 640422 but you can buy that on flexi buy yep. now we've also got the maker for you uh, the professional maker the, the cricket joy is still professional it don't is get still me wrong yeah but i think if you if you mean business you want to go into business um this certainly is the one to go for yeah and it just cuts much you know many more materials actually as well because you've got that adaptive tool system so you can pop a knife blade in there you can pop a deep point blade in there the joy actually only comes with the one blade yep. and the one um, pen actually in the machine and then you can purchase other thicknesses of pens yes. so if you were cutting fabrics on there you'd bond your fabric and just yep. pop it on a mat because the blade that you've got in there is like a pair of scissors oh, whereas right. in the maker you get a rotary blade oh, and it's that means that you can cut fabrics really easily straight out of your stash yep. and, and hundreds of thicknesses so right from the thinnest kind of voil fabrics and um, chiffons right through to tooling leather with the knife blade oh my so God. Um, such a, a range 
There really is. And you get the whole kit and caboodle to get you started when you get this home, including uh, your mats that you get included with the maker and your extra green mat. And you've also got your corrugated card and you've also got your vinyl. We're rapidly running out of time. I don't know where it goes. Uh, Hopefully, one day, Cricket will come up with a maker to make more time. Who knows? <laughs> oh, that would be good, I will it? cut out an extra 15 minutes for you, but we can't, so we're coming up to the end of the show. Thanks, Cathy. It's, it's been, been a joy. It's been a pleasure. Thank um, you. Cathy's back at 3 o'clock today. Emma, if you're watching, get well, well soon. Uh, the prices will be going back up at midnight tonight, so make your choices and make them wisely. Thank you for your company. Uh, go and grab yourself a cup of tea. We've got more coming up. Thanks, Cathy. Thank you. Right, yes, well, we've just had Be Creative Best with Cricket, but coming up next, we've got Kiritaki, and then Fabric Freedom Steampunk One Day Special continues at 1 o'clock today. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Tachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or, if you pre-order your kit, you will receive £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along brand shop that month. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Don't need that for a while. <laughs> so, pop the lantern down. How are you, one? How are you all? Yes, indeed. I'm not alone, as you can see. I'm just by the windows, getting a little bit of natural light that was here. Uh, Helen's here as well. How are you, Helen, my love? I'm fine. Are you I'm, good? Yeah, I'm still coughing after four weeks. But I think you've still got this chest infection. I have, yeah. yeah. It's nothing sinister, it just belongs to me. So don't you worry, <laughs> it's not a problem. We'll get through. Now, Kiritaki. You've not seen them around for a while. They've not been in mainstream for a few years now. You're loving these already. Um, we're going to kick straight off, though. We're going to start with a demonstration. We're also going to start with an embossed twin tips. Now, the details are on the screen. You're getting four pens, and each one is tipped either end. Go on, then, and I'm going to hand it over to you. What are we up to? Wow. These are a fantastic set of four embossing pens because you actually get eight tips on them different ones on each of the four pens. So I made this just to really show you the difference between them. So one of the pens gives you this fantastic scroll. Um, I don't think you can quite see on the screen, but it's got two lines. So every time you write, you get um, two lines instead of one. Oh yeah. If I hold it about there. That's, there we go. There we go. Obviously I've used embossing powders that shine, so you just ping off the lights a little bit. So there's the scroll. 
Then we have the brush, and that is on the same pen. So one end is the brush, the other end is the scroll. Then we have the fine and the chisel, which give you a different style of writing there. This one is really great for adding just like little numbers or little letters or little yeah. words to your cards. Then we've got the calligraphy one down here. So we've got the wider calligraphy and the more narrow calligraphy. Then we've got the writer pen. The writer is like a bullet tip, and we have a large and a small. So you can see in that pack, you get lots of different types of writing, lots of different fonts that you can create, depending on which one you grab um, to add some detail. Now, I use these all the time on lots of different surfaces. They even work really well on the wood. Um, if you're using MDF shapes and pieces like that and you want to add some detail or some sparkle, you can add your embossing powder that way. Um, we're going to just write with it just to show you how easy they are to use. They're a bit like um, your Versamarks where it's a sticky wet ink that any embossing powder will stick to. Uh, let's go for the brush. Now I happen to know that Adam's daughter is called Molly so I think after nursery she will really really love to have something with her name on. I'm not the best at calligraphy but these pens are so easy to use um, you'll still be able to create something really great. So let's use the brush here and let's do Molly. So this is like your Versa Claire, as it were, your Versa Mark, you know. Versa Mark, yes. Versa Mark. So, so it's just sticky ink. You can, you can kind of see it leaving yeah. the wet trail there. But it's when the, we add the embossing powder that really will come into its own. Let's add some silver. Uh, we've got the embossing powders on the show as well. It's a pick and mix. You can pick any four. There's five to choose from. These are fabulous. They're really ultra fine, so they're going to pick up all the detail. Now, the reason I use these pens a lot is if I, I haven't actually used um, an anti-static pad first, which is very silly, but I couldn't find it before I left today. Everything's in uproar, isn't it, at the moment? Oh, it's in uproar. Even my craft room. But when oh, we heat this up, you'll be able to see um, the word Molly. I'm also doing it on a uh, watercolour card, which has a texture to it, but... Uh, we just wanted to show you how well these pens work more than anything. Give it a good heat. We have got the heat guns on the show as well today, these lovely purple ones. We have indeed. Sweet uh, shop Dixie. ahead on the website. We've also got the uh, inks on the show, the paints on the show as well. 36 colours is what we've got. Uh, there's so much on here. You may have seen Anna Lou using some of these colours as well. As I've said, this is the first airing in theory uh, in a few years. These have not been on uh, mainstream television for a while. Okay, so there's not been on shopping telly for a while, so this could be your first opportunity to pick up your Keritaki pens, to pick up your, your colours that we've also got on the show, and these markers as well that we're looking at. Now, it says four-piece pen set. In fact, it is four pens, but they've double-ended. So your double-end pens that you've got here, uh, there is so much. You've got your chisel in there, you've got your brush, you've got your fine tip in there as well. You've got your calligraphy also in there you've also got your writer in there and your scroll if i take the lid off that one so there is the pen and then i will still take the same one but i'll just turn it around so it's exactly the same there is that chisel can you see that i don't know if you can see that there you go look so that is your scroll tool that we're talking about there now as well uh, absolutely beautiful is what they are, £9.99. Uh, they remind me, I said before we came on there, they remind me a bit like a quickie glue pen, but they're not a quickie glue pen, they're precise, they're not a quickie glue pen, but this is for your embossing. So all those little bits of emboss that you want to do, maybe a touch up a flower, maybe you just want to emboss a small amount and you haven't got, you can't get that big marker that's already in there. Look at this. So there's Molly. In fact, let's just put the scroll on the other side with a little bit of gold just to show you how the scroll works. The reason I love these is when I've made a batch of cards and I've got someone coming to visit and I think, oh my goodness, it's her birthday tomorrow and I've forgotten, I can just whip out an embossing pen, write the name on or auntie or the date or something like that, 61 or however old they are, and it's just a very quick way of being able to personalise. So you can see with that scroll it gives you two um, marks at the same time, a fatter one and a thinner one. Let's just put a little bit of gold on there, and then you really will be able to see it when it heats up. Let's pop that back in there, because I am a very messy crafter. And we'll just heat up that scroll. So it depends on what font you want, and what look you want, these will work. They, like I said, they also work on MDF and things like that. They're great for journaling. If you, if you want to add just a little touch of sparkle to your finished product, 
you know they'll work over the top of things and then you can add your embossing powder obviously when everything else is dry underneath and then you can add that little touch of whichever embossing powder you've got it will stick to it there we go you can see those two lines coming through and I'll just hold that up for you now just to show you how that looks pop that up for you there so there we go there's my Ooh, we're both holding up card hey I feel like I, I feel like I've been in prison so oh, you can see look there. At that. I mean, that's a lot of embossing there. That's why it took me so long to heat it up. But I'm sure that Molly will love it when she uh, she, she comes will, back from there. So I'm on the way to pick her up straight, <laughs> up, straight after this hour at uh, two o'clock. Uh, but these are the pens that you're getting in here as well. So you're getting your fine in there. You're getting your chiselled in there. You're getting your two sizes of calligraphy as well. You're also getting your scroll in there, your brush, and you're also getting your writer as well. Everything that you see, you are getting. Uh, you've got the chip. You've got the different tips in there as well. Uh, Double-ended is what we're talking as well, and all of these for nine pounds and ninety-nine pence is what we're talking about for these. One nine nine eight two one is your item number. Now embossing powders. If you're going for the pens, you might want to go for the embossing powders as well. It's a pick and mix of any four. You've got crystal clear, glacier white, midnight black, mirror gold. And silver, silver dollar is what we're talking about on this as well. Uh, pick any four is what we're looking at on these. Um, there's only five to choose from. If the hardest one is what you're going to leave out of your basket on this now. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Eight four 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 seven is a lot of fours in that number. Eight four 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 seven is your item number at nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Uh, but let's get in to the real deal. The bits that you haven't seen for a while. You haven't seen these. Oh my word. 36 colour sets is what you're getting here for £56.99. Um, I'm going to hand this straight over. Two flexible papers, <laughs> £28.50, because there is so much info that we can cram in just on these watercolours alone. There they're, is. Not, they're not just watercolours, are they? They're better than watercolours. They're not just any watercolour. No. Oh, they no. really aren't. Um, they are watercolours of the highest beauty, which is what Ganzai means. Um, the Japanese people actually um, grade their beauty on their makeup and their aesthetics and their colours and this is what has been graded as one of the highest. Um, although they are watercolours, they are more, they dry sometimes a bit like gouache, so they have a sheen to them. They will work on dark card as well as light card. They will give you such a high pigment that if you start off with just a small amount and add a lot of water, you can get from ve very dark to very light very easily. You also get the metallics in there as well. Look at that. So that lid that you just saw with all the colours in, that's Helen's lid. So I, it's rather I, messy. I, I, <laughs> well, no, this one that you see, because your one will come blank, which is an amazing show. And they go in the same colour order as the paints, as the, as the watercolours that are there as well. So you just put a little swatch in. So you've got your reds in there. You've got um, your scarlets in there as well. So you literally just go down the list and put each colour, as you see them on the board, down like a little swatch. Because then when you've done, you know what they will, that, what they will come out like. But these are so good that they don't just go on white, do they? These will go across the board, so across your mediums and across your colour papers yes, as well. Yes, they certainly will. Um, there's not many watercolours you would dare to use on a piece of black card. Um, but these will work on black as well as on white. I did a very quick example. This is amazing. Yeah, I actually used the embossing pens. And I literally drew um, some hearts across the top there. We'll try and do this if we can a bit later on because I do love the rainbow. Uh, and I used exactly the same colours there, but I did it on the black. So you can see, you can see those colours. I could have gone back in and added a bit more to be fair, but I, I haven't. But just to show you how you can see those colours, you can see it better, e even more better in real life as well. But look at the vibrancy um, of those colours, the rainbows there. That's just, I think there's about seven or eight, nine colours there, nine I think. Um, and I literally just splodged a little bit at the top 
and I just used a water sprayer and let it them. flow. So you can see how vibrant they are. They are, and look at the amount of colours that you're getting. As I said, 36 colours in total. We're talking about a rich, intense colour. Uh, professional pigment inks is what we're talking about here. Shows perfectly on dark card as well, and your dark paper. We've also got that on the show. We'll mention that when we go to demo later. Uh, and you are getting all these colours, 36 colours for £28.50 today across two flexible payments. That's £1.58 per colour is what we're looking at there. Absolutely amazing. You're getting so much, you're getting so much value for money with these. They're going to last you an awful long time as well because of those water, we keep referring to them as watercolours, but we said they're better than watercolours. Uh, but you can reactivate them as well. So when I say reactivate, are these the ones that you can create your own palette? Yes. Let them dry naturally. And add some more water. Add water and they'll reactivate. Definitely. And although oh, okay. it's 36 colours, if you imagine mixing every one with each other, yes. how actually many colours you could get. Because mm. you've got, you could probably make a thousand different colours. From them. And also go. you can make them from the darkest of that colour all the way through to the lightest. You also get the black and the white in there so you can make them as pastel as you like as well. And along the bottom you've also got a pearl, um, a silver and a gold. Everything you need right then. The details on your screen now are for like a, the little packs. Now these, <laughs> uh, 891215 is your item number, £17.99. There's three different colour options you can choose from. The top row is starry. So these have got all your golds and these are your metallic colours that we're talking about. So these are your starry. Uh, the ones in the middle are your gem. Okay, because they've got like your your rich reds in there and sort of like your gemstone colours that we're talking about. And then the ones on the bottom, I am going to lean, uh, just to get rid of that flare, is your pearl that you've got in there as well. Look at those for colours. Seventeen ninety nine. Now you pick you pick which option you want. There's three options to choose from. Okay, so you got the gem colours, uh, you have got the pearl, or you got the starry. Starry on the top. Uh, Eight nine one two one five is your item number. <laughs> Seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence. Right then, D tell me everything you know. Well, I'm let me show these. you the difference between them. Okay. Um, the top one is starry. Uh, this is starry. Starry works really, really well on black, as you can oh, see. Word. It's got five different coloured, um, is it five or six? Gone mad. Might be six. 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 Six different coloured golds and silvers and white golds and bronzes and coppers and you can see how that absolutely is gorgeous on black card. That People buy that one on its own just to use on its own because it is just so amazing. I will try and show you that just on a piece of black card a bit that later on. St I, was, I was in awe. That. I was like, <laughs> it looked, and everyone said it in the gallery as well, it's a bit like gold leaf. Yes, and like, like it you is. Get, you know, get your gold sharpie pens and stuff like that. Other pens are available. Um, but you've just gone in with those. You wouldn't think you'd get that from these rich pigments. It's a watercolour. You just don't get you things don't like that from a watercolour. Now this one is the gem colours. Obviously I've done it on gems just to show you. <laughs> and gem colours is your metallic. So you've oh, got then. metallic purple, green, blue, gold, red. Which one did I miss out? Green. Was it green? <laughs> Red, purple, gold, green, blue. I did blue, it in the wrong order. Um, but you can see that those, again, work perfectly on black card and really show off. We're going to use those in a demo a little bit later on. Um, so you'll be able to see those wet and see how beautiful those are. And then Ooh. the final one is the pearl. Now, this is not been made with the pearl colours. And the pearl colours work best on white. This is watercolour card that I've used behind that sentiment there. And you can see those are pearly and pastely. Um, they're lovely. They're they really, are. they're very spring-like. The colours, um, and they're all totally different. These three sets. But like you've done there, though, just using just using them for a background. Spritz them down, rub them down, spritz them, use them, put your sensors on top. Boss, you're done. You've yeah. got an instant card straight away. But if you want the detail, if you want the finesse that they've got with them as well, because those those rich pigments that you're talking up there, those rich pigments will really enhance some of your images as well. Uh, maybe go for the large set. That's on flexible payments. Pop one of these in your baskets. This will also then be put onto flexible payments as well. Depending on your budget, it's entirely up to you. Eight nine one two one five is your item number. Uh, everything is on the website as well well for you. Uh, heat resistant acetate. I've never seen this before and I'm hoping we get to it this hour. Uh, £9.99 plus your premium quality smooth white card in there as well. Uh, we've also got stamps on the show, fairy stamps on the show as well is what we've got. Heat guns. If you've never crafted before, this is one of those shows. If you're going to, if you only want 
and, and I don't mean this in the wrong way, the best of the best, as it were, the creme de la creme. You've not seen these on TV for nearly two years. They've not been on shopping telly for. Uh, we've bought them back as well. Uh, £56.99 pence those 36 colour sets or you've got the pigments of six colour sets in there as well for £17.99 and you've also got your embossing pens as well. I know, embossing pens go for your pick and mix powders, you've got everything you need. Uh, right then, I'll be, I'll be about. You'll be about. I'll linger. You just, you just linger over there. That's what I do. Um, the powders are a fantastic price. Yeah, I've never seen anything so cheap as that for uh, embossed powders. Um, now, Ganzai Tambi, I actually uh, had the pleasure of seeing these made over in Japan. And they're unlike a watercolour even more so because when they grind down the pigments to make these, pal these um, palettes, they grind them down, I think it's three or four times, which is n way more than a normal watercolour, which gives you such a fine pigment within the paints, which is why you get such beautiful detail. Now, the gold palette, um, let me just show you starry colours whilst we're talking about the actual pigments. These are used by calligraphers all over the world. Um, again, messy palette. Don't put it back when it's wet, which is what oh, causes okay. your, uh, your palette to get messy like mine. Um, these are ground so fine that they use them in a dip pen. So they will literally add a bit of water, pop it on their dip pen, and then they will calligraphy with it. Um, no. Kuritaki works very closely with um, a calligrapher called Paul Antonio, um, based in London, who does all the calligraphy the, for the Queen. Um, so if you have a birth, death or marriage, he's the guy that goes and writes in the Bible, in the cathedral. Fantastic calligrapher and he swears by um, those gold pigments. So let's show you the actual palette. Mine is messy. Now I was offered a brand new palette to do this um, show, but why would I want to? I love my palette. It's well used, well loved. And I've had this one probably for about four years now. And you can see that I still have all my colours intact. Oh, I would have said yes and kept it under the bed. Oh, uh, no. I love, I love my used one. Um, I'm frightened to get me some, a new one messy. Um, now, I've stamped some flowers on some watercolour card. We have got it on today's show. Um, and I've embossed it using that nice gold powder there because it's great for when you're watercolouring because you can stay within the lines a lot easier. Um, with watercolours, you do need to kind of activate them. So I'm going to add um, a little bit of water, I'm just squeezing it. Now, these water brushes that we have on the show, they have a valve in them. They're not just like a paintbrush. The water doesn't drip out. It will not come out unless I actually squeeze it. Um, like so, I'm going to squeeze it now. They will discolour the tips slightly. I've got a bit of green left on mine, but that doesn't matter. Um, the tips will colour because of the, the way that they're made. The pigments are so high that it will discolour your tips of your brushes, but it doesn't change them. It doesn't stop them from working absolutely brilliantly. So I've just added a little bit of water on there, probably a little bit too much. And we're going to go in, I think, with... Let's start with this lovely pink colour. Does a little go a long way? A really long way. Okay. And although I've added water to my palette, this will dry off, then I'll put it back, the lid back on, and it will go back until I reactivate it again. So you don't need to worry. If you add a little bit too much water, you can always dip um, some towel in there and remove the water. You can't really go wrong with them. So because I've already added water, you can see that I haven't really got to do a lot. The paint is doing its own thing. And we're just going to add the light colour around those tips where the sun would catch those petals. It's a fabulous, uh, a nice open flower to be doing this. There's lots of them available. So we have got the water pens on the show as well, as Helen said. We've also... Um, well, I, was, I, got, I got engrossed and into this flower that you were painting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've also got the watercolour paper on the show as well. Bottom of the screen at the moment, £9.99. 604564 is your item number. Um, is this the paper that you were telling me about just before we come on there that's together as a pad? Yes, um, these are artist quality watercolours uh, papers and they come as a pad. Um, they're all stuck together, but don't let that worry you. It means that you can work on the top of the pad should you so wish, and then when you've created and you've finished, because it, it's all stuck together so it doesn't warp. Yeah, it's So amazing. you really can create, um, and then when you've finished, you just take a blade down the side. You can see there's a little opening there. Um, you take the blade down the side, and then you can make those papers go become individual. Oh, yeah, there is. So, I don't, know, I don't know if you can see. If I show you this side, let me get rid of the black. It might, I don't know if it might, might be easier on the black. Uh, can you see a sheen on the side of the paper? So there's a glue all the way there, then the glue stops, 
then you've got the glue again. This is where you put your knife so you can tear so you can tear off each sheet. On this side, it's glue all the way across. You can choose between the white or the black. It's entirely up to you. They both work in the same way. Uh, so there's the little gap. Oh, oh it's easier on the black. Uh, there's the gap. Look, just there. I've lined them both up. So there's your gap that we're talking about. Pop your knife in, um, or, a, or a, a flat instrument that you can take the paper off and you can take them off. They are rock. They're going nowhere. They look and feel like chipboard, like grey board. They do. They feel like um, not not even a canvas. You know, like a canvas board. Yeah. So you can really, really nothing. add They're loads amazing. of media to them, loads of water to them, and then once you've dried it, you can then take them apart. It's a great surface. You know, sometimes when you're working on stuff, it starts bowing halfway through. Makes it much more difficult to work with. Um, I've just added some water to this gold, and you really need to see the gold close up um, when I add it to the, this wet paint. And I'm going to add it just to, I'll wait till you're in focus, and I'm going to add it just to these tips, and it's going to just catch the light. If you're changing colours or you're frightened of contaminating your paint, just wipe it on a bit of tissue or kitchen roll. Um, if you can get hold of it <laughs> these days, just <laughs> on those tips there, and that will, when you see it dry, it will make the, all of the difference. The gold is just beautiful. Now, when you've done that, gold, if you can just hold it to camera three, Baker, if you could hold it to camera three for me. I shall do. I've also got a dried one, um, which, oh, which will make life well. a little bit easier as well. But what we like. Let's just hopefully without it dripping. Oh yes, you can look see at that, that those colours are all just merging in together. So if you just stay there, I'll grab the dry one and you can see oh. that's completely dry obviously and you've got all that embossing because it's resisted that because it is water based but you can see how those colours have all merged in together, how easy to colour, you don't have to be any type of professional painter at all to use these, although professional painters make a really good job oh, with these yeah, paints because they are artist quality paints. Uh, you do that very well, <laughs> you hold that very well to the camera. Thank um, you. Don't do it too well though, otherwise I won't need me. Uh, <laughs> no. We'll always need you. Uh, 17 pounds, oh, bless you. 17 pounds, 99 pence, these are for the smaller colours that we're talking about now though. Now you've got the gem, uh, we've got the pearl, and we've also got the starry as well, is what we're talking about, £17.99. pence. Um, I'm loving these. 891215 is your item number. We also have, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, clearing my throat. I apologise. Uh, we also have the big 36 colour set as well, is what we've got. It's, it's all this talking. I take too much air in. Uh, £28 and 50 pence across two flexible payments is what we're talking. Look at the colours that you are getting there though. You're not getting colours that are the same. These are colours that will enhance each other. You're getting the golds in there. You're getting so many. Uh, the golds, you're getting the, the whites, your silvers, um, your bronzes in there as well. Remember these are the paints as well though that also maybe you want to maybe you want to take a smaller a smaller palette around with you is what you're looking at. Um, you can pop these into a palette, let the palette dry and take the palette with you. Once that palette's dry, enhance it with the water, and once you've added water to it, it will reactivate the pigments that are in there. Talking about carrying water with you, the watercolours. Now, there's four pens in here. Now, they're not all the same, they're all different thicknesses. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, sorry. <laughs> I knew the minute I did that, I'd cut to that camera. Uh, it's a good, it is a good job with friends, Baker. It is. Uh, then, so I'm going to take all the ends off. I really should have done this before the hour, but they have a retractable valve, and who doesn't want that? So you have control over the water itself. So you've got a flat end, technical terms I'm using here. Uh, then you've got like a bullet tipped, sort of like a paint, sort of like a little paintbrush that you've got there. Um, a large brush. Then you've got like your two. Then you've got your two writers. Now that one's a lot, a lot, oh, a lot stiffer and a lot bigger than the little one. So you could get a writer in here. They're ever so soft. Uh, then you've got your larger ones in there as well. Now you're getting all four of these for nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. 
If you're going for your colours, you also need the correct tools as well to go with the job. It just makes your job easier than what you're doing. So if you are going for your paints, for example, I've only just picked up a random set of paints. So if you are going for your paints, then you see with the water that's already in there, you can go down, water it up, paint away, put it out, then you can go elsewhere. It's entirely up to you what you do. Uh, the water's not going to leak from these either. So if you're popping them in a bag, if you're popping them in your pocket and taking them with you, once you've clipped that lid on, you know that it's not going to leak, it's not going to, you're not going to have a little, it doesn't matter which way you put it in, if you're popping it into your bag, they're not going to go anywhere. They're, they're good, they're good little enhancement tools to have. All colour coordinators as well, so if you have different ones, different horses for different courses, isn't it? You can put other, other implements in them. Uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence for your brushes. Now, we are busy for our end Boss, but basically you're embossing pens is what we're talking about here. Uh, let's go through them one by one is what we've got. So first of all, we've got the uh, we've got the brush. So this is your brush end. I forget their way. I think they're brushes, but they're not. Uh, then this is your scroll end. So you've got you're brushing your scroll is the what? Sorry, Baker is the top two. The ones in gold. <coughs> so it's got two lines on it which is nice. There it is there. Uh, up next, we're going to look at the uh, writers, is what we're going to look at now. Uh, so we've got your writers. So there they are there. I'm going to pop my end in. There's the smaller end. And there's your big end for you. So there's your big end and your small end. There you go, look. So there are your writers. Um, up next, we're going to look at your calligraphy pens. Calligraphy is what we're looking at next. So there's your calligraphy pens for you just there. So you've got your large and your small. If I turn it that way, it might help. Uh, large and your small is what we're looking at. And then you've got your fine end chisel. Uh, which is purple. Once again, all colour coordinated. So this is the fine end. Where are we? There we are. So that's fine. It's pretty fine. And then your chisel. There you go, Meg. There's my chisel. If I turn it that way, you can see it. Uh, and that is everything. I think these are amazing. They are. They, they're like your... You know, the, the easiest way to describe them, if you've never used them before, you're probably ahead of me already, um, it's the way I learned them, is, you know when you're embossing, you have that large ink pad. You splodge it about, you can't get in all the corners, it's a big old rectangle, you have to put it on your stamp, then you miss a little bit. Maybe you want to do a bit of calligraphy. You can't do that with that big old pad. With this, because it's a pen, you can do your calligraphy, go straight on with your embossing powders. We've got them on the show, pick and mix, and you're good to go. Heat it up, bish, bash, bosh. Can't go wrong. Nine pounds and 99 pence is what we'll look at as well. 199821 is your item number. Right then, up next, Helen's back in as well. Acnistas is what we're talking about. We are. Um, go on, tell me. They're acrylic paint in a pen. Oh. Now these do come in different sizes which we will bring to you but these ones I wanted as soon as possible because they are a very fine tip. So if you're into your mixed media or anything, uh, wood, they go on every surface because they're acrylic paint. So I use them to add some detail here and there. Um, the white is, is one of those pens that you just can't replicate. It's as white as white can be and will work perfectly onto any colour uh, surface at all. So that would work on the glass bottle. Um, it will work on your acetate, it will work over the top of other acrylic paints as well. But you can see how fine that detail is. So you shake it to wake it, it's got a little ball inside and it's a pump valve type pen so you pump it down and the paint will start flowing. Um, because it's acrylic paint you do need to keep putting the lids back on um, when you've finished because otherwise it will dry obviously in the end of the pen which you don't want. No, you don't want. So does this mean, though, if you've got a glass mat, you could just draw a bit out on your glass mat? Yeah, and we use could it. do that if you like. In you a could minute. use your paint, your watercolour paint pens again, your water brushes, and pick the paint up. Yes, you certainly could. So in theory, yep. you've got a travel painting kit, which is black, grey, a white, and a gold. And they, they dry with a bit of sheen as well. So if you were to draw a flower, you could use that instead of a stamp, and then you could use your watercolours to colour in as well. 
You can use them on wood, you can use them on ceramic, you can use them on glass, you can use them on stones, you can use them on plastic. So I'm now thinking um, door numbers. So do them on a big stone, like a big pebble, yeah, put it outside right. the front of the door if you wanted to. Pop it in your garden, um, put your Mudge Pudge, your garden protector over it as well, the, the green one, <laughs> over it, and then just protect it so it's weathered. Um, absolutely beautiful, £13.99, 660-834 is your item number, is what we're looking at. Um, there is so much on our website. We've got other <laughs> items you've found as well. A heat tool as well, we all need a heat tool. And it's one of these ones, which do I go for, what do I go for? With this one, simple and easy. You've got an on and you've got an off. There's only one mode on it, but you know what you're using. You can use it with paper, wood or fabric on this as well. It comes with a safety shield on there as well. Uh, it's got a built-in bracket for support. You can just see that at the bottom as well. It's also lightweight, which is beautiful. 80, 18 pounds and 50 pence is all you're looking at for this. Uh, 4718. Five three is your item number is what we're looking at. Uh, right then, back to demonstration is where we are at the moment as well. So what are we up to? Well, I'm just going to finish off with these flowers to make it into an actual card. Um, I've die cut um, a sentiment out of some watercolour card and I'm just going to give it a quick spritz with water and we're going to add some colour because I want it to match with the project that we've already started. So. I will show you, it will match all the flowers when I bring those in and show you. So I'm just going to add some colour. I'm, I'm leaning on a bit of tissue just so I don't have to clean up my mat. And we're just going to do a bit of a, a gradation there. This one is my favourite colour. Absolutely love this. It's like a real nice teal colour. And because I've wet it already, you can see that those colours are merging in together. And I don't even have to blend them. They're just doing the job on themselves. Again, I'm just cleaning my brush by giving it a quick squeeze so that the water's coming out. And then running it along uh, the tissue there, just so I can change colours. If you do happen to contaminate one of your... Um, watercolours, just take a bit of a, a wet wipe or a bit of a tissue and give it a wipe and it will come cleanly away. You don't have to worry, you really can't go wrong with them. Let's give it another spray, they're all going to merge into one and I'll leave that to dry naturally and show you one that's actually finished I think at the end because it just take a little bit of drying. So I, I've already coloured my lovely bird here and here's some of the flowers that I created earlier. So there's that purple one that's already dry we use a bit of silicon. The good thing about this watercolour card is it's so thick that when you shape it into a flower and use a bit Stay. of silicon, it will stay there. And I really, really do love that. So good, we'll pop that at the top there. Now I used a bit of orange, well, yellow and red and a bit of that gold there. And we'll pop that one on there. I also created this in black. So in a minute, I'm going to bring you in the black version. I used exactly the same colours that I did on the white just to show you how they work so well together. And um, we'll just pop a little bit on these lovely little leaves here. You've yeah. all got stamp sets out there that will work beautifully with watercolours. Just That's, a nice open just design. To say that. Yeah. I was literally about to say like all the stuff now imagine all those stamps, all those dyes that you've got at home. Um, and maybe you've never tried watercolour in before, but if you get yourself a, water, a set of the watercolour brushes and you get your set, maybe the 36, the details are on the screen at the moment, £28.50 across two flexible payments. Or, if your budget won't go for the 36, why don't you try for the set of six? Uh, there's three different colour ways you want to go for there. Maybe you just go for the gems. Um, maybe if you don't want the golds and that, go for the gems. You've got most of the colours in the gems as well. Let's, I'll just give you a quick, ooh, um, you've got... Uh, the red, the pink, the yellows, you've got the greens, the blues, and you've got the violets as well. Uh, I just literally threw them across the studio, uh, <laughs> is what I've done. Um, but look at them on the black. Uh, is that the same card? Yes. So let me just move this wet one from underneath. So here's the two finished ones that are dry. Now I used exactly <laughs> the same colours on both of these. And they look completely different, but they work so well on the black and on the white. You can see that purple there has gone into a real rich maroon colour. Yeah. Uh, and the blues at the bottom have gone into like a real navy blue. But um, exactly the same colours, just a different colour cardstock. Obviously, you're working on the, that black watercolour uh, rather than the white. But um, you can see also, you can see the sheen. These look wet still, but they are dry. Um, and you get that lovely sheen, which you don't get with normal watercolours. Absolutely amazing to use, so easy as you saw with that flower. You do not need to be a professional painter to get really good uh, results with these. And I'm thinking as well, so you haven't got to learn a new technique. 
you've not got to learn how to how to create other techniques for this black card. It was exactly, them cards were exactly the same. Yeah. The same colours, painted in the same way, using everything was exactly the same. Just change the card stock that was underneath. And look how different they were. And you can be doing this as well when you get them home. So if you're sitting there now like I would be at home thinking, well, I've tried it once and watercolour wasn't for me. It didn't go right. Maybe you were using the wrong tools. Yeah, you know? and try not to use too many colours. Because they create their own colours when they merge, um, if it's wet already, it's going to merge for you, so you don't have to worry about doing it yourself. Obviously, if you don't like that look, you can go in with less water and more detail. Um, but if you've wet it first and you add those colours on, pick a light and a dark to start with. Stick the light colour where the sun would catch those flowers or whatever you're painting and add the darker colours underneath and just watch them join together and create that gradation and shading and it does it all for you. So, yeah, don't be frightened of the watercolours at all. Would you say, though, when you get them home to create something like this first just to yeah, have a little play? Yeah, because it's so easy. I mean, I literally, I drew the hearts freehand I used the embossing powder, um, heated it up, so it's, it's clear embossing powder because you can see what's behind it, the white. I could have used a white embossing powder, it wouldn't have made any difference. And I literally just splodged the paint along the top and sprayed it, let it flow down, do its own thing, and even the tissue was so pretty that caught it at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I'm going to stick that Look in my journal. That, but the but vibrancy for a watercolour is phenomenal. And I didn't cake it on, I literally just painted a bit on. Um, and you can see how uh, gorgeous those are. So give them, a, give them a go. Give them a go is the best thing to do. Uh, have a play. You really can't go wrong. At the end of the day, it's just a piece of card. <laughs> I just wanted to quickly show you, um, before we get on to, I've got a nice big demo for you, but I really wanted to just show you these, um, the gold ones. Again, excuse my palette. Uh, they're well loved, no, well that's adored. That's the best way to be. Um, but I really need you to show close up the creaminess um, and the mica, it's, it's quite hard to catch, I know, um, but we'll give it a go, and I'll, you can just see, <gasps> there we go, that's a brilliant Look shot. <laughs> it is just luxurious uh, and fine. You can see why the calligraphers like it, because they only have to have a tiny amount of that on the end of their dip pen um, to be able to create something fantastic. I am not the best at calligraphy, by any stretch of the imagination, so I'm just trying to show you how fabulous they are and how the shimmer on this gold is just second to none. You do get a gold in your main palette, but it's not as vibrant, as bright as these, so you do have um, the choice of having those Ooh, five look there. Look at Let me gold. just get that off my paintbrush. I yes, that you're in gold. And that will dry with that shimmer as well. <gasps> trying oh to get it the right goodness. angle for you. You can see that shimmer. It's still a little bit wet and drippy, but uh, how vibrant. And, and that will just work on any colour card, um, but particularly works really well on black. <laughs> Another one for my journal. There so, we go. <laughs> my, journal, my journal's building up quite nice, and I've not done a single thing to oh, add into it. We need to get uh, you working. So <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's all the work that, that, that people gift me. Uh, jump to the website. It's the quickest and easiest place to go. Everything's on the website for you. Uh, you've got those amazing embossing pens that we've got on there as well. Uh, you've got your acrylic pens on there. We've got embossing powders. We've got stamps. We've got heat guns. Um, acetate. Oh, heat proof acetate. Never seen it before. You wouldn't think you'd be able to heat proof acetate, would you? Well, you're wrong. Uh, red liner tape, a staple. And also your deal of the day as well that's on there. Uh, you've also got grey board. Uh, if you wanted to try your paints on grey board, there's a bit of grey board on the website as well. I think that must be a seven day saver, is what we're looking at that's on there. Uh, have a do flick through though. Remember though, if you're going for that 32, 36, sorry, if you're going for the 36 colours, they are on flexible payments. And anything else you pop into your flexible basket will also be split onto flexible payments as well. So it's worth having a little look. Right then, let's get straight back to demo. Yes. Uh, we haven't got that long left. Blimey, it just goes so fast. I'm going to show you the gem colours just to show you how stunning they are. Okay. Um, then we're going to um, use that acetate because oh. it is unusual. I've not seen it before. Well, I'm sure it's been around for a while, but I've never played with it. I've never seen Gra it. Cracking stuff. And we're also going to use the Gansai on some wood. Um, we've all got wooden shapes out there, and it's really nice to be able to use something different. Let's do it. Oh, you've got about 13 minutes. No way. <laughs> How quick does it go? I know. So, I'm using a large brush for this, one of my ones out my stash, because we're going to try and get this done really fast. Now, I'm using the black watercolour card off the show. 
I've got a little bit too much water on there. Let's get rid of some of that. Like I say, if you do add too much water, just get a little bit of your um, tissue, dunk it in there. It will just soak up that water um, and get rid of that. I so like what, the pallets. They're so big and large. What consistency are you looking for when you put your water in? I'm saying you don't want it like, to be a big runny mess. Well, if it's too wet, you won't see the colours because you're just going to see more water than paint. Um, if it's too thick, you will just um, won't be able to spread it. So you'll, you'll soon get to know when it's the right consistency. So I've used the green. I'm now going in with the red because I've had my brush sat in water. Obviously, it's, there's a lot of water going on. So I've already pre-stamped. We've got some really great fairies on the show. Um, I love fairies. I've just, there's something magical about them and I've stamped them, I've used the clear embossing powder um, so it's resisting the watercolour paint let's get this gold one going this is that bright yellow gold, you do actually get this one in the gold set and in the gem it's the only one that's duplicated I believe but it's such a useful colour, we use it with everything so when we mix the yellow in with the red it's going to mix and make us that nice orange colour and then the yellow down into the green. You can see how easy they blend together. They really do. Let's, and we can go back in and wet it again. So if I add a little bit of plain water onto that red, because the red's now drying, I can pick it up again, look, and just pull it down. Because I've taken it off the pad, it is bowing a little bit. <laughs> That's why they're so good on that pad. Oh, so you would leave this on the pad. Yeah, definitely. And then it wouldn't bow. But I just needed it cut to size, obviously. But wouldn't it so speed? Through? Uh, no, no, because it's, it's about, I think it's 300 GSM. Oh. Absolutely right. fabulous. So let's just mop that up. If I had my journal, I would be dipping and dunking that in there. We'll give this a quick blast, because uh, when, when it's dry, you still see all that beautiful shimmer. I'm sure you can probably see it now. I'll just tilt it slightly. So you can see that shimmer, that mica that was within those paints. Oh, look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? But when it's dry, you can still see it all as well. Just give it a quick blast off. If it does bow, just turn it, when it's dry, turn it over the other side and heat the other side and you'll be able to get it back flat again. Uh, let's, while you're just heating that, I'm going to go flick through the stamps. Uh, the details are on the screen at the moment. Uh, you've got the fairy silhouette. Love on this shelf. Uh, then, uh, so these are mushrooms. Uh, no, the toast saw is probably that one. Oh, no, that could be mushrooms with the little mushroom house. Uh, you've got mushrooms on there. There's not mushrooms. Uh, then, uh, this would be beautiful, absolutely beautiful with those watercolours as well. There's your final two that you're looking at there. You've got Gnome Door and Toadstool Home. Oh, yeah, there are. Uh, so they're £9.99. £9.99 for two of these is amazing. You get an awful lot of stamps. Um, in here as well, uh, which are beautiful, and they they lend themselves to the colourways that we've got. So your silvers and your golds, and your, yeah. sort of your mysterious colours, especially the, the rubies that's there as well. Uh, well worth picking these up if you can pop them in your basket. If your budget would do so, uh, pop them in as well. Two flexible pack, well nine pounds ninety nine pence. If you're going for the large colours, they'll also be on two flex buys as well. I chose these stamps because these paints make such fantastic backgrounds. It's crying out for some fairies to stick on top. <laughs> No, right, true. we're going to use uh, the embossing pens on wood because they do work on those as well, absolutely marvellously. Let's get the brushed one out as well. Um, I've already done a little bit of white on my mushroom. Let's grab the gold powder. And because you can add the detail where you want, you can see on my mushroom there, um, I've added the white on the spots. So I'm going to add red paint for the rest of it. But you really can add the detail and the touches that you can't do um, with so many other products. I mean, if you had your ink pad, you, there's no way that you would be able to get those little spots out there. You can see that it comes out blue. Um, it will go clear. They, they make it blue so that you can see where you're going. Very useful. No, I like that. So, but as you said, if you try and get a pad, you're going to get all over your fingers. If you try and stick it into a pad, you're going to contaminate your pad, as it were. It's With mostly this. the detail. I mean, I could have used a pad to perhaps do these because they're all one colour. But those mushrooms, no way would I be able to do that with a pad. So they are so, so useful to you. Let's use the brush one for these. I think that'll be easier. And I love the way you're getting eight different tips as well. So every tip is slightly different that's in there. So it will all enhance and help 
Um, to, I won't lean on that again. Uh, it will enhance and help <laughs> everything that you do. I forget that I'm in a, I forget that I'm in a TV studio. Nothing is exactly secure. Well, you're not used to standing so I far never back, are you? Far. I've never stood in this part. It is very weird, um, as is life for everybody at the <laughs> moment. It's very, Standing very open. strange. Can't get any fresh air. <laughs> it is very, very strange look, for look, us. Look, if we go up, uh, oh, there is a bit of a, there's no roof, no roof to my house. Probably should have bought some tweezers. Never mind. Didn't think it all through. We do try and prepare as best we can. You're doing well. There's my little my little knob there. I'm going to just move that because I know, again, I am so messy, I will knock it over. Let's give this a blast. If I use my pokey tool, I could just hold them in case they decide to uh, blow away. Is there any problem back here? I can't see. Ah. Uh, I have to watch all the screens, so I'm, te I'm technically watching what you're watching. I know I like to sit up in real life, though. So. So there we've got lovely little hinges. We've got our little uh, window to our house. I'll show you it all when it's all stuck together in a second. But these embossing pens are just, I just, I just don't know how I lived without them. I've used them for many, many years. They last a really long time. We've, well, we've, our director's on fine, he's on fine fettle, as it were, today. He was just saying, though, if you wanted to do all around the edges, you would never be able to get in with your stamping pad, like your, your, your pad, with, with a pen, oh. you could go in and you could go all around, like the, in the crescent of the heart, and you can go to town. Yeah, you really can, and it's, it's, you just can't do it with any other product. No. And it's for, it's for personalization reasons I like it as well. You know, if I wanted to put a little number on this door that I'm doing, I could do. I've lost one of my little, there we go. I told you it would fly off. I lost a hinge. Not the first time, actually, <laughs> I've lost my hinge. Um, yeah, you, you couldn't do this in any, with any other thing. If you, you could add six or seven different colours to it because you could use your pen, put some powder on, heat it up, and then go back in and add some more colours. Now, I started off with this little wooden door. We, had, we do have some wooden st the stamps on this yes, show. Yes, we do. So if you haven't got um, a door, um, an MGF door, you certainly can use that. But I just wanted to show how well the paints work. Um, on wood as well on this chipboard MDF uh, let's just grab this I think we need some red toadstools if you want the door they're in the set of stamps and it's the gnome door you're looking at you've got a little sign that says gnome sweet gnome uh, and you have a um, sort of a rocky sort of a rocked door so it's like a, an archway of stones with a wooden door underneath so as with any watercolor in add loads of color to one side and then let's just wipe it off on a bit of tissue and then I'm just going to use the water that's in the brush just to drag it across and that'll give me that shading so I've got the dark going into the light there as if the sun's catching on that oh, right hand that. side it's, it's the, the paints make it really really easy to do so there's another little mushroom there let's just do this step I'm going to use a, just a bit of a wider brush the advantage of having all four of these uh, brushes in the set is it doesn't matter what you what you want to do you've got one fit for purpose so you get the black and obviously the black you can dilute that right down to the grey we're going to use the pearl over the top to really give it a sheen it's amazing that watercolors like this will work on the MDF it's you wouldn't think very it unusual though. Trying Look to be at the richness, the black that you're getting there. And as I said, it is on MDF, which is MDF is only quite porous. So again, I'm just going to take the black off my brush and I'm just going to use the water just to smooch it around. You can see why you use so little as well, because it goes such a long way with that pigment there. And now I'm going to wet the pearl colour, this one here that you get in the set. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous um, addition to the paints. Still got a bit of black on my brush there, but not to worry. Because when you mix the pearl with any of these colours, you can get a pearl blue, pearl red, pearl orange, whatever your heart desires. And you can see by adding the pearl over the black, it really does give a great effect, even more so when you see it dry in a second. But add it while it's wet, it'll do all its work for you. You don't have to worry about trying to blend it in. And we'll just give that a quick blast off. 
while you blast, I will show you your six sets of colours that we've got here as well. Uh, there's three sets of what we've already got. Um, I can't tip them too much, they all fall out. Uh, this is your starry that we're about to look at now. So that's starry. Look at the shine that you've got on there as well. Uh, so that's your starry. Up next, you've got the pearl. Oops, sorry, me. Uh, so you've got pale pink, you've got pearl pink, pearl scarlet rose, uh, pearl lemon yellow, pearl mary green. Oh, sounds like a little name. Who did you go to school with? Pearl mary green. Uh, I love that name. Uh, pearl cobalt blue and white gold is the one on the end. And I nearly dropped it again then. Uh, then last but no means least, you have your gem colours. You have gem red, gem pink, gem gold, gem green. Gem green, gem blue, and your gem violet on the back as well. Absolutely beautiful colours is what they are. £17.99 is what we're looking at as well. Uh, 891215 is your item number for your gem colours. They're a set of six and they're, they're really vibrant. They're all the same, the same as the larger set, but they're just condensed down colours as it were. So, I'll just stick all my bits on. Um, you can see a bit of PVA, but you know that's going to go clear and we're not going to see that. You can see that pearl on that black there. The shimmer on it is absolutely beautiful. So that's going to pop onto our background that we've already created. Um, but I thought it would be really fun to use the acetate over the top. I am going to put this in a frame um, so that I can uh, give it to someone as a gift. But this acetate will work beautifully over the frame. I've never seen heatproof acetate before. I'm sure it's been around for a while. Um, it's just that I haven't seen it. I'm going to pop this on white just so we can see where we're going and let's grab one of these stamps and we'll stamp I'm using versifying clay you can okay. use your stays on um, I don't like stays on I have to admit it's quite hard to clean off your stamps and stuff um, but versifying clay does wash off quite well and because we're going to be embossing it anyway we can use something that's not um, stale basically we can use any ink that will stick to the acetate uh, because we're going to be putting the powder over the top stamp, that would be useful. Let's use the details on the screen one. for your resistant acetate, and you're getting premium smooth white card there as well. Uh, for ten sheets of that and ten sheets of your acetate, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Zero five four six three five is your item number. So obviously you're stamping on a shiny surface. Um, you're going to slide. So try and put both hands down, and then just hold it as best you can it will slip just slightly but there we go it's a fabulous image let's add a little bit of clear powder and then we can heat this which is just weird <laughs> you shouldn't be able to heat this but you can <laughs> let's get it nice and hot before we start although it's not buckled at all for me while I've made the other images and it just takes let's just wipe that off there so we don't get any bogey rogue powder although well, you won't notice it it will just look like raindrops and we'll give it a blast you can see it's heating nicely oh, look at that there we go it does go warm and it actually makes it quite flexible while it's warm but it goes back to being um, flat again. Normal acetate would just buckle like well, yeah, a bag of crisps. Like, <laughs> it'd be like shrink plastic. You know, when it all buckles before it goes flat again, uh, it'd be a bit like that. So I'm not going to stick this together now because obviously everything needs sticking down and gluing and drying properly. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my acetate to the back of that one so that it's bowed out at the front there. Um, and you can see that my... my fairies in the foreground i've got some plants going on here you can see all the stuff through it so you can see all that background again and then i'm going to pop it in a little box frame because this is just far too nice to be a card this needs to go on a, a wall somewhere um and you can imagine when that is in a box frame oh, that's going to look, look at that. really really nice i'll just move that because it's easier for you to see um but that's going to make a really really nice gift so that's the ganzo town be working on um all these different backgrounds um and there's the acetate as well but for me those gem colors they are just stunning they really they are really really are absolutely beautiful you can do so much when you get these home as well uh, the possibilities are endless uh, something you're really loving though are the pens 
are the embossing pens that we've brought to you. Uh, you are getting four pens in total. Now they're double edged is what they are, so both end is different. Um, I can show you this for the sheer fact. Here they are just here. Uh, so you're getting so much. So you've got a scroll in there. So you've got a scroll pen, a brush pen. You've got a writer, which is double-ended, large and small. Uh, you've got your fine. You've got your chiseled in there as well. And you've also got your uh, calligraphy pen in there. Everything you need, double-sided. So you're getting four pens is what you're getting, uh, but double-ended, which are amazing. So to have, rather than taking your large embossing pen in block now, your Claire stamping around. The detail that you can get with these are phenomenal. They'll work on all your surfaces from your glass to your MDF to your papers to your card stocks. Anything that you want to emboss, you can now emboss with these pens. It's, a, it's one of those that I've never seen them before as a pen. So now think of the letters. The words that you can't normally get, £9.99, pence. you can do so much with them, uh, 199821 is your item number. There are four, one is currently under my foot so it doesn't <laughs> roll away because I don't want to lose it. Uh, Karen's back, uh, you're back at four? Yes, I am, yeah. Are you sure? I am, yes. She's back well, at yeah. four. <laughs> I have her back at four o'clock this afternoon as well. Uh, if you've got any, well, without Catherine, uh, if you've got any questions, please do email them in studio at achanda.com. Um, Whatever you do, enjoy it. Enjoy the product <laughs> that you're in as well. Um, thank you very much. I've thoroughly enjoyed it from back here. Yes. I've had a way. Why are you in time? It's a bit weird, segment? but you know what? Love it. We'll get through <laughs> it. Right, off I go into the dark and dark night. I'll see you all later. Yes, indeed. Here we are in the next three hours for you. Don't go anywhere. Our Janice is up next having another look at your Fabric Freedom, your one-day special. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount, of sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Hi, I'm Rob from Adsum Sparkle. My wife Jackie and I have been running Adsum Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We're both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jackie is particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. So make sure you don't miss our Adsum Sparkle shows on Hachanda.
Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're safe and well. We've got another edition of your One Day Special with the lovely Hayley Smith. Uh, we've got a great show lined up. If you haven't seen the 9 o'clock show, uh, then we've got demonstrations for you. And, of course, we've got that One Day Special. And it is marvellous. I do like this. You've got the chance to make a quilt out of fabrics, which have the theme. I nearly said something else then. Fabrics. I was going to say fantastic, but then I said fabrics, and it just all came out in one. Um, fabrics, I will get there, uh, with steampunk designs on them. Uh, we've got a lovely Hayley Smith with us. Yeah, I think I'm broken. <laughs> I've had too much broken? cake. <laughs> I am broken. Um, Hayley, it's great to have you company. missed that last night when we made, uh, Rachel made herself into a robot. Did with she? With a happy hour fabric. Ooh. It was very odd. Not gonna lie. Maybe Very we could do something like that again. Um, we? we do have a happy hour this hour. We'll get to that in a moment's time. But Hayley. Yes, tell Janice. Us, t <laughs> tell us about tell us about, about the one, one day, day special. special. <laughs> okay, so the one day special that we have is the steampunk collection. Yeah. It's brand spanking new. Um, you've not seen this from Fabric Freedom before. It is one of their brand new collections. And whereas some of the, the American companies come out with a collection and there are in fact you know 20 40 fabrics within that collection steampunk are, um steampunk fabric freedom are quite focused in what they do they will give you six five or six that work beautifully together this is the mint option that i've got here uh, this is my personal favorite in the options that we've got today and you are getting um, the correct amount of fabric that you need in each of the patterns to go with the pattern that you've got here and you are also getting uh, two and a half, two and a half meters? Yes, two and a half meters of the contrast fabric as well. So the only thing you're going to need to add is your backing and any wadding that you're going to add to okay. it. But we have had um, you know, people who are backing quilts in fleece and things, which means that you don't even need a backing for it. You can absolutely do it with fleece. So you've got, as always with Fabric Freedom, your feature fabric. So the one that has usually the largest print and all of the elements that you'll see echoed throughout those other fabrics. So there you can see your goggles. Your goggles are in this one here and that's a nice small print so great for your bindings and your edgings and your little. You still get quite a lot of detail even when you're cutting the pieces up quite small which we'll show you in the, uh, the demonstration. Then you've got your keys so you can see the keys are within the pattern itself and they're picked out as an individual fabric. You've got your cogs and then again picked out as an individual fabric and if I just lean this one over you can see things like your alarm clocks and your pocket watches which are all coming through within this one and then finally you've got your sixth fabric which kind of combines a few of the little elements within there so you've got your hourglasses you've got your clocks in there you've got your pocket watches and you've also got some of those cogs in there as well so you've got lots of elements running through that but in a smaller scale so for quilting brilliant because you've got nice kind of small and large scale that larger scale print yes. you won't have seen us use that uh, one with the bigger clocks on you won't have seen us use that within the demonstrations themselves because this one in this particular pattern is what you are going to use as your border. Perfect. So if you haven't seen that one in demonstrations, that is why. So the pattern is the same on each of it the colourways. All you need same, to do is choose the colour. Same patterns, just different colourways. Yes. So this one here is mint. That comes with the white contrast fabric. This is my personal favourite as a colour option. I just think it is, is really, really smart and quite unusual to have those kind of teal colours. Yeah. Because when you think of steampunk, you automatically think rust. Yeah, yeah, you do. Which is the one that's the, the next colour option, and that comes with um, the fabric itself is called Spice because we do have extra um, lengths of all of these plain fabrics available, and this particular colour is called Spice. So if you wanted to get the steampunk uh, rust pack and you wanted to add extra fabric, then that is the one to go for. Perfect. I think that one would be absolutely perfect for Father's Day. So it's very traditional yeah. steampunk and very dapper as well. It yeah. is. And then you've got the, the kind of lightest of the options, which is the grey. And that's the one we're doing most of the demonstrations with. And if I can give you a corner. Of course you can. Drop it. Oh, oh. it did work last time. There you go. Where are you going? Well, what have we done? Uh, which way is the right way up? That oh, way. this way. Keep coming. There you go. 
Oh, what, come on, Janice. Catch. There you go. <laughs> you flick it at me and I'll it's flick it back. It's now the uh, international distance apart is a quilt switch. Well, yeah, that, this very much could be. Do you know what they're using in Brazil? Because I, I got this as, a, uh, as an email. Yes. They're using, you've got a standard tapir's width apart. A tapir? What's a tapir? <gasps> Have you not seen a tapir? What's oh, a tapir? I'll show you later. It's like a kind of cow sort of anteater nose oh. thing. It's got a little long oh. nose but and a big bum and it's like, it's like a bit like a cow. Oh, I thought you were describing me. Uh. <laughs> dear. Oh dear, uh. oh dear. And this is, a, this is a, not a complete quilt. You yep. are getting enough to make a 68 inch okay. wide quilt. Would that so, be big enough for a single bed, double bed? Uh, if you did it as a square, yes. it would be big enough to go on top of a double bed, not hang down the sides. And that's nice. I like that. I like um, that. If you're, Obviously, this is just done as a block pattern. Yeah. So if you move those blocks around, so rather than you're getting 25, enough to do 25 blocks in yeah. there. So instead of having it in a square, if you had four by six, which is 24 blocks, yeah. then you'd have enough to go down a little bit either side, but obviously not come right the way top more like a runner kind of thing so yeah. you've got options to move this around because it's in a block format i do like this colorway don't you you know when you see when, sometimes when you see it from a distance when we're looking at it in the monitors no. uh, the, the the pattern and the blocks really do stand out and this one's it. got a lot of yellow in yes. there as you can see however it does calm down once you put the darker pieces around the edge yes. and you put the, the borders on. But what we've done in the demonstration is we've used some of the other colours that are available on the show and it looks completely different. Yeah. And the steampunk theme and the steampunk colours yep. really lend themselves to adding kind of multiple colours and having that jumbled up look to it because yeah. it just really kind of adds to the steampunk effect. I think it's a great deal. You've just got to choose your colour. And if you can't choose, you want more than one, you're more than welcome to do that as well. You can divide the cost into two payments on FlexiBuy, £34.71. pence. It's interest-free payments. We'll set it all up for you. And there's only your P&P &P to pay on your first payment. Unless you are a Freedom member, of course, there's no P&P &P to pay. 404171. And six and a half metres in each of these kits. So um, there's a kind of a mixture it's usually about four meters, uh, but it's the exact amount that you need to create the quilt topper, and uh, then you're getting your two and a half meters of your contrast fabric. So six and a half meters in total. And this type of fabric usually is at least fifteen pounds a meter. Perfect. So um, you're doing really well there because you're getting about uh, two thirds of yeah, the price. Yeah, you certainly you? are. What can we expect demo-wise with this? This right, hour? we're going to do because um, we've we've done the same block in in all hours, and originally we did one that was uh, the right way around, the way that the pattern tells you to do it. The um, nine o'clock hour last night, we substituted a few pieces out with plain ones. The previous hour, we substituted the planes for the patterns. Yep. And it's just really building up how you can create completely different looks with that same single block. So I've got one more block to do, okay. exactly the same, um, and we're going to bundle them all Great, all together. look forward to that. Uh, we've got some more fabric for you, so step on over, Hayley, if you can, and we'll talk through the next set of options. So I really like these. These are canvases, a little bit heavier weight, so if you like the steampunk theme, but maybe a quilt is a bit too big a, a task for you, then these are great options. Um, these are larger prints, so they really lend themselves to home decor, bag making, that kind of thing, or even fussy cutting individual elements out. So we've got three different ones. This is the balloon canvas, and I know I like we've got that. three separate numbers. That's yes. because they're different uh, widths. So this one is a 44 inch wide. And that's 11.99. It's 100% cotton, 013164, with it being uh, canvas as well, like Hayley said, making bags out of this. Um, I was thinking, actually, it'd be nice if you p would put it around something that was quite stiff in the sense of like a box and then it would make a really nice planter. Absolutely, um, or home, home decor, maybe if you've yeah. got a chair. Yeah, and something, oh, yes. something this size uh, would make about four dining chairs. Yep. You know where you've just got to cover the seat. Yes. This would make about four. The slightly wider ones, you're going to get yeah. uh, possibly even six, depending on the seat. You can have a, yeah, you could have matching seats, footstools, I'm an ottoman. No, oh, I love it. As, as a little footstool. Yes, that, that would be perfect. Be uh, so this is our next fabric that we've got for is, you. So this is the uh, script one. Um, now, it does remind you of kind of chip paper a little bit. <laughs> Those kind of misprinted bits that you used to get. Um, and what you've got on here is large, punchy pieces. Now, these could easily be cut out as patches, so you could fussy cut them out as patches and add them to other projects. This is a slightly heavier weight fabric, again, than the balloon one, 
and it's actually a 48 inch width Could we as open well. that out in full? Just, Would you like to? Just so when you think about the projects okay. that you're going to be making, it's always uh, nice when you've got a pattern like this. Um, thanks. That's it. Look at that. That is brilliant. I love that. I mean, it's a really nice heavy weight, so if yes. you wanted to make a Roman blind from this, yes, brilliant. And the, f the fact is, if you maybe have a blind that is, or a space that is wider than the 48 inches, yeah. can you just turn it on its side? Because the text on this, let go of that bit. I'm not very let, good at this. Go. I was never good at aerobics let, either let at go school. Of that bit. That there one. you go. Oh, oh, right, <laughs> I see. If you need a wider bit, yeah. Uh, Maybe should have had it the other way up, but you can see some are running this way. Got you. So let's go the other way up so it's the right and the right way up. Keep coming, keep coming. Stop. Okay. There. Yeah. There you go. It is really, it is good really quality. nice and sturdy. So if you've got a really wide window, say you've got a two or a three meter window, yep. put more in your basket, it'll come as a continuous piece, and then you've got a bit that's wide enough for kind of curtains yeah. and things as well. I think bags, bags would be great. Messenger bags in this style, yeah. that vintage style. Absolutely love that fabric. And yes, it does remind me of fish and chips. Now I'm really hungry again. <laughs> uh, but I do, I love that fabric. Uh, I think it'd be great if you had a, a dash of colour with some fabric Yeah, fabric inks, pens, fabric or pens. Inks. You could just put embroider. the old little bit yeah. in there. Oh yeah, embroidery as well. Oh, I'll fold that a little bit little. Hang on. Just now then, the, so the details on the screen, 1399-450-176 is your item number. Now the next one is your, is it picking or ticking? Ticking. ticking. What, what's a ticking so stripe? A ticking stripe is a particular kind of stripe. It's usually on canvas. It has a wider stripe in the middle and then a smaller stripe either side, a thinner one either side. So it kind of is sandwiched. It's like a, it's like a stripey sandwich. And why do they call it a ticking? That's just a traditional name yeah, for it. I love that, that. particular stripe, it, it's quite often you see it on uh, deck chairs yes. yeah, and bag yeah, linings and things. So. See, now I know. That's another little piece of information when I'm out and about. I love it. $13.99 <laughs> if you want to go for your ticking stripe, 444 or 149 is your item number. Great price on there. Uh, we've got some more fabrics before we get to the happy hour deal. We do have that happy hour okay. deal for you. I'm going to steal some stuff from over here. You go and grab some Percy's stuff over there. Kill me because I'm and gonna then we're going to move right over to talk about the, the next display. set of but fabrics. It will totally be worth it. So I am bringing the uh, the grey set across. So this is the grey set from um, the one day special. Now you don't have to have it as a one day special if you just want half a meter of all six of those fabrics just to do with what you will and do your own project you absolutely can i'm sure lovely ross will find those details at some point and da -da, ping them on the screen so janice so can read out numbers i can 11 12 <laughs> 45 56 seven, oh sorry the numbers on the screen yes, yes. six seven Stop four doing six eight nine is your item number if you want to go for your one day special that usual price has been reduced to 34.99 no that's not the one day special that's just no, the that's fabrics. just the fabric bundle that's just your six half meters of fabric so three meters in total and you can get them in any of the three colorways so you don't get that pattern you do get the pattern. you do get the full uh, you do get the pattern. so that is um if you want to put your own backing fabric in yeah. so your own backing fabric your own uh, contrast fabric and your own border fabric everything else there's enough of everything else in there to make the, the quilt what fabric. she just said then right <laughs> excellent yeah. so but what i did want to do was bring the um one of the sets across here just so you can see how these other fabrics work with it so what i've got is i've got the plain fabric options here so i've got the Silver. This one is the spice option. Now that's the one that really is designed to go with the rust uh, selection for the one day special. You've got white, black, which obviously works really, really well. You've got that mustard colour and you've got the darker grey in there. I think it was a pewter. It is pewter. Oh, and this is banana apparently. Banana? Yeah. Banana. It's more mango coloured, I think. It's more of a manky banana. It's mango coloured. Banana yellow. Well, it depends where you're getting your bananas from. I suppose. I, suppose, I like my bananas green. Do you? I do. I just don't like bananas. I, I like an unripe banana. <laughs> but what I was trying to get at is if you look at the collection as a whole and then you look at the fabrics that yeah. go with them, you can see any of these will work really, really well. Yeah, they really will. Oh, it's great, isn't it, to have yeah. all the right fabrics on the show yes. so you can make that choice and pop them all into your basket at the same time. Now, the next Oops. set of so fabrics we've got. So this is the mottled got. set. So I'm going to do exactly the same again and okay. just pop those on there and just give it give it a little wiggle. I've, I've moved everything now. I'm awfully sorry, Kirsty. There's one in there, though, that will go perhaps with the... Um, so... 
the green. You can see, uh, this, this one I would say is to go with your rust option. So we'll maybe just pop that out for a second. And this aqua version here is probably best off with your mint. But if I just pop those three in there now. Yeah, that and, works well. And kind of lift those up a bit so you can see. Oh, there we go. See, that's more banana yellow. Do you think? Yeah. It's more custard yellow, that one. Oh, don't start talking about custard now. I want custard. You want fish and chips. You want custard. Dip your chips in your custard. Needs what? must. Don't know. Might be all right. Are you it. thinking we're kind of in like wartime zone now? So anything works, and we're all going to eat corned beef sandwiches. Is that how you're thinking? Possibly. Eat responsibly. It's I just want custard. I just want custard. Okay. No, I just, I'm so confused. I've just <laughs> suddenly got a craving for custard. Okay. Right. I'm not pregnant, by the way. Is it because it's your birthday and you want birthday custard? Yeah, birthday okay. custard. Birthday custard. Right, right. so 12 it's guides in a hole. already on it. 15 minutes in. <gasps> we should. Record? You should. Yeah, what, we, is that it's got weirder than that quick. Have we that, done. It? Oh, yeah. No, it's just, just you now, I'm afraid. Oh, is it? Bit, bit of a happy hour. Oh, okay. And uh, I'm going to leave you these, actually. Great. Because uh, these will work well with they your happy hour. They certainly will. They certainly will. Thank you very much. Off you go. Bye. Right. Uh, we've got to pick a mix. It's a happy hour deal, which means the price of this will be going back up at the top of the hour. You're saving £5 for this hour and this hour only. You get to pick any two. Uh, £11.99, but yes, there are 14 options for you. And Hayley's quite right. These would go with your steampunk collection because we've got the great textures here. We've got like a, a wood grain in here. You've got your brick and you've got your basket weave in there as well. Um, and it's, it's like a rattan, really, weave. Uh, so that, those fabrics, I'm just going to move those to one side because I want to show you these. And what I'll do is I'll just lift that up so you can see that. So you've got your brick walls just there and you've got your rattan style. Love that. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, with your pick and mix, you get to choose any two. If you want two of the same, then you're more than welcome to do so. They're 100% cotton and they are two and a half meters or is it two meters by half a meter two half meters two half meters and if you pick two the same you'll get a continuous meter uh, and that is correct mundo for a monday um i do like the wood i think that's lovely in fact i think that's my favorite superb uh, yes they will collections so yeah have a look at those definitely with the happy hour. About. It's definitely worth going to eleven ninety nine, saving five pounds. Right, let's head to the website. There you go. And with the website, that's where you can see all of the items available to you. Uh, all the colours in there and all the different what items. Um, to tell you about. And then you can add them to your basket. Yeah. If the plus is there, you add plus and it will add one. And Is if that you how want that another one, well, thanks for clearing that up. Well, I haven't finished yet. There was a point to it. <laughs> was there? Okay. You plus it again if you want to. Genius, mate. I know, I know. How Genius, this place continues mate. when I'm not here, I don't know. Uh, do you know what? You're, you're wasted here. <laughs> No, I'm that's sure later when I crack open the wine. No, are, I'd never drink at work. <laughs> there are think tanks that are missing you here. <laughs> so drink responsibly. I I'm glad have. I can help. Here we are. Hello, how are you? So maybe you were not thinking of full quilt with some of these lovely steampunk designs. Oh, that one is just a dead straightforward uh, zipped cushion cover. That Should great? have found the things to put in. But, but, it's a, it, but think of that. That's a cushion. But then think of it like a, a bag as well, like a messenger bag. That would be could fabulous. Be, really be nice. Well. like that. And then there's a couple of these that are done just with just using the fabric on their own, in their own right, to create, uh, again, cushions. And, and maybe you've done the quilt and you want to add additional bits and pieces to, yeah. to decorate. That'd be a great theme running throughout your house. All steampunk cushions and chairs and tablecloths and table mats. And this one oh, like is that. a cleverly done reversible bag. Ba -ba. Oh, I like that. Ooh. Turn it right way out. There we go. Yeah, so like that. So you can have... I, oh, I think I prefer that way out. I think I do. And that's the rust mm. colour way there, and I think it just works so well with I that really as a like lining. That. Can I really pass that really to you like as that. well? Yeah. There you go. Oh, that is brilliant. Uh, so it looks very designerish, doesn't it? You have to uh, quilt with it. it. It is just a lovely fabric design that you can yeah. do other projects with, but 
there's a few options. Okay, marvellous. Okay. If you've got any um, projects you're working on, you want to send them in for Hayley to have a look at. Um, oh, I love seeing what's yeah, going on. Yeah, we'd love to have some pictures. If you want to, put them on uh, Facebook or uh, email them in, studio at hochanda.com. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we did th uh, three, we've had three shows so far. So yes, we've we done have three different versions of this exact same block, and it's just showing you the versatility of it. And that if you are a more advanced sewer, you can put more consideration into where you put the colours. If you're a beginner sewer, because this is just a random pattern, it's very, very forgiving if you're brand new to the craft. So, this is the first one we did, and this was following the pattern to the letter that is set out uh, here. So. Um, the only uh, difference that I've been doing is rather than sewing the disappearing nine patch and then adding the bits over the top and sewing them in, I've been sewing those first just because you can save a bit more fabric by doing it that way. But the way that Hazel's written the pattern is absolutely right. You can do it that way if you want. Okay. So first of all, we made the buy the book option. Then we took a few more of the blank squares, the, the plain squares, and added different coloured fabrics into those to get a different look again, and then to get a different look on the third show. To be fair, this was a happy accident, but <laughs> where the, let me just get the diagram because I think it shows it more clearly there, where the solid pieces were, I had the um, patterned pieces and vice versa, so it gave you a different look again. And then you can start kind of building these up. And this is a really, really nice way to work because it actually makes the most of your fabric. Because yeah. you're not that bothered where they go, you can actually get a lot more for your money because you're not restricted to where things have to be placed. Sounds so good. So if I give you those two, yep. we are <coughs> going to do one more. Um, and we are going to start off the, the way that... Um, Hazel, I nearly said Heather there, the way that Hazel has designed this pattern is to make that disappearing nine patch first. So she would sew all those first and then she would pop that over the top, sew the line, fold it back and cut off the excess. That um, means that you are going to lose both of these two bits of fabric that are going to be slightly too small and you're not going to be able to use them. Rather than do that, what I've been doing is um, cutting seven, uh, four and seven eighth inch squares. So most of the squares that you're going to cut for this are all uh, four and a half inches. Great. And even if you didn't want to put those, maybe you wanted to take it back a step and you didn't want to put these pieces in, you could still absolutely do that. Mm -hmm. Should we do one? Let's do it. Actually, uh, we'll see if we've got enough time to do two. Of course. Why the devil not? Right, so um, let's do a bog standard one taking out those bits on the corner just so you can have more variation okay. from this block so we need the four plain ones okay in across and then we need five patterned ones uh, in the other gaps so now these ones are slightly bigger these are my say, four and yeah. seven eighths All so right. what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim these down now I prefer scissors if you um, prefer to use a rotary cutter that's fine too it's whatever yeah you know sometimes you don't have a mat to work with so scissors would be the sensible option there well I'm just not very good with a rotary cutter are you not no just tend to chop the fingers yeah you don't want to, do you want to no, always be careful I'm, not, I'm, I'm, be I'm safer with scissors yes <laughs> randomly yes I'm safer with scissors safer Who with thought scissors who'd have thunk it Okay, so just making sure that's straight. So have you got another pair of scissors over there? Uh, yes, would you, you like me to? Do a little bit of snipping for me. Of course, of course. Uh, so don't and this one I need to trim off as well. Just along the lines. So yes, just along the lines. Thank you very much. And these the are the Fiskars Monthly Mega yeah, Deal scissors. Yeah, they are beautiful to cut with. We'll bring the details up on the screen. You actually get two. Now, can I ask you a question about these, Hayley? Yes. Can oh, you adjust the... Not does it fit on your belt? No. Because we had that the last time. No. Can <laughs> you adjust the tension? 
Yes, you can. How do you do there it? There is a little screw. Just there on the front. Do you see the little yeah. screw? You just yes. turn that. You can turn that up and Why down. Why would you if do you that? Them. Well, if you want them, um, over time they will loosen off just because you're moving them all of the time. Yeah. Um, but if you want to uh, adjust them, yep. you can do so there. And sometimes if you're cutting particularly tough stuff, again, you're putting more pressure on and it does gradually loosen that off. Maybe you haven't got the dexterity that you once had and you want them to be either stiffer or looser and you can you've got that option there yep uh, just squaring very this one off snippable, snippy aren't they? yeah <laughs> look how thin I'm that just tends to out. happen with scissors yeah but they are snippy. you know you have some scissors There's another that you one like for you assistant oh, yeah. thank you I like having assistants. It's good. I like being your assistant. Thanks. You, I will be your assistant whenever you want me to be oh, your assistant. Oh, thanks. Right, let me find the other ones. Regardless of how I you cut, treat me. I prepped. <laughs> <laughs> I asked stuck up for you this morning when I thought Adam was calling you names. He wouldn't call me names. Uh, he wasn't, because I didn't realise it was your birthday. But uh, <laughs> I did stick up for you when I thought he was calling you names. Uh, right, there you go, and that's the last one, courtesy of Janice. Thank you very much. So, all we're going to do is make the same block, but minus those um, half square triangles on the edge, and then I'll come back at the end and I'll show you how to do those half okay. square triangles if you want to do it that way. So, we're going to take these, sew them all together. So, first of all, sew them into three rows, and then sew all of those rows together to create the full block. And then we're going to chop the block up. And sew it back together again. Perfect. I Yay. love that. I love that. What a great idea. So, have you got some numbers you could do for a minute or two? Two, eight, fourteen, twenty-six. Don't stop. Oh. Just random numbers. Just proper, proper work numbers. Proper work numbers. Proper work numbers, man. <laughs> let's take a look at the details on your screen for the panels. Uh, and let's take a look at those panels as well. I do like these. You've got uh, various different options. Here is your penny farthing, 859885, 14 pounds and 99 pence. It's a pick and mix, so you can choose any two. If you want two of the same, then you can. You're more than welcome to do so. So you've got your penny farthings there. You've got your steampunk collection. Very nice, very nice, like that. Again, um, just while you're going through those, think about the fabrics that are on happy hour for backings for these, because yeah. these are cushion panels. So for backings, for linings, if you're going to make them into bags, those happy hour Ooh. fabrics would work really, really well Ooh, with these. Oh, I'll grab those happy hour fabrics and let you see. Uh, I like this. This is your steampunk airship on top of, uh, oh, there you go, your airship on top of your township. I like that. Very nice. Uh, so that's that one. Let me lay that there. Let me, Kirsty will hand in. Oh, Kirsty, well done. Well done. I shall receive them. Oh, good time. Right, yes, these will work perfectly. There is your balloon, your beautiful balloon, up, up and away, with a bit of colour on there for you to start you off. And yes, that would go with any one of these fabrics as a backing. Yeah, maybe would uh, for the basket look like of a basket. the balloon. Yeah, yeah that would go absolutely. remarkably well on there. Um, that is your balloon. You've got your cars with your cogs in it. So you've got your cars and your cogs. I'll go for a brick wall. I would go for yeah, a brick wall. One, and the, a, the one that's the kind of, uh, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. That, that one, one would go. It's just it's really nice fabric. sepia colours that match that on really, there. really yeah. well. That would work really well. That's part of your happy hour deal. This is your pick and mix. So just something for you to bear in mind and take advantage of the great prices. This is lovely. So you've got your sepia with your cogs. Maybe with this I'd go for the wood. I'd go for the wood uh, on this. Maybe. I, I think the, the next one up, uh, that... The wicker. Right, one, two, three, four one, from two, the bottom. Three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That, that one. one. Yeah, that's the one I was going to go for, the wood. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. That would work really well uh, for that one there. Uh, so that's that. And then you've got your steampunk butterfly, mechanical butterfly. I'd probably go for a wicker basket with one of these. A wicker, the wicker style in your happy hour. Maybe that one, or the darker one. Oh, the one at the... The darker one. The one at the front. Or the one the at next. the front down here would go. Yeah, that one. That would go really well. Part of your happy hour deal. Part of your happy hour deal. Um, and then you've got more cars and cogs, and you've also got an airship with a bit of colour in it. You choose any two, and you can do whatever you like with them. Marvellous. And then your happy hour, um, we'll bring the details up for those. It's a great happy hour. This is pick 
any two. And so you've got your different patterns on there. As a continuous piece. If you if go for two you of the go same. For yeah. That's when you use that plus button on the website. Oh, that? Yeah. I always wondered what yeah, that Yeah, well, was I have for. to explain these things, you know. <laughs> as well as crunching numbers, I state the obvious. <laughs> well, where would we be without you, though? Well. Well. <laughs> where would I be without you? And where would I be without you? Uh, uh, probably at home. Probably at home. Yeah. But <laughs> I love coming into work. I love seeing everyone and I love being with you guys. Okay, I have uh, two more to sew on and then I've got all three of those rows. I'm going to try and get two blocks done in this hour. Turn the speed up on the machine. There we go. Mm. And I've got one more, that one. Here's a question for you. Oh, what have I done there? A stitch in time saves nine. Well, not in this case, as I've sewn three pieces of What's fabric together. What's that all together. about? What, what have you done? Look, look what I've done. I've sewn three pieces of fabric together. Oh. Like a crazy person. Wow. Like a crazy person. So let me just sort At that least all out. I have to do is tell people about the plus and the minus. At least I don't yeah. have to do that. <laughs> so stitch in time saves nine. Where's it from? I don't know where it's from, but it means do a little bit now, yep. and you'll save yourself a whole headache later. So no, I, I know what it means. Things. I know what it means, but a stitch in time saves nine. That's what the internet's for. Saves nine what? Saves nine stitches? Save, no, saves either nine more stitches or, or nine, nine minutes. more minutes. A stitch in time. I think so you want to be in time with your stitching to save you nine minutes? N no. Why? No, it just means if you put one stitch in, then it's going well, it to save you doing in a bigger repair later. 1732. And to, well, do we know what it means? It was recorded though. Do we know? Well, Catherine, do you know? Stitching time. It comes, yeah. It comes from the means sewing, ah, sewing one stitch is easier than sewing nine. Yeah, so if you've got a little hole or a rip in your pocket, if you put one stitch in, yep. that'll save you putting nine in later when the rip's got bigger because you haven't done anything about it. Ah, sti ah a stitch in time. So get the stitch in time so it can get bigger. Makes sense. Oh, I'm glad I worked that one out. <laughs> it, it brings a whole new meaning now. Oh, you're such a weirdo some days. Saves nine. I thought it meant you've got to pace yourself with your stitching. That's my international sign. Well, language. that as well, because to be honest, it's, a, it's one of these kind of measure twice, cut once situations. But you can see, I made a mistake there. Very, very simple. It's all straight lines. Unpicked it, put them back together. Away we go again. Easy. 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 Uh, let me just check. Oops. Flaps open. So with the quilt, how long is it going to take? I know how long is a piece of string, and yes. I know we spoke about this in the early show, but we've always got new people joining us. Okay. If we were to put a time scale so on it. The uh, nine blocks that I did yesterday, and I cut and prepped all the bits that you would need to make a full quilt. Yes. That took me... I uh, didn't do it yesterday, I did it on Saturday. Uh, and that took me about eight hours to get mm. that far. But once the bits are cut, you can see how quickly these yeah. come together once you've got all yes. of your bits cut. So that one goes there. This grey one goes on the other side. Let me just get rid of those bits. So, oh, it doesn't actually. I've just caught myself there before I've done it again. So, according to the pattern, you want your plain bits in the middle. Yep and your patterned bits, patterned bits on the outside. So plain in the middle, patterned to the corners kind of thing. So that's what I've got. I've done the adjustment to, to make that right. So that needs to be a pattern. There we go. So I'm going to sew that onto there. And then we're going to actually, uh, I'll get them pressed and then we will sew them together and we'll cut that block up to make a slightly different version of this without those triangles on the corners. Do you know what I love about this quilt as well? Like you say, that the pattern looks random, you're working in blocks, but it looks so effective, which goes really well with that steampunk style. Um, I think it's a marvellous idea for Father's Day, a quilt maybe for your dad. It doesn't have to be a quilt for the bed, you could have this hanging over the back of a sofa. Be, yeah, over the over sofa, chair. lap quilt, yeah. uh, even for use in, you know, picnics or uh, use in the yeah. garden maybe. Yeah, yeah, you know, when the weather gets warmer and you want to sit outside, if you've got a garden to do so, it's nice to have that quilt around you, isn't it? Also nice of an evening, sometimes you don't want the heating on, you don't want the fire on, but you just want to be warm, you want to be snug, maybe sitting there with the dog. Um, and then you just want to all snuggle in. 
It should be lovely. And if you want to look for the best chair in the house, always look for the dog. Is that, is that how you tell? That is, yes. <laughs> yeah. For the past, how long have we had Millie now? Five years? Five, six, five, five years? Four years? Um, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyway, I've had one inch of bed for that whole entire time. <laughs> one inch of bed. Oh. And my leg actually falls out the bed and goes bang on the floor and it wakes me up because I can only actually fit one leg on the bed when you've got a Jack How Russell. How big is this dog? She's only small, but Jack Russells like to take up the whole space. I don't know how they do it. They're <laughs> tiny, but they take up the whole of the area. Legs oh. out, jaw out, <laughs> ears out. <laughs> is it Maltese Terriers as well, Catherine? Do they do that? Yeah. Star All dogs fishing. do it. All dogs do it. <laughs> uh, apparently our director does that as well. I wonder if our director would grumble. Oh, no. I was going to say, Careful. would he grumble when I tried to carry him off to bed? <laughs> <laughs> this is how you get yourself in trouble. I know. Oh, God, I've got those images now in my head. Come on, Andy. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. <laughs> this is how you get yourself in trouble. Oh, and no. then... <laughs> Then you tell us. Uh, I have to share. Sorry, I can't help it. Okay. So, <laughs> next year, we'll get you Andy for your birthday. So <laughs> we are going to oh put those dear. together, stitch along there, and then stitch the other oh, one in laugh. as well. So while you're having a little moment about, about Andy, the director, <laughs> should do some numbers. Uh, oh, you're just, okay. Uh, right. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I love hello everyone. <laughs> hello, hello everyone. everyone. Uh, <laughs> shall we do the website? Yeah, here's the website. Uh, it's a great place to go to if you've got the internet, of course. So you can help yourself, fill in your baskets and check on out. You'll see all the different items we've got for you on the show. Uh, and we've also got Freedom Membership. Uh, I talk about Freedom Membership because it's a great way of getting things sent to your home. And you get unlimited free delivery. Uh, it's included on everything uh, for a whole entire month. It's a rolling contract. Terms and conditions apply. Um, you can stop it at any time. It's nice to know, though. It's nice to know when, uh, you know, we have a situation we can't get out and we want things sending to us. Uh, so there you go. Right, let's talk about your one-day special. Your one-day special is launched here at Hochanda, 6 o'clock at every night. And we have another live show in the evening. And then the next day, it's 9 o'clock, 1 o'clock and 5 o'clock for your live shows. But, of course, we have all the repeats throughout and um, overnight as well. Now, fancy making a quilt. Are you into your steampunk look? Well, we've got some marvellous fabrics all depicting that steampunk era, but we've got different colourways for you. So let's start off with your mint. On the patterns, you've got all the things that you recognise with your cogs and your pocket watches and your clocks and your uh, timepiece faces. Uh, you've got your keys in there. You've got your steampunk, I'll call it ephemera, because you've got a whole host of different patterns in there. And then you've got your goggles as well. They work beautifully. And you also get your fabric to make it go even further because you're cutting out your patches from your feature fabrics and then you want to make it go even further. All you need to get is your wadding and your backing. You've got your full instructions here on how to make the quilt and when the quilt is made up you could make a quilt that fits on a double bed just on the top without the hang down at the side and I think that looks nice. I like quilts that just fit on the bed. I think they look great. So you get your full instructions there. So that's your mint. You've also got the rust which is very traditional isn't it with your your um, steampunk. Great for Father's Day. <clears throat> maybe it's a quilt for Father's Day or maybe it's a throw quilt to go over a sofa or something like that. Again, you get the full instructions uh, with it and you also get that fabric to extend that pattern out to make it bigger. And then you've got your grey. Um, this, is a, this is a Phil Martin grey, I think. If I was making a quilt for Phil Martin or if Phil Martin had a quilt on his bed, these would be the colours. These would be the colours. I think it's a pocket watch, because Phil always wears a, a lovely pocket watch. In fact, is Phil in today? Is he launching the new One Day Special tonight, or is it tomorrow? Oh, it might be tomorrow with Julia Watts. Oh, it might be tonight. It's not tonight. It's soon, though. He's coming in with Julia Watts. Anyway, um, that would be a nice quilt. 
for Phil. So maybe you want to buy it and make a quilt for Phil. Uh, you've also got your fabric is coming in Wednesday to extend that out. Uh, lovely. Do like those. And so do you. 404171 is your item number. £69.42. pence, Saving £28 with your one-day special. But you can divide the price into two payments. Uh, rust and mint on are at the same level of sales. Right, we've got some more fabrics here. Do like these. I really do. Um, if you want to make your bags, if you want to make your um, seat covers with these, you can do. Uh, it's a really good heavyweight canvas. Uh, you might want to make some uh, pin boards as well, which you can do with these fabrics. So you've got a choice here. You've got the balloons. £11.99, 100% cotton, 1 metre by 44 inches wide, 013164. And then you've got your script, which we do like. Uh, details coming up for that. So you'll have some familiar, um, iconic pictures on there. £13.99, 450176 is your item number if you want to go for that. And then you've got your ticking stripes, rather dapper. Uh, there you go, ticking stripes. Four, 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 uh, one, four, nine. Uh, one metre canvas, lots of fours in there. Because when you look at it, that's what you say. Uh, right, £13.99. Now the next fabrics and those all will go with your one day special. They work perfectly because you've got the similar colours in there with your mustard, although we're calling this banana, uh, and your greys, your blacks, your whites. Um, £12.99, you get a metre. It's a fabric pack. Do you just get the one? Just the one, £11.04. So in your pack, you get one. Uh, one metre of fabric. Uh, 673172 is your item number. Now the next set, I really like these, really like these. I'm going to open one up to show you. Uh, this is your rust. Pop that in. This is your rust. Look at that. Isn't that brilliant? You can, you can uh, make some great additions to your quilt with this because you've got that lovely rust. Actually, six, uh, five or six colours in there to make that effect. It looks as if there's just the two, but it's actually quite a complex print that's in there. I did that without moving my lips. I amaze myself sometimes, <gasps> and I did sound a little <gasps> bit like it. Hayley Smith. I can't believe that. My voice throwing and impersonations are amazing. Janice Puppet. Let's have it. Janice Puppet. <laughs> Right, so uh, that's your rust. You've also got your grey, you've got your yellow, uh, which is like custard. Oh, I want some custard now. Uh, you've got your black and you've got your, is it uh, aqua? Um, beautiful, beautiful. The grey and the yellow look super. Actually, those three together work really well, don't they? £12.99, you just choose one. Um, and you're saving £2 on that deal. Now, let's talk about the happy hour. Yes, it's happy hour again, as the four from Hull once sang. Um, you get to choose any two. If you want two the same, you can do. Remember that plus button? I'm only kidding. Um, let's hold these up. So, you've got your wicker style, like a basket weave. Isn't that great? In your different colours. So, you've got your three colours there. You've got your brick wall in the three different colours. Really like that. Uh, or in the four colours, actually, for the brick wall. And you've also got your wood, and you've got that in uh, the grey, like that. Let's lift these up for you, sorry. Uh, you've got your grey, you've got your brown, nice beige colour, and then a lighter cream. So choose your colours. That's actually, that's, that's nice, isn't it? Very authentic. Uh, and you pick and mix any two. It's a happy hour deal, saving five pounds for this hour and this hour only. The price will go back up, 11 pounds and 99 pence. Let's have a look at how we pick and mix. Here we go. So choose any two. Can I choose, can I have the wood grain top, please? Can I have the wood grain gray, please? Sounds like a tongue twister. 